Gotta go all the way to eternity. On the top, but we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession to have you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic, do it all. I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw. I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl. They wanna talk when you're back to the wall. So I say later, my ain't moving small. Money grows from my intuition. I just bought a crib, that's my first edition. People hate it when you claim a vision, but I use a static when I hit ignition. Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute. I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition. Forge your heat, no matter where I've been, and give me any place, and it'll be a kitchen. This how we float to the top I'm on a wave and it never gon' stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I still block a shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain in the floating block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and it's all you got We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have it, you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tack to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing this like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see, but I ain't feel the stress, I know it's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Make a move to make the money taller to the cash topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I won't wear their collar with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. We're back on Championship Sunday for another episode of the Rocket League Winter Major. It's going to be incredible. And guess what? We're going to have the crowd. They're coming back. We're going to be able to chat with them as well today. It's Dazarin, Roll Diz, yes, T-Bait, CJ, and Stumpy. And oh. Bosh. 
Hello. Hello. Oh, get oh. up, get up! <laughs> it's gonna be Dana, baby! We're here! And it's gonna be incredible! Boys, how are we doing? Oh my goodness! We made it's it! Sunday. It's Sunday, baby! What's Ooh. up? Boy. Life was really good! Hey, this marathon is almost finally over, but boy, do we have a day for us and show, baby! Three and eight! One of you! Oh, Stop baby! Stop it. You Let better be happy! Me. I'm not worried. It's easy mode from this point. We all know that the first four days of any tournament are just scrims. That's the scrims haven't been working out for you. Let's <laughs> take a look to see who's all left. What are our contenders looking like for North of America, Europe, and the rest of the world who have been showing up? Yeah. It looks like we're down to four, right? Oh, oh. And I always see one of those EU bubble stumpy. What's going on? Yeah, all right. Europe has not been showing up at this event, but we have our number one seed left. We're getting those season seven vibes, giving North America all the hope in the world, and then the lower bracket is going to come through. Queso, they have to beat FaZe today. They have to get through to that grand finals, but three North American teams in G2, in FaZe, in Space Station Gaming. But I think they could do it. I mean, okay, I don't want to give away too many predictions so far, but talking oh, to Joy yesterday, these guys, so they confident. are ready to go low. Oh, How good a, we love a lower bracket run. And, you know, I feel like it's fitting now. We've got the NA teams up top. We've got Queso down the bottom. It just, how unbelievable was yesterday's Rocket League? It was. It was unbelievable. As you see the look at the bracket here, I mean, so much to talk about just in that bracket alone. Yeah, if you're in the upper bracket, they dropped to the lowers. They played that Team KSO roster, and unfortunately, they ended up exiting the tournament. And then, of course, version one, who dominated the group stage, they ended up losing out to Space Station Gaming, who's going to play G2 in our first matchup of the day. They ended up also, version one dropped down to FaZe Clan, took them out. So now, yeah, FaZe Clan and KSO in the lower bracket. Oh, so much stuff we're going to chat about. And these, these matches are going to be exciting, guys. Oh, they're going to be excited, man. Queso and FaZe, I believe, on the pre-show yesterday. I don't remember if either you're on there. I don't remember. But in this regard. I thought I might call you a big We'll cop that. We'll cop that. <laughs> but regardless, the two teams that the Dash predicted that were going to make the run, if anybody was going to make the run in the lower bracket were Queso and FaZe, respectively. And they're both here today. Championship Sunday. You got to give them credit to that. Yeah, speaking of predictions, Bates, are you 100% for, like, this whole, yeah, from Saturday, 100%. Haven't missed yet. Base oh, number one. Okay. You already know that. Base oh, number one. It is. <laughs> is. Is that not to be expected? It is point? just a meme that yes. has somehow I mean, just become. It's, like, it's happening, and I don't this, like if it. If G2 yeah. somehow, or well, let's say somehow, they're in a great somehow. spot right now, if they take this out, <laughs> you are like the greatest <laughs> Rocket League prophet we've ever seen. That's Come, right. No one else. No one else. I'll be untouchable at this point. Yeah, Immortal. <laughs> Oh gosh, well listen, <laughs> hopefully G2 can make some exciting uh, things happen here in their run and maybe they can take it to 11, just like our seven plays that took it to 11. Uh. Let's take a look at those plays. All right, remember, top seven plays, no particular order here. You guys get to vote in chat. Here's number one, we Ooh. have Rise. Oh, okay. This is the first goal Ugh. with a crowd. Disgusting. And that's what we got. We got the flip reset Double. into the second to the bat one. He doesn't score it, Double unfortunately. Two. But then that's happened. He's come alive stuff. at land rise. He's unbelievable. He There's comment number two. Oh, oh the pancake. The that little waffle. I oh, know, pancakes are waffles, huh? You, did you just call that a waffle? <laughs> 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 number three, Rise. Oh my God, EG. They just never <laughs> if Rise is gonna open up the first series on land in front of mm. a crowd like that, I mean, EG, I mean, you gotta tip your cap to him, man. He's a balling out. Here's my boy, oh, Lanix. My Lanix, look at the angle straight oh, over the top. My boy, Fury. I mean, what a run they had as well. I mean, they have lost to G2 and Queso. That could well be the grand final teams. Mm -hmm. Joyo. 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 The better Joyo. Joyo. Baby, that is disgusting. It's with the breezy, just so gently to keep gently, control yeah. of it as well. Just over the top. Just, uh, just a little tap well. of a breezy. Beautiful. Oh, and oh this B -mo. B -mo. <clears throat> Where's that he come from? Uh -huh. Insane. I where remember the go? crowd lit up when yeah. he made that pass. Unbelievable stuff. But where did he come made. from? I don't like, know. We're watching, like, where was he? <laughs> he lives on the ceiling, Stone. This is my play today, though, yesterday. <laughs> zero, 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 zero boost. Zero boost. Perfect you cannot. Touch. Look at look at the boost on your bottom right, chat. Look at this. Wow. No, leave it up. Look at it. No man. arrow. Just adjust the car top. Corner. Terrible boost management. It really was. Oh, <laughs> Ended up with zero. So, Mid so play. Yeah, yeah, Ridiculous. Yeah. Jacobium, once again, coming off of Stompy <laughs> on the left side. Okay, but you gotta let me know, guys. Uh, which one was your favorite? You know, chat. You guys are gonna vote. We're gonna. You guys are gonna let me know. I'll let everybody else know. But 
who, who we have winning this? Who, which was the Com. best play? I think Com's Pancake. That was zero seconds to go 4 3 up to then win the game when they had just had a couple of goals against them. I love that. Mm. Lan Lanx. 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 Oh, no. Lanx. Oh, perfect touch. No. That angle is ridiculous. No. Uh, uh, no, FK, no. FK is double, bro. You perfect swap G2. Yeah. No, nope. yeah, I'm not G2. Are you oh, Lord. You're per Whoa, you're perfect BDS. swap BDS. Is that what you want? No, 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 no. <laughs> you have perfect swap BDS and then you score a zero, a zero boost Joe's double. Team. That's perfect, man. I'm, I don't think there's better play than that. Bro, Joyo had it. It's Woyo for a mm. reason. That man had control all the way until he even entered the net he with the ball. It, huh? He beat two as well. Yeah, he yeah. beat two and the then had a, breezy had a breezy underneath yeah. it. Bro, you can't stop that. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of tough for me. I, I, I personally really like the Beast Mode pass. I think because I was sitting there watching and just watching the crowd get electric with it, it just really felt like it was such a, a wild play to pull off because he came from their corner off the ceiling. Like, it, it was just so early. And of course, is that the first time we all picked a different goal? Yeah, I, I, I think, think that so, is, right? Yeah, I think that is. That's actually the quality of yesterday. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And we have a winner, and I believe our our winner is number seven. It's first killer. I told you. Ooh. FK. Come on now. It's, it's the, the moment behind the shot always uh -huh. matters, man. They were perfect sweeping BDS at this yeah. point. They'll really finish them off. BDS never stood a chance after this. You see Monkey Moon up in the sky, he usually beats everybody up in the air, and he was just nowhere to be found. The, FK's too high. The high. best part about that as well, the crowd saw that coming. Like, he had zero boost, but as soon as he got that touch, we just knew that he was going to yeah. hit it. Right. We were just waiting <laughs> right. for it to go in. It was yep. crazy. It, it was really close. Uh, Joyo was second. Uh, we have to iter mm. reiterate that that was those two who were going head to head mm. first killer and Joyo mm. on those as clips. As he should be. So. As he should be. <laughs> I mean, it, like I said, it, it was crazy. And there, there's a lot of crazy plays. We've had a lot of crazy stuff in terms of reveals happening as well. With, uh, I believe, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm going. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's fine. Right. So, That's okay. You're good. Next topic is excited. the major MVP. Uh, for us, you know, we talked about it yesterday. I believe I had Beast Mode. You had Atomic. You had Arsenal. Arsenal. We still having that same feeling today? I mean, I can't say Beast Mode anymore. He's out. <laughs> yeah, you can't. He's yeah. gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone to the loo. You got to finish off the tournament. Atomic's still my number one. But J Navs, that boy J Navs, he said a performance yesterday, man. Getting just hat trick he's, after hat trick. He's like, sneaking he up on Atomic right now. Unreal. He's yeah. sneaking up on Atomic on my MVP, my MVP race right now for the tournament so far. Sure. Arsenal's also up there in my estimation. Mm. Good, as he should be. We knew you weren't going to change off Atomic, but that man J Navs, he, he deserves <laughs> to be in that conversation. I, mean, 100%. I might switch, though. I might switch eventually. 100%. And for mm. me, I, I think Daniel is a player off SSG that I think deserves to be in that conversation if he steps up and mm -hmm. performs the same way he did yesterday. Because he stepped up tremendously, especially in front of a crowd. That's his first day at, uh -huh. at, at a stage, at, at a land. That's, that's Lanyol now. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. he, he's, a, he's a name presence now. And But I, I still think Arsenal is in that conversation. He will always be in that conversation. I think he's going to feed off the crowd and he's going to show what about you, yeah, look, I know, I know you're probably going to go a bit of queso, a bit I of ear. I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, am I? Stomach's been a little wishy washy this whole okay. week. No, 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 I've had a crisis of well, self this think, entire week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> think about your actions. Okay, I'll think, I'll think. You figured it out. I was going to say, I think Rise has been like the discovery of this of this major, like coming into it. We didn't really, we were talking about Joy, we were talking about Batira as the two star players. Rise is holding it together. He's hitting double flip resets day one. However, I'm going to go my boy Joyo. I mean, he's scoring four oh, goals yo. in a game against Furo. This guy was okay. absolutely popping off. I, I like know. that. I like that. Pick. I <laughs> like this that. is okay. all over Joyo. So, so I'm going to go my I'll, boy. I was thinking Laniel because I've been so impressed by yeah. him. He's Lanyol, fantastic. Eh? I absolutely adore that. You just that. like the chant we've made for yeah. later. Oh, that's <laughs> No, but Joyo. Yeah, Joyo. you're completely right. Yeah. Joyo has been putting up the performance Fantastic. of a lifetime. Rise also an amazing shout for it. And we're not talking about Vatira much, but he has been there. They've all been um, here just absolutely right. blowing right. us out right. the water. And he just but Joyo tweeted out me. that he just tweeted out that he's, it's time for him to step up. So if, really? if Vatira starts stepping up in the mix with Rise and Joyo already playing unbelievable. It's over. It, <laughs> listen, Queso might actually make that lower bracket run. Imagine. Yeah, but you know, and I think now that I've had a time to think about it, you gotta look at like first killer as well in that conversation. That, just that because, somebody said his name. Just because, you know, they had a, a crazy run. They started off slow, and now they've been starting to build back. They've been, they, I mean, the perfect sweep for BDS, you have to give credits to something like that, uh -huh. as well as, you know, that Queso matchup. Obviously, you guys have Queso as, like, you know, some of your MVPs, mm -hmm. but if FaZe Clan and First Killer show up in that particular matchup, then they got to take, like, the, the helm on that, at least until, you know, they go against some of the Titans, you know, like Atomic or Arsenal uh, as the tournament progresses. But definitely, I would say not to sleep on FaZe. Play. Okay. I don't think you can ever sleep on FaZe, mm. man. They, they've been one of the most mechanical teams, if not the most mechanical team, like individually as players, as talents. They've been one of the most mechanical, gifted teams in North America, probably mm. in the world, actually. 
Like, yeah. I, I think that you can't even yeah. argue about and it. And now they're and figuring out how to play together as exactly. well in that. Like, exactly. they've been so amazing to watch individually. They're, they always hit clips, and it's so fun to but watch. And now there's passes, demos, moments. Their mm. infield passing mm -hmm. has been just next it's, level. It's like we knew it as well yesterday. Phase BDS, I think most of the deaths predicted phase, which is something that's what I guess you can't hurt I but think listen, we could feel something was in the air. We'll definitely chat more about phase later in the day. Obviously, we're going to hit on that with phase of queso. But I need to talk to you real quick because you had something that you had said in a confessional. Let's roll the tape. Take this on. No one's around. Oh, I have a confession. My stream thinks I'm a jinx, so you know I had to be rooting for EU all the time. But NA's where it's at. We in LA, baby. And I've always been an NA fanboy. We got FaZe, SSG, V1. Those are my teams, and those are my guys. I've always been NA. I just had to get EU done. Even, even production saying unbelievable. What in the world, bruh? My feelings uh, are super hurt right now. Stumpy. I'm really I hurt. still love you. I don't think I love you. But you know where we at. <laughs> Go on. We in LA, baby. Uh oh. And I know my stream. My, um, my stream knows me. Every time I predict a team, I predict the region, they always go to the loo back home. <laughs> so in LA, come on, I, I uh, know, flip flop. It, it's easy to say now. It is Wait, really easy to say now. We got three NA teams up top. But I think he's just flipped on. No, us. he I picked Queso anyways. Though. though he didn't pick an NA team originally. So everything he says is wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. When was that recorded? When did you record that? Right. Huh? That was three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's, this, this is gonna be a fun day. We have the crowd in here, guys. You guys look amazing, by the way. Just want to let you all know that. I appreciate you guys coming in. If you guys are gonna stick around, we're gonna be asking some of you guys as well in the crowd some questions. No, that... they're gonna ask us questions. Oh, they're oh good. That's how you are. I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> If you, ever, hey, if you ever want your chance to come take a shot at base, this now, now's the day. Good luck, though. <laughs> All right, we might start a line by the Lambo, just, to, just letting you guys know uh, ahead of time. But, of course, we have more things to talk about in terms of this major. Obviously, Europe hasn't been playing, you know, up to, I think, a lot of people's standards going into the tournament. And now you got to look at, especially with teams like BDS getting perfect swept, what does that mean? in terms of roster mania towards the trade window. I want to go with you first. I think it's going to go crazy. I think North America coming into, the, coming into Sweden, there weren't many changes that were made. North America suffered for it, ultimately. NRG were the clear best team there. They ended up losing to BDS 2-0. They then changed something up. And we look at Championship Sunday, it's three North American teams, one EU team, and NA is clearly the better region right now oh, for it. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Yeah. Clearly! Those are big words. Yeah, from Stompy? Yeah, clearly! Clip it, please! Yes. please <laughs> <do>. <laughs> like, let let me say, though, we, we had NA roster mania after Sweden. Yeah. I'm thinking we might see some Europe roster I think we do. I think we have to. Event. Okay, yeah. who, who, you know, who, who are we thinking as well to make some changes, man? Oh, I mean, you know... Uh, you, uh, got, you got to peep BDS. We got BDS, uh, they got have very, BDS. very high BDS. expectations. That's so true. Very high. I mean, perfect step yeah. by phase. You know, their first event with the crowd, that's got a sting. I know that they're so competitive. You know, and then, you know, you got Vitality who didn't make the major. Everybody yeah, knows they're going to make a roster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. no, what I'm saying is you got Endpoint as well, who, I, like, they didn't make it out of groups, I believe. And, of course, Endpoint have Seiko, and we've been talking about it. Like, Don't Seiko, talk about my boys, Endpoint. <laughs> Don't break them up. Finally, as an Endpoint fan, you I can be happy. <laughs> Don't lose. <laughs> Don't lose. Listen, you got, you got listen, Vitality. Listen, listen, you can't have you can't, you can't, Right, you can't have best of both worlds. If you want EU to be the better region, Endpoint might have to make a change. No! Oh, you got to yeah, yeah, yeah. post that best player, okay. man. Seiko, no. Seiko's been the dog ever since oh. he stepped into the scene. One of the top players, one of the top talents in in Europe. You got to build and super he's on teams. One of the top teams. You see, in you Europe see the team in Endpoint. You sound like you're about to cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh God, don't cry. Oh God, I'm gonna don't cry. Don't cry. Keep the tears to yourself. You still got oh. Keso. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I'm happy yeah, again. Yeah, that's oh, fun. yeah, the banners are up today. The banners look so sick. Oh, oh, nice. We nice. had oh. eight up yesterday. We're down to okay. four now. Wait, that's five. Oh, that's my, wait, we actually have. Yeah. Is, is, it, it, is it anyone else getting season seven vibes with this? No. Mode? Yes. No, it's chill out. Chill out. Chill yeah. Yeah. It can't happen. It's unbelievable. NA's last night. Then Vitality out of nowhere. Just take it. The last EU. Okay, I'm just going to throw I'm just going to throw it out there to everyone. I'm starting to feel a little bit like season seven. All right, man. We all get what you're going to go with Queso a little bit later in the show. It's okay. But, uh, no, seriously, so looking at things, you know, 
what what kind of changes are we expecting? Are we expecting the same level of changes as North America made in the fall? Like the super teams coming together or are the Europe teams going to be able to like stick it out? That's really going to be... I think there's three players in EU you have to keep your eyes on because I think there's three players that can really shake up the scene over there. You got one, he's not here, Archie. On uh, oh, on yeah, seven, no one's Ar here. Archie, I Archie, on here. Hmm? I think two on here. Two aren't here. Yeah. Oh, two aren't here. Yeah, you're right yeah. about that. Yeah, you have Archie. <laughs> that's the first one. If he goes to any of these top top mm -hmm. teams, that mm -hmm. shakes up everything. He's way too talented. What's the second? The one? second one is Alpha 54. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Alpha yeah. 54. Yeah. It might. I mean, we all gas at Monkey Mo, but Alpha 54. He's pretty darn close. Mm -hmm. He's pretty darn close to that type of. But skill then the level. team just hasn't had any of the results to like make him happy enough with vitality. Exactly. You, you have to think that. Exactly. So yeah, he might just like. Want to bounce, if and, you, and you know, you know the BDS. French boys. You know the French boys now. You, you know mm -hmm. they're whole like they're a big old click. Yeah. So I mean, like a, Monkey Moon like Extra. Eventually, they all come back together. They all come together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, and then of course you have Endpoint Seiko. Mm -hmm. Seiko. No, we, no, we, no, <laughs> no, no, that's that's no, the three. That's no. three key names. Three key names we have no. to pay attention to <laughs> during a little roster mania break after the winter major. Yeah. And looking at other regions, it, it seems like you know with Fury's performance, they they're probably gonna stick. Looking at, I mean. Do you plan on sticking? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. We, be, we beat the best team here, Furia, so. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, We're know, number four in the world as far as I can see. <laughs> you know what would be crazy? Since SRG, SRG aren't a team or whatever anymore, <clears throat> Yeah. That'd be crazy if one of them with the EU. I don't know how good they should oh, be. Oh, that would be Whoa, sick. That would be insane. Because yeah, ah, ah, suddenly you've then I got an amazing that. free agent floating around with so many offers coming their way. That could be lucrative. That'd be really lucrative. I don't know. I don't know the situation behind all that, but that, if that happened, my God. Do you think, like, language barriers would stop that? I mean, I've heard that Cali speaks great English. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby. So, you got so, the inside I mean, source. <laughs> okay. Listen, I don't, I don't let people know my sources, but I got good ones. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, this next one is going to be definitely tough for me, but, you know, the general. They, uh, the general? They make it out of groups. Nah. Justin was too much You actually think the general's going to take a change? Are you out of man. your mind? Did I say I thought that? Oh. oh. I was asking if you you thought that. Most definitely oh. not. Okay. I think it would be so <laughs> short-sighted if they did. They've had yeah. one Literally, they are the best team in North America. They have been for like four years or something. And yeah. then suddenly they get one bad result and they're like, well, see you in a bit, guys. I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to move to Europe and farm them instead. Well, we no. might see that with BDS. I mean, they just won Sweden. and they've. Oh. If they do the opposite, and instead of bringing Turbo over, they just bring Garrett over to BDS. <laughs> Come on, then. You think Garrett would leave No, 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 I'm saying that would be hilarious, though. If Captain America moves to e <laughs> EU and just joins the EU super team. Joins the dark side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I think if, if NRG changed, that is a really short side decision. I think it's... I think they've got a really strong mental. I think they were like, they chalk it up to, you know what? Bad event. Like, it happens. Mm. Move on. Okay, well, I need to ask everyone here a very important question. What's up? The EU and A debate... Have we finally settled it? No. No, it's never finally it's never, settled. It's never done. <laughs> it's true. It's never done because we're going to go to landing and then, yeah, there's and then it's going to flip. <laughs> yeah, and then we've also got Worlds coming up and then we've then got the entire next season. Yep. And, and then, then the entire next season. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people are forgetting though, like people are, obviously this is the first event back with a crowd, but it is still, you know, it is a major, it's unbelievable. We still have another mate. we got Landon just yeah. around the door as well, around the corner, and then we've got Worlds. Like these teams, you got to be on form, you got to be ready to go because before you know it, They'll be landed again, and it's going to be unbelievable. Right. It's always going to be a talking point. I know I'm always going to harp on it. I know the crowd's always going to harp on it. It's something you got to really figure out. EU and A, who's, re who's really better? But I think that expansion's happening, man. Sam, they're picking yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Me and yeah. I have picked 100%. it up. <laughs> in your region, your, your, your region, listen, uh. I, listen. I am your, I'm the no one OCE. Uh, not disbeliever, hater, you can call me whatever you want. Public enemy number one, Tyler Bates, T Bates. Listen, I'll tell you this much right now. OC, y'all been picking up, man. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all beat y'all beat a really good period team. Wow, and I, and, thank I, and you. I believe I believe Banana Hand and them boys are really good as well. So oh, the incoming <laughs> butt. Very good. Uh, I, I, I was waiting for a butt, but but uh, but, no, but, but you're on this desk and not playing. So how good can you be? Yeah, I mean he did, he said what I usually would say. Wow. But I just want to give CJ CD some actual props here. Okay. You know? So yeah, OC. Y'all actually finally can become a decent for once, so congratulations. Pioneers I, too, very much. I, can, I, I cannot take him seriously. Anything is, <laughs> whenever he compliments, I think is. Yeah, look he's at that face. Maybe off camera he'll be like, I did not mean any of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to ask you a serious question here, CJ. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about OCE uh, and how you guys have been competing? And what do you think you guys need to take it to the next step? 
Oh, just consistency. I think we, you know, particularly with us on Renegades, we played one good series for this whole major and we saw it. And everyone's like, oh my goodness, what, you know, where did that come from? And we're like, right. well, we, we know we can do that, but we just didn't put together in, in the other series. So it is the consistency factor. I think the boot camps are going to help. And I mean, look at Pioneers. They're like the yeah. mental resilience, they a game away from reverse sweeping BDS. Obviously now the BDS result may be not as good considering they got perfect swept by FaZe, but at the same point, you know, this is a, the youngest team to ever come to an international event, Pioneers, so unbelievable effort from them, and they can only get better as well, so I'm excited. We got some, you know, up-and-coming talent in the region. Also, it's nice to have a different team come through from OCE, where typically right. it's been you guys, Ground Zero. Oh, you well, don't just say it like that. Oh, we're just sick of the it's, you. Stop coming back every I time. I love not seeing <laughs> Express. <laughs> it's my favorite part of it. No, it's so good just to see, like, different teams coming uh -huh. through, also from North America, Absolutely. Europe, etc. Uh -huh. Different teams qualifying for yeah, right. these events, where you can kind of look at some regions and think, oh, okay, we're going to see the same five teams come through. Mm -hmm. But then, no, like, OCE, already been a change-up. EU, massive change-up. NA, massive change-up. It's just it's showing the depth great. in the region, yeah. Like, it, yeah. everybody's getting better, and gradually, gradually, maybe we'll get some more more spots in yeah. the future. Yeah, more teams I mean, to perform. And, and of course, this also leads into the bigger overall conversation of the World Championship and those world spots. And I think we had talked about it, about the G2 Fury matchup, if Fury ended up winning that. What does that mean for Sam? Do they get, like, another auto-call spot over EU4? Or how, how does that work? And after this event, obviously, we're, people are going to start crunching the numbers and seeing, okay, what does things look like as we get ready to go to London? Because that way, when you think of that event, there's going to be a, a, a different type of pressure on these teams not only for themselves but like as a region as well as that boy we see, we see that boy Rizzo get set up over there <laughs> what a man yeah but uh th besides all that of course we still have to finish out the day and we need to go to kind of talk about our first matchup of the day really quick uh phase versus K wait that's our second matchup my bad phase versus queso that'll be happening later today um uh, your cheese boys yep. EU's use last hope talk to me about them they, it, do you want me to talk about EU in general or about Queso? <laughs> no, no, no. What do you want from me? Let's talk. I'm be honest. What? I think I think Queso's losing fast, man. I've been looking around for the cheeseheads. Yeah, cheeseheads. I, I don't see them nowhere. The, the, the cheeseheads. The, the, the bodies aren't painted. I don't see them nowhere to be found out in this crowd right look now. Look at the, look at the cheeseheads. And they, you clearly know they had a big night last night. Oh. They'll be here later. <laughs> They'll be here later. <laughs> They'll, They'll be too late. Queso will be eliminated oh, no, by the night. Night is still going. <laughs> still rocking up. We wrote these highlights. Joyo, we saw that clip in the 7-Eleven top plays of the day from yesterday. That's a beautiful pass. That ooh, Joyo. Shutting the door. Joyo. All these clips, all these clips are against EG. That shows you how well they put against. They EG. were super impressive for the first series as well in that EG match. Obviously, we spoke about it yesterday, but they opened up the show. Like that's mm -hmm. such a scary place to be. They did so fantastically well, and then they went toe to toe versus Furia. Issue was with Furia, they went two up and they were playing what I would consider like near perfect Queso Rocket League. They looked yep. phenomenal. And then they just sort of lost it. They did start to slip, and then it became imperfect. And Furia took a hold of that and dragged them all the way to Game 7. Furia did a great job. But for all three rookies, the first LAN, you, you would think that they would be more shaken. Mm -hmm. But they're feeding into the energy that yeah. is in that YouTube theater. The explosive energy from the crowds. Look at the crowd. Look, look at the, look look at the beautiful Look at the beautiful audience in attendance, man! Woo! Unbelievable. I think we with, with Case as well, just touching on that, they're a phenomenal team. And speaking to Joya yesterday, they do no replay analysis or anything. They just have fun and have a look at this crowd. Yeah. <laughs> get up and get loud get as the camera pans around. Baby, come, come on, on baby. Let's go. That's good. Championship Sunday. <laughs> so good. This so, is such a great spot. Hey, I love hey, it. It's just perfect. You can feel the energy from everybody else. It's, yeah. it's really lovely. Uh, a team that had, that came in with low energy, though, that is coming in with a lot of more, starting to get more excited throughout the day, is FaZe Clan. <clears throat> Talk to me about your boys. Bro, first killer from the from day one. He was whispering, pretty much whispering after mm. wins, whispering after losses. They were just defeated. Day two comes around. Sipical makes a huge turnaround in his gameplay. And I think it all has to do with First Killer leading the charge in that middle seat. He's just getting his team riled up. You see him screaming on the cams uh, yesterday. That's a nice shot. After, after a yeah. couple look of shots. Right look at, there, look right at him there. go, right there. Right on cue, baby. FK dabbing up his teammates, being the team leader that Lan Lucia was last in the fall major. And t let me tell you this, man. The amount they shut the door on everybody, that zero, that zero boost double mm. right there. Matera ain't, not Matera, X-Ray ain't never seen that before. Sip, 
And this this series Ooh. against V1, this game in particular, game three, yeah. mm -hmm. was a real fun. Look at that save. That was, the, oh, uh, my God. It's a little bit fortunate right there. They got booty bump, but it's okay. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay, though. That's a great passing play. And then FaZe's teamwork throughout this series really started to get better and better, even as the saves got greater and greater. The moment the, the light started shining brighter, and FaZe said, no, we're not going home yet today. V1, it's not your tournament just yet. Game seven, just look at this player, FK being unselfish, right to AJ. Oh my God. Look at FK. Oh, he's a shooter. Mm -hmm. Completely unselfish is exactly what FaZe need to do to then be the team that oh. we've always thought they can be. It's been so nice to see them give each other those opportunities and not just want to hit clips, burn 100 boosts to both attack the same ball. So FaZe and Queso happening, like we said, our second match of the day. But let's take a look at how we got here with the bracket. Again, we're going to flash it up real quick for those who are just joining us. Again, FaZe versus Queso is a lower bracket match. That needs to kind of be stated, especially because Queso coming in as the number one seed from yeah. Europe. I mean, this is from the group stage to here. Uh, these Both of these teams have gone on what we like to call the run. Mm -hmm. It's the Cinderella story for Queso where... They, they they did so well, and then they hit a massive roadblock, heading to Lowe's, and look, they've gone through NRG. They then took down EG, and then Furia. They didn't do any of those easily either. They went so far. Besides EG. Besides EG, yeah, <laughs> apart from that one. But that's fine. No, that was EU versus EU. We know how that goes. But what's oh, exciting gosh. as well is both these lower bracket teams, I feel like they're not going to get burnt out. Like, FaZe are on such a hot streak right now. Ever since the day three of groups, basically, they yep. just have been unbelievable. A whole new team. And Queso, they literally just have fun. They just play to have fun. Yeah. They don't overthink any matchup, and it's just like they're hanging out. The boys are playing ranked, and they're just trying to freestyle, which is why you know this matchup's going to be so exciting. I just want to point out something specifically. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, I think a lot of people were lashing out on FaZe for losing to an EU team because they were supposed to be the EU killers. Look at them right now. Endpoint, BDS. They're taking out everybody on your side of the world, Stumpy. They doing it again and on land in front of a crowd. Two ain't bad. Shame they can't do three, though. Oh, okay. You, you really think that? 100%. 100%. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to pick two. I yeah. go, man. Okay, so I <laughs> we were, we were boys, talking man. in another ride boys. over here, and we're like, I don't know. I don't like, know who to crazy. pick. Yeah. Case or phase. That's tough. Okay. I, normally, I would get your guys' predictions, but I also we also need to make sure we can chat with the crowd. Guys, like we said, we're going to get you guys some questions in here real soon. And introducing... Uh, some of those questions, of course, going to be Rizzo and Athena. We got a chance to, you know, get a little bit of insight on them. Let's take a look at a quick video. Left goes. What? Well, at first, it, it was normal. You know, I thought he was just trying to get used to being in retirement. Hey, I'm going to get some coffee. Do you want anything? Uh... Yeah, I'll just have a black coffee with some extra boost. And then, okay. I mean, espresso. He just changed. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say I really miss Rock League at all. I mean, ever since retirement, everything's been really chill, super laid back, just relaxing. What does Athena think about you retiring from Rocket League? <clears throat> Athena loves that I retired. You know, it hasn't really changed much since retirement. You know, I'm just still the same old me. Honestly, let me tell you something. All the quality time and all the conversations we've had together have just been perfect. Just being able to see the highest level of gameplay and... Check this out. Yeah, look at the girl cars, yeah. It's... He still thinks about it nonstop. It looks kind of cool. Every single day. Even when he sees his friends, it's like he just can't let things go. Yo, oh, what are you doing? How you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what really? are you doing? No, you know, this again. You know it's the rules. You know what's going to happen. You know I'm not going to break this, Don't right? Don't even test me. No, I'm not going to break I this. I own the rules. Oh, yeah, there's there's plenty of people I stay in contact with. I mean, everybody loves me. Like, me and the G2 boys, we're, like, super cool with each other. Yo. Yo, when did you, when did you guys get here? Hey, guys, how is the flight here? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to play. Well, all right. They don't talk. guys scrimming tonight? Tomorrow's going to be a good day, you know? Ever. Who are we screaming that, guys, huh? Are you guys playing the uh, cake? Uh, no, that's cool. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. That's, that's fine. No, that's chill. Now, Athena and I do everything with each other. She loves having me around. I also have our key. 
What a save, huh? Dylan, we're in public. Dude. We're in public. It's been a year. A year! I'm up. I'm done. I'm done. Absolutely done. I'm up. Unbelievable. I'm not breaking it. You think I'm moving? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Garrett nah, just called you. You're delusional. I'm good. Garrett can deal with himself as a grown man now. No, it's I'm probably, not moving. It's past your bedtime. It's past your bedtime. You're literally 50, like 50 years old. I'm, I no, do. you need to sleep. Okay, you I look did. older than I, me. I, I didn't deserve that. I have a beard. You don't even have a beard. You have I, a fake beard. Okay, well, I'm telling fake you, beard. I'm not going to break it. I'm not gonna I, don't, I don't care what you I'm say. Gonna I'm not going to break it. You know, no, I don't care. Noob. Let's give it up for Athena. Get off and get along. Get off Hey everyone, glad to be here. It's great. The audience is amazing. I'm so looking forward to today's games. Oh my god. We're really looking forward to having you. Hey. Yeah. Good I'm to see you. Back to, I'm here to back TV up, okay? Oh, I'm just oh, letting oh, you know. Wait. Uh, yeah, you know, what he's kind of being, the? you know, speaking the truth on everything <laughs> about all the teams. Talk to him then. Let, him, let, 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 let the people you. know at home. Let the people know in the stands. <laughs> we'll, we'll know hey, you want to say, you wanna say <laughs> it for me? I don't have to say it no more. You know the hashtag. You know the hashtag, don't you? Hashtag ROCS. No, hashtag what? Oh, no, 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 uh, Athena, first of all, that video was incredible. You got to talk to me about that. Is that your day-to-day -day life with Rizzo? Oh, it's every day. Every day. You know, when he sees G2 winning up there, he's like, that should have been me. That should have been me. No, no, he's great. He's happy he's retired. No, <laughs> absolutely not. No, absolutely not. I mean, but talk to me about, you know, your experience here, because you've been with us from the group stage, and now you're here with the audience and the crowd. Like, what's everything been like for you? I mean, it's been two and a half years since we've been able to see everyone, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good to be able to see you know, the community again, and just seeing them here for Rocket League with all the great games today, you yeah. know, let's go in, eh? Sorry, I had to put that one time. Talk to him. And, uh, <laughs> of course, and it's just, I'm so happy to be here, and Dylan's excited, ecstatic as well. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Favorite team is still left in the tournament. Oh, we already know the answer to that. Okay, you can't say mm -hmm. that, because each one has just an amazing She's team. You put Pick me correct. on the spot. Put me on the spot. Pick correct. Okay. Listen, you know, I just want to say hi to Janus' dad over there. <laughs> you know, just, it's great. Um, but I'm still rooting for the G2 boys, you know? I really I really want to see them perform really well, you know? Okay. They've been doing great. They've been doing great. Any team has been, like, surprising you so far? Like, has SSG been surprising you? In fact, if that FaZe stepped it up? I don't know. You see, SSG has Daniel, FaZe has First Killer. I am, I'm really happy for the Queso boys, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking to them earlier in the week, and the fact that they were watching, you know, and getting tips from, you know, Dylan's videos, you know, back in 2017, and look, now they're a top four at this tournament. It's fantastic, it right? It is fantastic. And it's cool to be able to, like you said, to see them in person, also to be able to see the community in person. Of course. And, honest, and actually, this leads us to our next thing, because we got a chance to talk to some of you, the fans. And we will show you in a quick video. Take a look. Uh, my name is Anthem. I'm Alex, uh, visiting from San Diego. G2, man, they're going to take it all. It's the first event they're, they're going to win, 100%. On stage, it was honestly, it's indescribable. Being in front of a crowd like that, you see crowds screaming directly at you and they're huge fans, and it's something you can't really describe. And I think it was just honestly one of the better experiences I've ever had in this game. I like J-Naps, I love the OG, the Rizzo and the J-Naps combo. G2, let's win it. Favorite part was probably just, just not playing online and playing on LAN, and I think it's a lot more fun. The crowd was very loud. And, and yeah, it was insane. It's awesome, it's hype, you know. From Monterey area. I'm just trying to ask a lot of people for signatures. This one right here is Lawler. This one's Jack Gibbs, so. My name's Alexander. I go by Lapis when I game. I'm from New Jersey, so we came a long way for this. The weather's nice, beautiful venue. This is my first Rocket League land. Crowd's energy's insane. 
Everybody's so nice. It's it's so much fun. We're from Utah. Utah. Southern Utah mainly. Yeah. Oh, it's been hype. Yeah. It's super lit. We love it. Everyone's in for it. Whether whether it's for one team or the other. Everybody like, just seems like they want to see some good rock. Yeah. 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 About that. Good action. Good action for sure. And for me, Walking back on stage felt surreal because it's been so long that I've been on a stage with the crowd that it was insane that we were able to play here. <laughs> Being back land and having a crowd there to swear you just gives you like that motivation and determination to try and win and make it as far as you can. It's surreal. It feels like a dream when everyone's shouting our name. I love you, all the fans, you know, we all love you, and we're here to win for you. Copy and quick. So, <laughs> nice. Beast. Give it up for the fans! What's Woo! up, yo? We're here with our Styline reporter, Rizzo. Rizzo, why are you holding that mic like J-Nabs during that interview? <laughs> uh, you know, I just took some inspiration from him. I thought it was the way to do it. <laughs> Okay, well, Starlight Reporter Rizzo, it looks like you have your first uh, contestant lined up. Is it a contestant? I don't know. Somebody just here to ask one of us a question. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to it. What we got? Say, state your name and everything else, and then... Yeah, Nick Ambrosic, or Vaudible, and uh, host I'm of the B-Street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, T-Baits. I know Talk the hashtag. Me. Hashtag T-Baits never wrong. He's but wrong. my question for you is... Why LSU be choke, choke, choking? Oh, oh, oh. my. Oh. He really did you like that. That's, That's so tough. Spicy. Wow. Uh, <laughs> listen, Audible, man. Nice to see you, brother, man. Listen, I'll give you another rundown. <laughs> when you have so much, so many expectations, LSU is a staple in CRL. I mean, I, and then, of course, we don't have a proper program like everybody else says. We weren't blessed to have that opportunity yet. So, I mean, in and out, in and out. <laughs> in, in, and up, in, in and up between that, I mean, it's just, it just happens, man. We have a lot of, a lot of stakes. We're trying to actually get a proper program, so we have more to worry about. We don't have the backup of the, of the athletics program behind us, always backing us, always recruiting new people all, every single semester, every single year. So it's a little more pressure on us, so that's why. It's not really a choke. We just have way more, way more stakes. It is a choke because you're choking under pressure. Oof. Uh-oh. That's what you just said. Is you it said a there's, choke? More, there's more pressure on us, so we're choking. <laughs> you didn't need to say that. You didn't no, no, need no, to no, say no, that. You gotta, this one, this one has been going off for a couple oh. of weeks now. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm saying over here. Whether, if it's I'm a choke or it's not a choke. That was that, a tough question. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, that was, that you caught him slipping. That's, that's a good question. Good question that's a good question. All right, who we got next? Right. I'm Nathan Casale from Maine, and nice. uh, I hope there's a smog match to go with this question, but who wins a 1v1 between CJ, CJ, and Roll Diz? Oh, it's 100% oh. me. He's from OCE. Are you serious? <laughs> Uh-oh. He can't uh -oh. contest me. Uh -oh. CJ, where you at? <laughs> oh, he's no longer on the... Uh, uh, yeah, see, I don't even hear him, bro. <laughs> Come on, that's not a question. What if he walked back up? <laughs> <laughs> walked back over two controllers. Oh, goodness. Well. I don't wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm going to go with... Bro, choose correctly. I just <laughs> beat you before we came here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Beat a me, CJ's a pro pro, you know what I'm saying? Oh, CJ's yeah. a pro pro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you. It'll be you. Things are getting intense on the desk. <laughs> hey, this is what first time's about, baby. All right, who we got next? All right, my name is Peyton, and I'm from Atlanta, and my question is to Daz. Uh, oh. Is energy washed? Oh. 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 My. You say, the general? NRG. Are you asking if they're what? The only thing they're about to watch is all the NA teams when we get back to the spring split. That, that's it, that's all. <laughs> the, the, the general are watched. They had a bad major. It happens sometimes. It happened to BDS. They won the last major. The general regroup. I mean, you saw the video with the London announcement. They got some unfinished business. They'll handle it. I don't know, man. That's a little suspect because we're always on first touch about two weeks, two, three weeks ago saying, it is a one-team region. Talking about NRG, and all of a sudden, they're, they were the only team not to make it to the YouTube theater. They might just be washed according to road as a standards. Oh, um, okay, so listen, what had happened was <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect them to choke, choke, choke on land. So uh, when we go back to N.A., I'm pretty sure they probably going to be a one-team region again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gentlemen, uh, who we got next? Oh, by the way, I love your hat. Thank you. My name is Brayden Prissy from Cano. Uh, you guys got any advice for KBM players? 
Uh, Switch the control. I, no, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. No, I'm just yeah, just don't, don't play, play KBM. KBM. <laughs> hey, no, don't play KBM. Don't You're wasting your time. There are Every, some nah. good KBM players out there. There's some fantastic KBM players. I don't think we have any. Who's still pro in the still now though. that's KBM? Yukio? Hey, he could be the first one. Or like, no, it's not, well, not the first one, Fruity. but he could, he could bring it back. Yeah. yeah. Where's Fruity been the last year and a half? Bring it back. Hey, bring it back. Bring it back. No, no, no to be found. We need to do a poll on how many KBM players we have at this event. He's out of here. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone, he's man. Gone, That's not that crazy anymore. Man. You just, you just stopped his hopes and dreams, bro. Come on, bro. Hey, man, like, you I, can I'm do helping it. his hopes and dreams by telling him to switch that controller quick, fast, and then I'll hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is already getting intense. Uh, who do we have next for our next question? Uh, I'm Fabian. I'm from here from California. And my question is, which player has amazed you this major and why? Ooh. Ooh. Then you can take this okay. one off of one person that has absolutely gone crazy, Daniel. Oh yeah. my goodness, mm, just good seeing job. him rise up to the occasion. It's his first slam with an actual audience has been unbelievable. He's been going crazy, absolutely crazy. We saw him in the lobby earlier today, and after Dylan was taking pictures with, with everyone, uh -huh. we spotted Daniel and he made a beeline. He's like, Daniel, I want a picture, I want a picture. And he, he went over and hugged him and it was great. It was fantastic. Oh it's my awesome. gosh. Yeah. Me, personally, mm, Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, that's a good Arsenal one. Arsenal like would be the one because T-Shock, he, he, he has been taking a step back lately. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to mm -hmm. hold you. He's been trying to act like he's just some average NA player. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> but all, and it, like, he looked like he had just lost the passion a little bit. But the moment he got back on that stage on Wednesday, with no fans in front of him either, he was the most electric player in the venue there. He's the most electric player here at the mm -hmm. moment in terms of hyping everybody up. I'm seeing him scoring goals. He's pumping up the crowd, him and Rettles. Probably, yeah. probably Arsenal. He's regaining his RCX fall form when they beat the general. Yeah. Uh well, you pointed at me when you said that. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, but yeah, I think you're on for, payroll. Uh, for me, anyways, for me, my the player that's amazed me the most is actually Chicago. Uh, during, uh -huh. the, okay. during, the, during the group stage, I got to sit and, like, you know, I did an interview for Chicago, but during the, mm -hmm. their match, I think uh, against BDS that went the distance, I was sitting there, I was listening to the comms, and the way that he was speaking to the team, now, of course, obviously Chicago isn't like a highlight player, he's not scoring any of the 7-11 goals that we're seeing or anything like that, but I think it was just overall, like, the kind of, like, leadership ability, him being in the middle, the comms that they were throwing out, G2 in terms of that team, and with him, uh, like, even in between games, like, when they were getting ready to go into the game, five, he's like, all right, we gotta go back to the bases, we gotta, you know, he's like, he's really just having an impact on the team and I think that that was something that I didn't necessarily expect from him going into it I thought you know maybe that type of comms thing was going to be more atomic or sat you but to see Chicago do that I think really impressed me yeah I, I think all you guys bring out great players great shouts <sighs> but I didn't hear any EU you know any South America love so I think I got like you know there's a couple names I could mention like Kyle Kyle was Kyle played fantastic. Well. I think Yan yeah. played yeah. too. I think all three Queso yeah. boys unbelievable oh, as as rookies. Oh, yeah, gosh. fantastic appearances. But there's one of those Queso boys that I got to shout out the most, and that's Wise, bro. I think Wise, Wise he's been he's yeah. been Great. fantastic, the shot. most consistent player. Uh, joyo has been the the star, the highlight player of the of the tournament so far, but yep. it's definitely Wise. Wise yep. is the most consistent player yep. on that roster right now. Thank you for your question. Who do we have next? Hi, I'm Alex Rodriguez from Bakersfield, California, and me and Riz already know the answer for this, but do you think G2 winning this means that Rizzo was the problem? Oh, 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 oh. my. Yeah, he, oh, you, my. We, we didn't run that one beforehand. We didn't run it beforehand. <laughs> You were just supposed to ask that. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Rizzo is not the problem, man. Because we got, we, uh, I, you know, I got you. Rizzo got wrong with G2 was the best team in the world. Oh, boy. Wow, that was actually two no, years ago. No, this is true. G, G2 was the best team. <laughs> no, this is true, yep. And see, during season nine, they were primed. They were on their way to become RLCS world champions. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, COVID happened. We didn't get to see that land unfold. But I'm telling you right now, they would have won it all. So no, Rizzo is not the problem. He was just man. He was a place. He was a placeholder that didn't have his uh, opportunity. To, uh, he didn't have the opportunity to give it to him. So and now Atomic's here, and he's just gonna win for G2 now. That, that was a good <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have up next? Hi, my name is Michael. Uh, I lost my voice, so I need my brother. Where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Shout out uh, Arizona. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> 
My name is Meek Cleaver. Uh, we had a question for T-Bates. Oh, gosh. Oh, so, my. I've already, I'm already 0 for 1. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, you went 6 for 6 in sure your guesses. Oh, come on now. That's pretty good. We thought a little bit too good. We also noticed the orange team won every single series. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh -oh. Uh oh, no. Uh, Bates, what you been doing? Behind you been working scenes. behind the scenes? That's what I'm saying. Man. That's crazy. Listen, if you're going to have a hashtag base never wrong, you might have to do a little bit of reworking. Oh, no. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, Orange team win every single time. That's just production. You got to give it to them, I guess. But I mean, you already know I'm not going to be wrong. wrong. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the question. <laughs> we'll see you after today. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we get a blue team win. But who do we have next up? Hi, my name is Kellen from uh, LA. Er and I'm Lawrence from NorCal. Uh, our question is for Athena. Yeah, uh, would yeah. you ever go pro with the Rizzle Sizzle? <laughs> if I have to stand in between Dylan and Sizz, I might lose my mind. Uh -oh. I, I might, I might <laughs> lose my mind. Absolutely not. Nope, I'm going to pass that because every time they're together, I just see them wandering off and I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, come back. No, 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 Dylan, we have dinner. No, he's getting done dinner with Sizz. Like, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm going to take a pass on that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, RIP the dream. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good question. That, that was, that. That was, that was good. not a that good was question. Nice. <laughs> Who do we have next? What's up? Hey, I'm Chris from Massachusetts. This question's for Raul. Okay, Raul. Okay. okay. You were the only one to put Arsenal on your top 25 for this major. Thank what you. What do you have to say for all the doubters? <laughs> Man, he's proving everybody wrong. That's RC, baby. I knew he would feed into the crowd <laughs> because y'all be making noise. Whenever that man is shouting every time he scores a goal, he feeds off the energy. <laughs> I knew exactly what type of energy the fans would bring for my man's RC baby, and he's, he's proven everybody wrong. Wow. So, Especially you. Oh, and probably you. Too bad the camera's on, but they, they don't know oh. your point too. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, you talked first, so now they do. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one final question, and then we have to keep it moving, guys. How you guys doing? How you doing? I'm Rome DMV, a CRL cast. What's up, Rome? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Listen, I just got to say, you guys have been so fly all week long, looking incredible up there. I so I got a question you. for everybody at First Touch. If you can't vote for yourself, who is the best dressed oh. out of First Touch? Oh. 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 Uh, interesting. Uh, so we who, can't who, vote for ourselves. I can't vote for myself. I gotta vote for one of these guys. Okay. Uh, mm. Um, mm. Don't, don't say nothing. Be careful. Yeah, be careful what you say, babe. <laughs> be real careful. You might not show up on the desk later. Bro, bro is better dressed. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> you know why I went there? Cause you're still not rocking those shoes to match your fit, bro. Listen, we got, <laughs> I wore these shoes for that, rehearsal. My actual shoes are in the well, lounge. Well, you choke, choke, choke. Yeah, plenty of time that's to go. That's one fit. This is a part of fit, Are you baby. kidding me? That's yeah. one fit. That's Nobody that's can even see my shoes right now. Look at my them. Nobody can see my shoes right now. Show the shoes. Show the shoes. No, 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 the shoes. Show the shoes. I'm going to take you people no further. No, no, no. Don't you do that to me. Oh, I, I won. Wait, I don't have to mention the name, right? You both are wonderful, beautiful people, my <laughs> brothers. You don't have to pick anyone. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That just threw me all off my game. Yo. Why you do that to us, Rome? What? <laughs> <laughs> Put a lot of effort in my face. Okay, thank you guys so much thank uh, so for much. asking these questions. Really appreciate it. It's always great to be able to talk to you guys into the in the community. And of course, Athena, thank you for joining us on the desk. Thank you so much for having me. I, hey, I'm looking forward to the games today, and it's going to be fantastic. Uh, so am I. We are actually going to get into kickoff. Let's take a look at the schedule to talk about the matches that we have for you guys today. Things are going to start. So listen. We're starting off G2 Esports taking on Space Station Gaming. Then you got Team Queso versus FaZe Clan. And then, of course, based on these matchups, you'll, we'll fill out our lower bracket final. And then we'll go ahead and get into our grand finals right afterwards. So it is going to be a very exciting day. But, of course, to start things off, let's talk about the first game. 
G2 or Space Station Gaming taking on G2 Esports. This one, a, a North, North American upper bracket final between two teams that have had standout performances. Base, talk to me. G2 here, they got to show up. Oh, man, we already know G2 is going to show up, man. The G2 Army has been loud all weekend. Saturday, they were absolutely phenomenal, and I expect it to be the same exact thing today. j in Chicago and Atomic. That boy Massimo joined, joined G2. I keep harping on it every single time, man. They're balling out, no doubt about that. They're one of, they were the team to beat going into the event. I said that before, and I'm not moving from that. Ooh, the team to beat before the event. You know, I, I, can't, even, I can't even knock you, Baze, bro. G2 came in swinging, and they've been looking good ever since like, the beginning of the split. They've been looking fantastic. I, I, well, well they, they were actually shaky at the beginning of the split, but they ramped up a little bit, and they've been looking fantastic ever since. G2 is incredible. Young Gun Atomic, j -Naps, one of the best shooters in North America, no doubt, and Chicago right there in the middle to put it all home, the mentality to bring them back up. G2 is dangerous. What about SSG to Bab? Talk to me, huh? I mean, SSG, I mean, that's going to that's gonna be great. Looking at Space Station Gaming, this roster has definitely been able to, like, show up when a lot of people had doubts on them. And for me, I think that this is going to be a super incredible matchup. Uh, but let's hear what the players had to say about each other. PlayStation's honestly been a team that's been very surprising. I think one thing I'm really impressed by is their mentality. I feel like G2's best strengths are they play really fast and they pass a lot. It's going to be a tough one, but um, I think we're going. I do think we're on our A game right now, and we're definitely a team to be watched out for. I'm not going to say we're best in the world, but I would definitely say keep your eye open for us. What makes us better than G2 is our control. It's going to be a fun match. Wish you the best of luck, but I think we're going to take it. Good luck. Here we have SSG and G2 taking the stage. Get loud up in there now. Come on, come on, it's game day, baby. Championship Sunday. Look at Arsenal, that baby Dan okay. right, right there. Go get flexed on this, Tisha. Let them see you. It's two incredible rosters in and of themselves, man. They've both been balling out this entire week so far, and it's all coming up today's Championship Sunday, upper bracket. The winner of this, the winner of this game, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but the winner of this game is more than likely to be the winner of the tournament. That's right. It, for G2, it seems like no one can stop them right now. You see that man, Atomic, on the screen. G2's newest addition, and of course, in the conversation for most valuable player in this tournament, Atomic has shown up and honestly been such a standout player, but he's not alone. You hear them chants? Oh, that's SSG. They say SSG, but right now that's not who's on our screen. That young kid, Massimo Atomic, the Younger Mechanical Squad. As we move over, we see the leader, the general for this G2 roster, Chicago. A lot of people have been overlooking his gameplay, but it's not what the gameplay is about. He's always going to bring that aggressiveness. He's one of the most aggressive players in North America. And I expect whenever G2 goes down in this series, if they do, they, they might never do. I, I expect him to bring him back. And then the last man standing, the, one, the lone Canadian player right now on the stage, Jay Knapps. He's been balling out. He seems so comfortable with the timing. He seems so free-flown. Free, free flown. He's moving without the ball. He's always in position to set up plays. I haven't seen Jay Knapps on the this much on the ball in years. I'm talking about season three, season four. That's the last time I've seen Jada is really this aggressive. He's proven once again that he's one of the best strikers in the game. Oh, and then look at the SSG boys. It we is. got Reddles, my man. Yes, sir. And I, I, The last land he was at, you best believe this man was on top of a table. He was on top of a table screaming at, at the opponents he was playing, which I believe was G2 at the time. This is a rematch. This is a rematch, Vince. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. The crowd is getting loud and they're Look getting proud. Dan. Baby Dan in the middle. I Dan. think we have a crowd favorite. I think we might have a crowd favorite. He's pulling a Justin back in season five. Dan, First ever yo. land. You hear it? Yup. Just let it rock. Just let it rock. Get louder. Get louder. 
And then last but not least, the loudest player in the event so far. Calm, you've been, you're, you're really close second, but Arsenal, he has to take it off that Durak once this whole entire time. Yeah, but with that, being, with that being said, he has been balling out absolutely phenomenal. He's been stepping up his game to a level we have never seen him play at before. And that has allowed SG to get to this point. And you can tell he's he's super intense right there, as, as you were seeing the word. Look at the fans, though. There's a lot of FSG fans in that building, as there should be. RC Baby, Lil Daniel, Lanyel, and yep. Slater Rattles. And I was talking to Rattles' dad, man. He's so, he's so proud of him. Yeah, this is going to be very intense here because looking at these two, I mean, they, they've definitely been one of these teams that a lot of people have been chatting about. You see Daniel on the screen, and Bates, I think you even got a chance to talk to Daniel. No, Daniel's doing the talking. Daniel's doing the talking. Well, let's see exactly what Bates and Daniel had to say. Um, I don't know. We just are. I'll tell you why SSG are the best team. It's because we're playing the best Rocket League possible out there. B1, they, they had us on the road. We started off 3-0 against them, and then all of a sudden, they started coming back. We said, nah, we ain't worry about that. Arsenal to myself, and then back to Arsenal again. You already know. That's just what we do. It's just easy for us. We're SSG. We got the whole entire crowd. The G2 Army, not as loud as the SSG Army. That, I'll tell you that much right now. Let's get it. Um, score more goals than us. What do they have to do to beat us? Mm, I don't know yet either. I mean, just like G2, nobody's beating us yet. That's why we're about to face off against each other. I mean, everybody else has just been struggling against us every single time. No matter what happens, I'm always ready to plan. I'm the young prodigy, man. You know me, you know what I'm doing. There hasn't been one chant this whole entire time where people are going, Daniel, Daniel, that's me, baby. That's just me, all me, every day, every single day. Um, probably my mechanics. My greatest strength is to intimidate people with my, my my very small stature. They come in thinking they're just gonna beat me, but huh, I'm not even worried about that. I'm a young prodigy. Every I keep on reiterating it because that is exactly what I am. They come up, they're all tall, tall, standing way over my head. I'm not worried. They have to they have to look down at me. And they better realize that I am the prodigy that's ready to take over this whole entire game. Justin, he he didn't win. Me, I'm gonna win. Um, no. Yes. Very much so, man. Listen, Justin came in to RLCS Season 5 Worlds. He played really good, played really good, and he lost, and they were calling him the best in the world. I'll come in. Nobody expected SSG to do anything, and all of a sudden, we're guaranteed top three? Like, are you kidding me? They all thought I was going to choke underneath the pressure? There's no choke underneath the pressure. I've been priming this whole entire time. I got Arsenal Reddles beside me, picking up my own game, helping me elevate to a whole other level. I'm ready to take over this whole entire scene. That's just what I do. There's Daniel, and wow. We heard Baby Dan loud and proud, man. He was really talking that noise out there. He's got a lot of confidence behind him, man. Let me tell you that much. And I'll, if I was him, I'd have a lot of confidence. He's a young man, great head on his shoulders, great support system behind him. Look at the crowd. They're going to be rallying behind him. I already know Reddle's dad is going to be up in the crowd saying, SSG, SSG. It's about to be absolutely insane up there in the YouTube theater of the Babarin. That's right. And as we take a look at these two teams head to head, we're going to see exactly what we got on our plate today. G2 versus Space Station Gaming is going to be one that is, I think we're going to honestly talk about for a long time. I mean, the stats here between them. Looking at this one, I mean, I think G2 definitely are the clear favorite in certain categories, SSG leading in demos. I mean, they've just always been the more aggressive team. Uh, we always knocked on SSG for being a slow, boring, defensive team that always counterattacks. But you got G2 versus SSG, it's offense versus defense. But you got the young boy Danny. Oh, what? what's, oh, oh, whoa. what's happening? Oh my, oh my God! Wait. The G2 Army are about to come out, baby. I had to put them underneath the, the Babron. You already know I'm the... rolling with G2. Still, can we get the G2 flag up? Ooh. What in the world? Oh my God, down. baby! Can anybody do that better, baby? G2, if you're in the crowd, if you're ready to ball out, you better roll with them. Come, we about to ball, baby. Let's get it popping. There's the Verizon fan vote on your screen. Use hashtag G2 if you're a G2 fan. Use hashtag SSG if you're a fan of Space Station Gaming. So hopefully we see those G2 fans show up as we get ready to get into our predictions for this matchup. G2 right, versus Space mine. Station Gaming. Of course, you know, we already got Bates. He, he's a clear G2 fan. Uh, roll this. I can't believe you. What do you mean you can't believe me? Look at this. You just talked to that boy, I Lanyel. Lanyel's doing all the And talking. guess what he said? He said no to the best player in the world because he's humble. You heard Jay now? And then you thing. had to say it. 
because it's correct. I got SSG, that boy Rattles, that boy RC baby, and that boy Lanyo. I gotta hit a Daniel chance every single time he's scoring because he might prove he's the MVP of this tournament today. Nah, not today. Not right now. Not right now. The Babra, who you got? It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Like I said, Chicago's been impressed to me. Atomic in the MVP conversation. And of course, you know, you, you brought out the, the SSG stuff, uh, hype with Laniel, and Arsenal's been doing good. There's only one right way to go. Choose correctly. I'm going Space Station Gaming. No. Yeah! That's just not I'm right. I'm going SSG. Chat, good if you more. have any sense, chat, I because was not wrong all day. This is big. Chat, this is a huge chat, matchup. Chat, chat, hey, chat wow, 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 look that, at is the yeah, that, that is terrible. That is terrible. Chat, chat, you chat. You had the flag, no. you had the, the G2 jersey. It didn't matter, baby. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Chat, we're going to be saying hashtag base never wrong. When we come back, you're wrong today. You're going to be wrong today. No, I'm Guess not going to be what? wrong. It's time. The yapping yeah, is done. We got to get into gameplay. This is a matchup of two Titans in North America. We're going to see which team makes it to the grand finals with the first land with the crowd. On the mic, Ateez, Corelli, and Chabaco in the Momo and Sky Box. We're going to send it to them. Good morning, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, baby. It's G2! Yeah. It's Space Station Gaming! That's right! Get up! Get loud! It's time to crown a champion, and it's our first step here in our first match. What a start to the day! You couldn't ask for a better showdown, and Chimako, this is going to be very likely one of the best games of this tournament. It is something we haven't seen all regional long throughout the split. These two teams have not crossed each other, so... I mean, we, we don't know. We don't know with the changes in roster and everything they have gone through. Who knows what can happen today? It truly has been an incredible run, and I cannot believe that fan vote. For yeah. Space Station Gaming, that's got to be the biggest blowout for G2 this far in this Winter Major. My goodness. Space Station getting all the fans all the love, at least online, but in the theater. It's been a lot of SSG as they have performed on land, in front of a crowd, and they get their spot here in this upper bracket final against a very hot, a very favorite G2 Esports. And I'm really trying to see if <laughs> they don't want Atomic to come to life. JNAP's <laughs> absolutely popped off yesterday. Atomic didn't have to do too much, and I think here on the final day of this tournament, G2 wants to be successful. Atomic is going to be a crucial piece of that G2 roster. And that's what's so scary about G2. They There's really, more. They have so many players that have that pop-off potential. And as you mentioned, the desk mentioned that Jay Naps was that guy. Mm. Here comes Chicago with another touch. The defense there from Daniel to turn it away. It, yes, we have to talk about Daniel's defense as well. I yeah. mean, we, we see the guy doing crazy stuff, attacking all the time. But when it's time to defend it, yeah, they can all do it very well. And that's what gives Space Station here. I mean, they had a rough start in this land. But after they had those uh, first two losses, they have looked incredible to, throughout the land. So. Uh, it's all part of their defense. Oh my god, watch it. Oh, there he goes! Yeah, Reynolds! Reynolds finding the way to put the ball on the net above Chicago. I mean, Chicago was on the net, but Reynolds said, uh, don't oh. worry about it. I, I got it. This is mine. And Chicago knew as well. He saw the passing shot coming, tried to rotate out to the back post to give himself as many options as possible. And Reynolds, that was just a beautiful shot over the top. What a way to start it off for Space Station Gaming. A fantastic shot from Reynolds. And for G2. First minute and a half come and gone, scoreless for them. Uh, they're trying to work their way out of their own side. The demo comes out from Atomic on Daniel. Key player to take out if they're going up against Space Station. Now Reynolds, can he get another touch? He certainly can. That's one too high. Arsenal was there on the follow-up, but blocked away. Really looking for G2 to start to constrict yesterday like they did against Fury. It was very difficult for them to get started. Atomic, oh, so close to jamming one through the defense. Jnaz tries to go what? under him, and nice save from Daniel. Way to stick with it. As here we see G2 and Space Station, really great start for Space Station in general, as currently, generally G2 not able to get anything really going in terms of transition and staying over on the orange side of the pitch. G2 just trying to figure out how they want to move down the field. It's a nice idea, Chicago realizing he has the space for the 
push towards net, and Jnaps with a boost deal as well, really trying to start to pin in Space Station on the opposite side. Chicago with a shot, top left corner, we're all tied up. I was gonna say just then that Atomic is this type of guy that what, you don't know if he's going for the shot himself or he's going to pass, and that makes it so dangerous, dangerously. He opted for the pass right there, and Chicago was waiting for it. It was beautifully uh, placed, and Chicago only had to put it on net. It was a easy PC for Chicago, thanks to the job that Atomic had done before, and we have a guy time, a tight game right now. Huge equalizer here for G2, and it's Ooh. going to be a tough series. As you've seen, very low scoring. That one came down. Atomic's not going to get the read of Chicago. Light shot as Space Station are able to turn it away. Another shot comes through. Ooh. It's going to sneak by, and Atomic takes the lead. I, I, I'm a little bit worried about uh, Space Station right now because they are allowing to, uh, second chance shots from uh, G2 a lot. So they need to get the clear. They need to get the ball out of the net uh, every single time they defend, which is tough against Atomic yeah. Chicago and Chainups, but they got to find a way to do it. Atomic had an amazing first couple of days here at the tournament. See him get on the board early here. This is a very tough Space Station. Came in as a five seed for North America, and Space Station have been one of the bright shining lights, it would seem, and we'll see if they can find a way back here. Another close call. There on the Space Station side, here comes Chicago. Boost to work with, into the sky he goes. Flip reset across the box, and no one was there for G2. They knew the defense was all over it. And Space Station back to the blue side as a big clear comes out from Atomic. G2 wanting to threaten here, Daniel. A clear across his own box. He's done well here to get out. Here he is, threatening the G2 side. Flip reset. Far post is too wide. He did that all by himself. Post call for the G2 defense, but they're well aware of all the tools that Space Station has. Like Shimako mentioned, haven't met this split, but have played many times beforehand. And they know just how dangerous they are. Long clear from Chicago. Ended up as a shot, but no problem for Arsenal. We get a chance again. I mean, this crowd is going crazy for SSG. Let's see if they can take some energy uh, to, to make that goal that they desperately need in this first match. Certainly going to need it. Final minute upon us here in game one. And Chicago's just poked it to the Space Station side. Space Station finding each other downfield. Another touch was there from Arsenal. But JNAP's so yeah. smart on that challenge to deny. Space Station again. Having to battle a lot here in the midfield. Arsenal once again to the sky. Full boost for him. He's threatening the net here. Flip reset. Arsenal almost able to find it as the defense was sitting and waiting for him to attack. You can feel like Space Station, once they really start that pressure going, get people out in front of the ball. G2 is going to have to work a lot harder on the goal line to keep him out of the net as that one again punched right towards two defenders in time. A factor is certainly here. A lot of misdirection coming out from Space Station. Final 10 seconds in game one. Arsenal gets under one. Boost to work with, trying to make this through the sideline. Two go for Space Station. Arsenal wants the bump, but there's no follow-up. And G2 able to go back the other way as they threaten the shot on target. The ball, zero second time. It'll be G2 to take game one. Excellent defense by G2 all yeah. game long. I mean, they, they had a rough start without the early goal, but after that, they stopped everything. And not only that, they did it with finesse, you know, they were putting the ball away every single time. They didn't let anything, uh, they didn't give Space Station any chance for second shots. So that's critical, you know, to shut down the offense. Really nice opening for Space Station, but after that, struggling to find that space to get those passes connected. G2 doing a nice job to adjust, make sure that they had a lot of people back. And you really have to be careful. It's Jacob, Jacob Knappman over there on the right side of your screen just then. This guy's, he's still sticky in the net. Yeah. You can't get rid of him yeah. that easy. Yeah, he really is. And when that game ended, I looked up here, Space Station is right in front of the casting booth. Insta fist bumps. They know that they're in this series. The crowd is certainly behind them. They love this team, and they know that they can take this G2 team down. We mentioned it earlier. They haven't played all winter split. This is the first time that G2 and Space Station have played in the winter. They played once in the fall, but those were the different rosters. Yes. It's amazing that they've come all this way, and it's an upper bracket land final to see this matchup for the first time. Are you going to wait to call any player? Or, I mean, is it going to happen now? Or, 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 or I did it with JNAPS yesterday. I'm waiting. I have to see how the series develops you tomorrow. Did. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you did wield great power yesterday, bro. It was terrifying. <laughs> so we'll see here in game two. Uh, really, I don't need uh, too many adjustments from Space Station. I, they, I do like that they had a lot of pushes out of their own half. Definitely put the ball over towards the G2 side. It's really just a matter of the timing of how they get over there and if they're able to really put the pressure on that goal line because that was really where they were falling apart. We'll see how Space Station can deal with the pressure here. Down a game. Of course, a best of seven. Plenty of time to get back into it. And certainly, as we were mentioning, Space Station in that first game. Hmm. Jnaps, big clear from him. Atomic 
just being a nuisance on that space station side. Here's a back post shot from Chicago. Oh, God. He'll slot it to the left side, <laughs> and G2 up by one. What a shot here from Chicago. I mean, it's not that difficult that far away, but still wow. to get it all the way over there and make sure nobody's going to have a look at it. Great placement. You love to see it. What do you mean, not that difficult? Yeah, I know. So you're right. It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Chiefs makes it, you know, on free play every single day. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a lot. Fantastic stuff from Chicago and a huge shooter for G2. Here comes Daniel. He'll just push wow. it. Oh, top wow. shot for Daniel. He's playing free play by himself. And the thing is, you had someone defending over there, but he was like, uh, is he really going to do it? I mean, <laughs> when, do, when should I start flying for that ball? Wow. When should I start going to defend it? And it's the, it's the craziness from Daniel because you don't exactly know what he's going to bring in there. So you're always on the expected level. Oh, is he gonna uh -oh. Do oh, no. Chicago, please. What? Bro, I mean, the collapse on the kickoff here for Space Station, I mean, it's just a heart cheek. Even Daniel oh, was Daniel. waiting so patiently, and Chicago went aggressive right next to that challenge. Yeah. And Daniel just didn't have the space to react to wherever Chicago put it. Slipped it right by him. Great example of two different strategies on the kickoff there. G2 with a very hard cheat. Daniel sitting further back. And it paid off for G2, that aggression. Right off the rip, able to get that response. Still. Just a minute in to game two. Three goals on the board. G2 leads by one. Daniel takes this one up. A good little air dribble over the first man. Non-threatening as Atomic will get a good pinch out for G2. Very favorable pinch as well. Space Station really starting to try and constrict there at the midfield. And pinch clear straight across the middle of the pitch where nobody's waiting for Space Station. Gives G2 a lot of time here to get set. Space Station trying to ramp up the offense here as G2 has done well to thwart a lot of these attacks. Jay Naps, he'll lose the ball. Space for Space Station now. Daniel just wants to throw it to the back wall, make Atomic go after it, use that boost, and certainly he does into his own corner. Good dunk by Atomic, but still Daniel very calmly takes that one back to his side. And the shot's poked out by Chicago. That one will go wide. G2. The challenge game certainly going in their favor at the moment as Chicago wants a piece of the defense here, Space Station to turn it away. And we saw G2 doing the, exactly this same thing against Furia uh, back in that series. So uh, we know they, they like to push on the midfield. They like to stay right in front of the net. And if you allow it, I mean, if you don't get a good clear, especially not only a good clear, but also someone to follow it up, then you will cap G2 on your side uh, all game long. I like that push from Reddles, just force G2 to give at least a little ground, even if it doesn't last long enough. So give yourself some more breathing room. Atomic, oh, reset, oh. looking top right, a little too high. A nice clear space oh. station going for the quick transitions. Daniel stretching in Chicago, none of that, please. You can see from his POV, he was going to crunch that one into the net if that last man didn't get the shot. Chicago, options here with Atomic. A lot of space out of nowhere for both teams to just yeah. clear the ball. And G2 not able to take advantage there. Space Station now trying to work the sideline. It'll be Jay Naps to Atomic. That's a great first touch. Off the ceiling he goes. And a good challenge will keep the attack on for the moment. Here comes the pass back the other way for Space Station. The transition's on. But they can't get a hold of the ball. And G2 very easily able to flop this one to the back wall and unthreaten there from Space Station. Space Station really starting to take a, a lot more risks on how they want to try and move the field. You can see Arsenal there on the left side. He's moving downfield very early, and all it takes is G2 winning one big challenge, and they're going to be putting Space Station under a lot of pressure defensively. But Space Station knows they need to try and find an outlet pass and try and set up a transition quickly before G2 can rotate back. And I like the idea. It's just a dangerous strategy. Well, you're down. I mean, you, you exactly. got to find something. I mean, 90 seconds left. The clock is not going up. So they, they have to do something, and I, I enjoy it. I, I want to see more of that. Oh. oh my god, that was a nasty shot. Great save by Daniel right there. Yeah, Atomic getting those redirects. Very scary for Space Station. And I noticed we just saw a demo go. Reynolds is the number one player in North America as far as demos per game. We really haven't seen too much of the physical play come out from Space Station. It actually has been more of G2 in Chicago mm -hmm. chasing players down. Really quiet game, but it's been tough. I mean, when the ball's so quickly moving back and forth between the ends of the pitch, Generally, you need that time for the demo play to develop. Space Station haven't really had that many opportunities to at least bring it down or get an air dribble from, from the sidewall where they can try and get a little extra space. Whoa, Atomic! Oh, what? everyone! Huge save from Arsenal! What a save from Arsenal off his own post! And G2 still trying to threaten here. 
But with 40 seconds left, Space Station got to make a move downfield. G2 trying to constrict the defense here. That one's going to come out to the middle. And Space Station are able to at least clear it out for the moment. 30 seconds now. Space Station needs some magic. And it oh, might come idea. across the box here for Arsenal. Drops it down, but Atomic still had a flip. And he'll deny. Now 20 seconds left on the clock. G2 trying to double their lead in the series. Daniel might have something to say about it as he'll drop it off the ceiling. And a big clear comes out from G2. It'll be Arsenal from his own side as the audience counts him down Ooh. here in game two. Space Station Ooh. got to go the length of the field. Oh it's my a good gosh. pass out to Arsenal. Oh the my gosh. The bump is there, oh. but G2 denies once again, and it's 2-0. They were right on the edge of being in time to catch that one to score on G2 right there. You love the push from SSG, but they find themselves down too early. It's gonna be a tough road back, but I did like you were talking about, Shamako, some really nice adjustments, knowing they needed to get aggressive upfield and see if they can find a way to try and catch G2 off guard. And they are generally getting to those transition touches first. It's just a matter of really nice defense from G2. And we will get a timeout from Space Station here to kind of reset. I think this is probably one of the better times to take the timeout, especially sure. since you don't want to do it with your last life if you're down three games in a series of best of seven. I think it's nice to kind of get some time to make some adjustments mm -hmm. and make even more adjustments if you were to lose a third game. And I think they were already making the adjustments. They were working on it, and you saw how their offense was getting more dynamic, and, and everything, not, not every single shot was the same, you know. They yeah. were getting uh, Arsenal more involved. Yep. They were trying to, uh, to go for those bombs at the end. They were trying to open the net, uh, not just attacking, but in some other ways, which I, I appreciate that very much, and uh -huh. now, with their coach, let's see, let's see how they can tweak those uh, decisions. And I think there will be a lot of value in Space Station, seeing if they can find a way to really stick tight to the ball, force possession, make J2 come and make the big challenges. And while it is dangerous, still a lot of Space Station fans here. Oh yeah. They want it to start going back the other way, and it just might, because Space Station, I love the aggressive strategy. Is it dangerous? Yes. Does it give them a lot of opportunities to try and make big plays happen? Certainly, and I think if there's any team that thrives off of making big plays, it's Space Station. It, yeah. It is, a, it is that way how they were able to get back with Dignitas. You know, they were, they were back, they were not getting the, the attack that they needed, and then Arsenal got crazy, and he attacked and attacked and attacked, and that's how, you know, they were able to open up the net and, and get, you know, as many goals as they had in that series. So, yes, I mean, it's, this is nothing new for them. They have been yeah. in this place before, right. and I, they have thrived afterwards. I did run into Arsenal yesterday before one of their matches, and I asked if anybody here could guard him. He still said no. Of course not. So <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> believe you, 100%. Yeah. So as soon as they Why get would he that, tell you yes? I, well, he's not the type of guy to say yes, even if it was true. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's it's just this tiny spark that and, really sets them going. And I think if you know Rettles and Arsenal especially, then you know that I think a land setting like this with the crowd, especially a crowd that is certainly behind them, definitely elevates their gameplay. They're the type of players that feed off the energy of the yeah. crowd. They feed off the energy of each other sitting next to each other at this type of environment. That's why they're here in an upper bracket final against G2. And they've taken their time out. They've spent some time here to think about all their wrongdoings and trying to make amends here in game three. And you wanted to see some bumps, and they went right away bumping Atomic on that play. So, they, yeah, they, they're going to get a physical in this match. The crowd is divided. Yeah. <laughs> the G2 fans finally walked in. They're like, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> and of course now Space Station having to fight back. Now they just switched to talking about Gibbs, which is good. I don't mind that at all. A neutral party. That's true. <laughs> The question is, did Gibbs take G2 to win this that game? That is suppose. a real question. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens here in game three. And Space Station starting off nicely here. A lot of good pressure, forcing G2 back. Chicago, very calm, cool, collected save with a little pressure, but this is good pushing from Space Station. Not a lot of gaps for G2, and of course, right then, Ooh. they all had to split off and grab boost. It's a shame there, Atomic didn't have boost. He could have really whipped around that one and taken a good shot or at least put it over the backboard. Here's Daniel now. How many times have we seen him just receive a pass that's lobbed to the G2 side? As Atomic will do the same, back towards the Space Station side, threatening the double tap, but a good clear now. As Chicago and G2 ramping up the offense. Here comes j -Naps trying to drop it down and turned away by Daniel. Another shot will ricochet off the back wall. G2, multiple opportunities to break through, but Space Station holding strong. Still G2 winning a lot of challenges here in the midfield. 
I think Space Station wants to slow the game down. That's yeah. typically been their MO through all the roster changes that they've had. They like to keep the game at their pace. G2, I think, is a team that really wants to run downhill and get that offense in perfect Whoa. rotation. There's JNAPS to the left side, and G2 on the board first. And, and the ball just falling down, and JNAPS gave oh. it no chance at all. I mean, he just went straight for it. Arsenal had a chance to hit the ball, but I mean, JNAPS decided, you know what? If he misses that one, it's mine. I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to put it on that, and they got the lead. Tough miss on the defense for Space Station as well. Daniel tried his best to cover up, and. After the timeout, generally, teams have gone four and two so far after calling a timeout. But right now, Space Station once again in a hole. See if they can dig out of it. It's just been so tough for Space Station to put on that pressure that I think they've normally got in yeah. this tournament. And I think that is because of the aggression from G2, the challenges we've seen in the midfield. But even then, Space Station kind of giving the ball away a lot of times, just lobbing it down the field. That's a great demo. Here's the shot. Ooh, scary. Rattles. Gets a piece of it to clear it out. Space Station trying to hold on, but this, the challenge is coming through. Chicago by another. Space to work with here for G2, as Reynolds was the last man, and he makes the save. Really nice job from Reynolds there. Under the pressure of G2, sweeping across the net. Certainly could have found himself in the scrapyard for, you for a few seconds and putting G2 further ahead. And there you go. Space Station do want to take care of the ball, and fortunately, it's all about winning that next challenge. Something that G2 has generally started to come up in front of. And you see how G2 is uh, crossing the ball over and over uh, across the, the net every single time. And every time you do that, you can actually cross as well and get a, a bump or a demo. Like, yeah. well, yeah. Arsenal just did it right there. But yeah, it, it was a driving. Oh, oh th that was a chance. That was a, a beautiful chance. Again, Chicago just a good placement over there to avoid that shot. Usually call that rotating through the defense, and G2 certainly masters at it. On that Space Station side, one touch on the ball, straight for a player on the Space Station side, rotate out, take can as much boost as you no. can. D2 under a lot of pressure here. That was a much needed win on that challenge from Ooh. Atomic. As good oh. demo as well Ooh. to get extra here comes room. Chicago. Oh, yeah. Chicago puts away a second for G2, and Space Station in the hole. You, you get the demo, you get the player out of the way, and then it's Chicago mm. just doing what Chicago does best. Wow. I mean, this is it. You put. These guys, the redirects are amazing. If you pass a, a second touch, anything that you give them a chance to make a, a redirect, they will put it on that. G2 on the verge of running away with this one. Win there. Space Station going to have to find a reverse sweep and a best of seven. No easy task. They got to start something here. And you got plenty of time. I mean, a minute score two is definitely doable, but you got to push yeah. hard and you got to make the pushes count. It's just a matter of how can you do that because that G2 defense. They've not really allowed too many. I, again, yeah. I like the transition ideas from Space Station. I've generally appreciated how aggressive they're trying to be. Just a matter of can you actually crack the defense, and right now it's been a struggle. Some good demos coming out from Rettles, or from the Space Station side. Rettles was on the shot. I feel like that type of physical play is what's going to lead Space Station to victory here. Here comes Rettles now, a second touch, looming off the ceiling, but Chicago so deep. very easily on the backboard dealing with that touch and running out of boost, forced to flick it. Does buy himself a little bit of space here as G2 able to work with it. Space Station, though, clamps down and big clear back down the sideline. Here comes Space Station. A shot surely. Tomino! Oh! Reynolds puts it away, and this one's not over yet. Reynolds has been so clutch at that distance. I mean, he got it nailed. He put it wherever he wanted. That over 90 almost a shot. It's incredible, very powerful, and he's given them a chance again. I mean, remember, Space Station doesn't want to lose this match. Get in, you know, reverse sweeps in ROCS land has not happened, so they really need to win this match. 20 seconds on the clock, Space Station. If they can't oh. pull one away, it's going to be atomic for G2, and that might just be the dagger. Drive a nail in the coffin, why don't you, Atomic? Nice placement as well, won a big challenge in that recovery effort. I wanted him to play well. That's a good way to put game three on ice. It's a lot to ask the Space Station here. 17 seconds, you need a solid kickoff. He feeds on dreams, you know? <laughs> it takes your dreams away every single time. 13 seconds left. Space Station need one with time left on the clock if they want to have a chance at it. But G2 is making it difficult. This is a good pass over to Rettles, and he Ooh. couldn't find the angle. A good attempt from him, but that was a tough shot. And G2 up 3-0 in this series forcing the sweep over Space Station. They're one game away. Looking good. If you're G2 Esports, you kept a generally very powerful counter-attacking team from scoring many goals on transition. 
Or what is that, six shots for Space Station? And what really gets them out in front so often, they get that nice early lead, and then they always send that player way deep back, right around the goal line, somewhere on the back wall, in a tough to demo position, or at least time the approach back the other way to give them an opportunity. And G2 have thrived on that really deep rotation. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna have to be a reverse sweep here for Space Station. That has never happened in a best of seven on land here in RLCS. Never. And Space Station now gonna have to do that again. It wouldn't be their first reverse sweep. They did that against Dignitas yeah. as they came back into the group stage. Yeah. So it's not a foreign thing to them, but G2 certainly a different beast here today at an upper bracket final. It's gonna be tough if they're gonna get back into this. Face <laughs> doesn't want to be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> The question is, did he come out a little too early? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's here to gloat. All of a sudden, though, the crowd is now chanting SSG at him, and he's just looking at his phone. He doesn't want anything of it. I'm looking at you, teammate. He doesn't want anything of it. <laughs> but either way, it's all got to start here. If you're a Space Station fan, they wouldn't be out of it. They'd go down into the lower bracket. But right. convincing 4-0 win from G2 would throw a wrench into the plans at the very least. I mean, both teams, though, definitely having success with their new rosters. I think both sides are very, very happy with where they're at right now. Of course, everyone chasing the trophy here at the Winter Major. And as you said, Space Station not out of it if they were to lose this. But this game certainly just getting started in Game 4. As Space Station would love a go-ahead goal right off the rip. G2 really have had that number on them as Atomic with a little musty on it. Thrown down the field for Space Station. A little musty on it. That's mustard for sure. A little mustard. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, musty is it is short now. for mustard. <laughs> he's having a picnic here. We'll go find him somewhere. I'm sure he's here. We'll ask him. Here's Chicago. So it takes it to the back wall. Space Station. They've had that locked down for the most part. That's not the best touch. It comes out to JNAB. He'll find the back wall now. Daniel with a touch touch. Doesn't come out. And a shot here from Atomic. Top shelf turned away by Reynolds. As Space Station, a couple flubs defensively. Are you able to oh. stave off G2 for now? They just don't have enough boost to really get up and get Whoa. aggressive, but they're gonna find a transition out of nowhere. Space Station, we said we wanted something early. Well, they found it. Oh, there he is. Found <laughs> Daniel. I mean, yeah. what, a, what a sight. I mean, he, he just pinpointed the pass, and Daniel was just right there to get the ball on the net. I love that play. I was, I was in my head, Arsenal, we need you now. I mean, this is the <laughs> moment that you have to find your teammates, you have to make them play with you, and then you get the assist, and beautiful, beautiful shot. And the positioning for Daniel there was fantastic, giving him the outlet pass. That's what I was know. talking about. And they want to get up early, try and give themselves yeah. options, and it's, it's sneaky. You really got to be paying a lot of attention if you're G2 at that midfield line, not to let someone get behind you that you don't know about. Rocket League is really just hedging against the best and worst ca uh, case scenarios, and Daniel came out with the best there. Chicago, a weak touch, we popped up, and a free clear here for Space Station. Daniel, he's met by Jay Naps. A little fight here in the midfield for possession. Nobody holding on to it. Tomic wants to take control, beats one. Here comes Chicago. Great challenges coming out from Space Station, moving up that line, trying to attack the G2 side. Arsenal with no boost. It still kept dangerous here from Atomic. Reynolds, now a shot from Arsenal, picked up boost, and it saved away. Atomic and Jay Naps combining there. But Space Station putting on the pressure. Arsenal wants a flip reset, he got it. But JNAP's there to stop him. Real tough approach there from Arsenal, not easy to get it down. And in between the goal posts, is G2 really struggling oh, to get a hold of the ball. Couldn't find the read, <laughs> and Daniel's gonna put in number two. Well, you gotta say Laniel. That's yeah. Daniel. Yeah. He's popping up here now. You know, he, he's, he's stopped being Daniel anymore. He's Laniel, he's enjoying this, he's having a good time, <laughs> and he's making it work. He's the type of player you need for Space Station to come alive. And he's put his team up two goals. As JNAP's trying to make the difference here. That one's too sharp. Another shot comes through, but Rettles able to stop that. Space Station keeping a clean sheet. And it's exactly what they need to start this reverse sweep as we're halfway through game four. G2 really don't need to do too much. They've got a lot of time. Make sure that Stop allowing Space Station to get a hold of those on your own half and see if you can find a way out. A lot of poking and prodding going on. And a lot of long clears coming out. Yeah. I mean, both teams really just throwing the ball downfield and hoping for the best. And a lot of times that's just relieving the pressure because the challenge game has been so strong. Yeah. Just avoiding it. 
Mystery comes out from Chicago. Ooh. Now Demo, here's the transition on for Space Station. They kind of run into each other there, and the touch was too far. Atomic trying to flip into that one. It's not going to come as Space Station. Okay. One is put on the tag. Low boost for JNAPS. The pass Ooh, over he's Atomic's up early. There. Here to receive it. Ooh! Ooh! Atomic to the top shelf, and G2 back up by one. Well, just sniper, man. I mean, you, you give him some <laughs> chance. And he said, okay, I got two mm. players. Uh, they're not going to be able to be in the over 90. I'm going to put the ball right there, and that's it. I mean, he's just that good. And, you know, power, accuracy, he got it all. And now, you know, only one goal uh, in between these two teams. Love to see how early he got up for that pass, too. Good communication from JNAPS. He must have told him he didn't have booze, so he had to know the pass was coming instead of an air dribble. And got up early to make sure he put, beat the defense and quality shot on target. Give themselves a chance here. G2 cuts the lead in half for Space Station and plenty of time left on the clock. As I said, Jeeves, it doesn't really take much of a change for G2. You have to up the number of chances and certainly take advantage of the ones given to you by Space Station. They're far and few between. Here's Space Station out off the ceiling. Arsenal. Now Daniel from his own corner. G2 preventing Whoa. it. That one was able to sneak by. Uh, okay. Chicago was there, but he didn't challenge. Smart to get back here as the transition's on for Space Station. Bit of a dangerous ball as the Tomic deals with a nice little flip reset. They're still so, so calm. I mean, I mean, you see, you see G2 and they're playing their, their same game as before. They're not forcing anything right now. Yeah. So they're trusting their method. And they still got 30 seconds left to play. I mean, but, but yeah, I, I'm so impressed by how they're handling this, this situation. Got a lot to work with and no chance here for Daniel as double tap will definitely take away G2 putting on some pressure here with 10 seconds, 15, excuse me. We'll see G2 come up with a miracle Whoa. as that saved away from the net. Low boost here for JNAP, so he'll go back. It's up to Chicago. That touch not hard enough. Space Station throws it downfield. Space Station gonna force another game. Second time in this match that we see that goal. I mean, in this case, it was <laughs> yeah. Arsenal, it wasn't it wasn't nailed, but still, I mean, the same type of play, good career, there you have someone in between, uh, up front, and then you pass it to that person. 3-1 lead, this is, you know, Space Station's awakening right now. The long road back, We're gonna start here in game four. A lot of tough games early on in the series, struggling to find something against Space Station, and the strategy of send somebody up a little early on those transitions, find a few gaps in the G2 defense as they're rotating back to grab boost and try and reapply pressure. Found a couple of openings, and G2 tries. They might really struggle to get out in front of the challenge game, which is one of their biggest strengths early on in the yeah. series, Corelli. Well, it was Winter Regional 2 when Space Station recorded their best of seven reverse sweep against Oxygen online. <laughs> and they're going to have to do it The fan made the here. mobile one eye performance replay. There you go. <laughs> as Arsenal is able to put that one away. And for Space Station, you know, look, this is the first step. This is what they have to do. And, and they got the job done, and they looked good. Uh, again, a lot of options for them yep. as they were able to kind of find each other downfield, a lot of outlet passes. The transition was really, I think, uh, the weakness of G2. And uh, Space Station able to expose it. I said it before in game two. I mean, they, they lost that match, but they were looking really good, really dynamic. And then they come now here in, in game number four and they were able to just make the goals, <laughs> you know, but they, they're still playing about the same, a little bit more aggressive, I think, uh, I mean, more physical, not aggressive, physical. They, we see more demos, we see with some more bumps, which I, I love, and then, you know, we get Arsenal just getting involved in the offense a little bit more. So game five, we're looking for Space Station. I have to wonder if that continues to be the approach again. Oh, and G2's uh -oh. gonna score off the rip, that's tough. <laughs> that is not what you want if you're a Space Station, but G2 fans, happy to see it. Right off the rip, it's two seconds into this wow. game, and JNAPS just comes plowing through. Again, that's the second time now. Very yep. aggressive kickoff for G2, and it's paid off. It couldn't have gone worse for Space Station, to be honest, either. I mean, the guy who's challenged the ball just got too high up it and just bounced straight up. Couldn't even get the wheel set back on to go for a second challenge. And like you said, the very aggressive G2 kickoff, that's netted a second goal, and they've been very successful scoring first, and they've done it early here. And we'll see if that gives them a little bit of a cushion to play a little safer and keep some tabs on where Space Station are transitioning out of their own half from. This is a low score in the series so far, you know, so uh, an early goal can really, really, yeah. really make a difference. Yeah, that's a great point. It really has been a low scoring affair and both sides have been tested defensively. Again, winner of this game moving on to the finals, of course, and the loser not out. But it's a long road here for Space Station.
And it got just a little bit longer here going down early. Here's another one coming out of Chicago as Daniel be able to win that challenge. But G2 not done with him quite yet. JNAPS has helped to the right side. That's a great Ooh, shot. Wow. And G2, what a beautiful play to double their score. And this is the G2 I love to see. JNAPS and Chicago, you know, this duo has been playing forever together. And they know each other so well. So when you see JNAPS up top, he knows, he knows, Chicago knows that he's going to get the pass right where he needed to put in the net. Things not going right here for Space Station. But plenty of time left on the clock. Rettles, can he do it himself? A decent flip reset, but the defense gets a hold of it. Chicago taking out Daniel. And now he passes it over to Atomic, but it was too hard. The defense there from Space Station. As we've come past the first minute, Space Station looking to get one back as soon as possible. Unfortunately for them, G2, they've just poked it away time and time again. They've done a good job here from Space Station now, moving down the sideline. Try to push into the box, no one there from Space Station. You have to reset, and every single time, it feels like Space Station attacks, G2 throws it all the way back to the Space Station corner. Yeah, that's really what was getting it done early, is there's the aggression from Space Station, trying to connect on the bump, and it's increasing, trying to increase the pressure, I should say, from the midfield line. Really send the third man forward as aggressively as possible, and G2, that challenge game starting to come back in their favor here, perhaps the most inopportune time for Space Station. And that was the thing that we harped on early for G2. It was the challenge game earn, uh, getting their early game wins in this series. That was really the biggest difference maker. And it's, mm -hmm. again, not really like Space Station played poorly. Sometimes it is just that one thing. Here's Arsenal now. Wanted to drop it down, but it's too far in front. Chicago will just blast it downfield. A comfortable lead here for G2. And not a lot of opportunity for Space Station. Oh. It feels a little bit like Space Station is not on the same uh, oh, point. Boy. Oh, wow. Okay, oh. watch it there. <laughs> because uh, you saw the drop down from, from Arsenal, but no one was there to get it. So, I mean, that's a great play when you have a, a someone, a, a teammate, to get the pass. But otherwise, you're just giving up the, the, the ball. G2 really focused on securing their own boost as well. They don't want to give Space Station any extra avenues of finding oh, success. Daniels through everybody. No it. one's in time. The demos have come through one way or the other, and they'll get themselves one back. Yeah, it's the demos that open up the play here for Space Station. We pointed that out earlier, is you want the physical play to come alive for them. That's where they have a lot of their success. And there's just an example, another example, for Space Station. Able to get one back here, and plenty of time left on the clock here in Game 5. But it will take another goal here for Space Station to stay alive in the upper bracket. Oh, Atomic faking that one. Oh, a follow up for Chicago oh, off the post as well. Again, Both hitting crossbar, and Space Station bailed out by the fourth man. Remember that one. If you're oh. a G2 fan, because that could have been the one that put him away, and wow. Chicago getting up in the net early to keep Space Station out, but no easy paths forward. They're really trying to constrict and put the pressure in the corner, steal the corner boosts. They missed that one, and G2 may have a little bit, just enough to work with to get out of here. Crazy that G2 is able to stabilize, but still Space Station getting a couple challenges here. Daniel, opportunity, looking for two, and it's too high. Space Station, so many chances here, so threatening. Now it's going back towards their net. And Daniel, once again, called upon defensively to dribble that one out. Coming up on a minute left. Chicago, two off the backboard, and again the defense. Getting in front, breaking up that double tap. Arsenal, space to work with. Looking for the block, it comes out to Daniel, gets by one, threatening the air dribble, getting bumped oh, in wow. front. We'll pop it up again, <laughs> but the defense just hanging on to the play, trying to get the read. Love how they're playing a little bit slower. Oh, oh they got it! What a save! Oh, well, still he has to go chance. Arsenal didn't go for it. He was winning. It's still, I love that they're playing a little bit slow because that way they're not allowing for really strong uh, clears and, and they can keep up the pressure in front of the net. But now, you know, as I stated, you know, G2 got the clear and now it's back for Space Station to really work hard for that goal. Space Station chance coming alive in the final 20 seconds and they're going to need it. G2 looking to go back to another okay. RLCS final here oh. over Space Station. As Atomic will pop it up, 10 seconds left on the clock. The countdown begins, and one last try for Space Station as JNAPS will meet it in the midfield. Daniel, can he be the hero that Space Station oh. needs? He won't, and Space
PlayStation going down to G2 as they move on to the finals. What a show from G2. You had to wonder how they were going to play against the space station that has been a problem for everybody coming into this tournament. The answer is not the same. Really yeah. strong approach in the midfield. The defense incredibly difficult to break down. On transition, still dotting the ball pretty much anywhere you'd like in the net. Yeah. Making it look good. G2 fans, happy to see this performance. A dominant one here. It was very, very close, though. As you mentioned, Jamanko, low very low-scoring affairs. Space Station played them extremely close. But even then, only able to take one game off them. G2 now. They are really looking like the favorites here in this tournament with the teams left. They've been so strong. They're into the finals. What do you make of it? They're so calm and collected. You know, we were talking about uh, Team Queso's confidence yesterday, yeah. and, and they seem to be the same way. Like, yeah, we know we know our system works. We know each other. We, we, we really trust each other. So, yeah, that's what they do, and they keep it very short you know, on defense. The final Mobile One high-performance replay of this series. And you can just see Chicago slotting it at the fans going crazy for G2 on these goals. And we mentioned coming out on top very early with that quick kickoff goal was really, I think, what set the times. tone for G2. It was not only just this game, as you mentioned. Yeah. There's been a few of them. And, and it really was, I think, quite beneficial to get out in front so early because, again, it really did allow them to take a little bit of a step back. Every now and again, there will be a gap in that space station. Then you can push out and really put the pressure on them. And the, the confidence that they gained from being like, okay, we've already got one. We know we don't have to really try and stress ourselves here to push forward. And I think that paid a pretty big dividends for G2 going out, getting out the first goal so early, so often. Because it is their play style. They don't want to be in your face and enforcing things. Even, we, we saw it even when they were down two to one and they were like 30 seconds left. They, they kept the same play style the whole, the whole time. Yeah. So if they have the, the advantage, but even better for them. I mean, we, we don't even have to push more. We will just, to stay calm, again, confident in our system, and then let things happen. Yep. Well, it sounds like we have an interview with G2. We're going to send it on to the front stage with Subi. Thank you very much, Corelli and gentlemen on the cast there. Hey, YouTube Theater, make some noise for your boy Chicago here in G2 Esports. It's loud out there for you guys, and I got to ask, does it feel like finally it is home turf for G2? Oh yeah, it's been the entire time. Maybe that SSG series is a little bit different, but I'll forgive you guys. All right, now I've got to ask, that game you guys dominated from, from start to finish, and I've got to ask, was it in your guys' heads to kind of just get that early lead and make sure that you make Space Station continue to chase that throughout the game? Uh, we knew that if we played our game, they would just give us a goal eventually. And I think our game plan was working honestly perfectly. And we were just playing really solid, not too risky, and it just ended up going in our favor. Yeah, and just from watching that, it felt like the game plan really was no easy transitions because Space Station, so dangerous from going from defense immediately to offense with those passing plays. Was the speedy play something that you guys were doing specifically for SSG, or was it just the G2 style? Uh, it's the G2 style, as well as we saw version one was kind of playing super slow, laid back, and SSG was really good at capitalizing on that, so we knew kind of the opposite was to be in their face, force them to give us the ball, and I think they did that, and we used our opportunities well. Yeah, no, and it was also part of you guys not allowing those goals. Only one goal for the first three games allowed. I mean, impressive defense by you guys, but you know how important it is for them to get going and get that crowd momentum behind them. How good did it feel to just silence them immediately every single time they seem to get a goal? Yeah, it felt really nice because we felt like we were the ones in control. Game four, I decided to take a nap to give them one. Uh, but... Uh, no, I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah, getting the lead is really important for us, and we know that you can't just turtle up because every team is really good, so you can't, they're just going to get a goal eventually. So if you turtle up, it's just going to be a nightmare. So we knew that early goal would help us to be more aggressive, but also get them on their toes and maybe make more mistakes. Yeah, no, you bring up game four. They took that from you, and then to get that kickoff goal in game five, got to feel so good to just give yourself a little bit of a buffer. But I've got to ask, coming all the way from the rival series, all the way to the Winter Major. You've yet to win a LAN. Is this where magic happens? I think so.
I don't need, I don't think anything else needs to be said. That is the perfect way to cap this off. And up next, we're gonna have FaZe against Queso. Who would you guys rather play in the grand finals? I mean, FaZe all the way, top three NA. North America, repping it loud and proud here at the YouTube Theater. You're not gonna wanna go anywhere. We'll be back with a quick word after this next word. This might not be your car, and this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine, and maybe these aren't your coworkers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Tippy driver.
make you move. We gon' make you lose. We gon' make you move. So baby, let's up it tonight.
It's Championship Sunday for the Rocket League Championship Series Winter Major live from Los Angeles. We got a packed house, we got a packed lobby out here, and so many fans excited to see G2 advancing to the finals. They will await whoever emerges from this extremely intense lower bracket. I'm Wayfunk, I got a roll as a Bates, I got a Johnny Boy, I got a CJ. Oh! Already? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. That's tough. <laughs> Are they done? Is, is this is this is this foreshadowing? Space Station's out. It's foreshadowing that they're out of the upper bracket. I'll tell you that much. Well, that, hey, that's man. not foreshadowing, but yes. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey out. man, I could be wrong about that, but I can't be wrong with my prediction. My Ooh, them boys from G2 are balling right now. Yeah, he's spicy. Let's take a look at how that match went down in the hyper in the Mobile One High Performance Replay. So much action unfolded over the course of five games. I think we all thought it'd be a little bit closer than this, though. G2 had their number from beginning to end. Yeah, 100% it predicted it to be a lot closer. But G2 came out to a fantastic start. You see right here, Chicago, Whew. the Lynx. Between these two, they're so speedy. But I thought Daniel was about to—he was about to warm up. He was warming up the entire series, but it just wasn't enough for this G2 roster. They're looking incredible. Absolutely, and as you said, Daniel started to get warm as you know that was basically three or down in the series huh. and trying to reverse sweep. Even though Daniel was starting to heat up, I mean, wow. a best of seven reverse sweep would be absolutely unbelievable. So SSG, they put up a fight, but in the end. Wasn't quite enough. Stuff. And th this is a bad spot for SSG because going down to that lower final is really, really hard to bounce back from, especially on LAN. I I'm going to be so impressed if they can bounce back and make the grand final later. But honestly, I don't think it matters who comes through phase versus queso. I've got them against SSG going all the way. Oh, okay. So whoever makes it up against SSG here in this next matchup is going to be the one that plays in the finals? Yeah, it just happens the most. Three out of three times this split in Europe. The team coming through lower final made the grand. Momentum. Two out of three times in NA happened as well. I think in OCE mm. even it's happening. Yep. It, it's so hard to bounce back from that upper final mm. loss and recover. We saw it yesterday. Both the teams coming from the upper bracket lost in the lower bracket. Well, and CJ, I mean, this match gave me a lot of questions about Reddles and Arsenal, which are the two players I had had no questions about, no qualms about this entire event. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal in the group stage, obviously, he was the catalyst in that Dignitas series for the reverse sweep, and we they need to pop off. He needs to pop off for them to really perform. I think they mm -hmm. can't really rely on Daniel, the yeah. 1v3 yeah. factor. I think Reddles, for the most part, is, is seemingly the consistent one, but when Arsenal is mm -hmm. at that level, they can really take it to any team, but when he's just, you know, a little bit off that we saw in that series, mm -hmm. you know, they can really fault us. What do you guys think about G2's Chicago there saying that he's hoping for FaZe to come through because I know everybody, he, he disguised <laughs> he's it. Right, eh? He disguised no, it. No, no, right, he's I, no. I think he's disguised no, with his you. intentions, Bates. Because I'll give you something. Bates, you're right about the bracket so far. You're right about G2's farm coming into land. I doubted them, but I'll be the first to tell you. I was wrong. They're looking stunning. They've got to be the favorites from here in mm -hmm. the upper bracket final, uh, or only grand final. But I think if there's one team that he's most afraid of, it's Queso. He says that he's open for FaZe to go through for NA. I think he's open for FaZe to go through so he doesn't have to play against Queso. <laughs> he's ducking him. They're I ducking mean, Queso. There's they want four FaZe teams, to take him out. There's four teams left in this bracket, and G2's beat two of them and never played the other. So, mm -hmm. I, of course, he wants to play up against FaZe. Now, we do usually have Gibbs sitting here. I'm happy to have Roll Dizzy right now. This is wonderful stuff. But Love you, Wade. Where, where, where is Gibbs? Where, Gibbs, where are you? Gibbs. YouTube Theater, get loud! I love you all. Love you all. No, you're beautiful. All of you, beautiful. But I'm not here to hear my chance. I'm here to interview the one and only Isaac App. Isaac App, I can't call you that because I've called you Turtle since you're 15, so I'm going to call you Turtle from now on. Is that right? Yeah, no, we're, we're good. We're good. All right, all right. So let's talk about the crowd, the community. How has this whole weekend been for you? Oh man, it, it's crazy. We got a lot of beautiful faces out here, of course. Um, a lot of beautiful. <laughs> and Rocket League, I mean, it's a family. You come out here, you see all these people, you feel like a community, a family, and you know each other. You come here to find an escape from reality, all your problems, whatever you're facing, and to come to an event like this, see all these people, it, it's a dream. It's so awesome, because there's 5,000 people that love two things here, me and Rocket. 
So it's great to see everyone here. Yeah, Just yeah. having a great time, yeah. obviously. Come on. But we got to talk about the musical theme of this entire major. Every single break, there's two minutes left, and all of us as casters are just vibing to fall. How does that feel to have your song played every single time? It's, it's wild. Um, I never expected it to happen, like, ever. I made music since I was 15, since I started competing. Um, I made that song fall in a PVC booth made out of moving blankets in my room alone for years. And I didn't expect it to come this far. And Rocket League gave me a chance. They were able to put my music out here. They're putting it on blast for everybody to hear. It's, it's unbelievable. It's crazy, it's crazy. And not only that, a player anthem is coming out April 4th. You can rock fall in Rocket League. Make sure you buy it in the shop. Support Turtle, because we love them. Everyone loves them. So Turtle, where do we find more, more songs? Because we want to hear more. Oh man, I mean, there's already an album out. There's already an album out. There's so much music. Spotify, all the platforms. Isaac App, they're giving me a platform to say it here. So go check it out if you want to. If you're enjoying fall, that's all I got to say. And last thing I gotta say, let's give it up for Isaac App one more time. And I just wanna say, I am so incredibly proud of where you come from. 15 playing Rock League to a caster, to a musical artist. Now I've seen you grown from a baby to a grown man, and now you're taller than me, which is a problem. But I just wanna say that I am so incredibly proud. Turtle. I love you. Wave back to the desk. <laughs> Did you catch that Gibbs, Gibbs the, threw the wrapper on? The wrapper on Hogan. Oh my. Gibbs, I thought, I thought his mechanics were pretty off. Back the microphone, you. he's waving it around, but then yeah. he got it around Turtle. All the way around. The I've never seen that The before. microphone, Mick, was a little off it to start. It was a little off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 constant, <laughs> constant professional. I will say as someone whose background is in music, it's, it's incredibly special to me to see uh, one of our own getting his music celebrated there. Like I, My background's in music, but I am not on the grind the way that man is to make music right now. It's incredible to see what he's done. And to see Psyonix supporting it as well, saying, oh, someone in our community is doing something amazing, we want to we be a part of that. And they always uplift everybody that is important to them and, and the fans. Like, every, everything about Psyonix, what, what they do, is just to support whoever is involved in their community. And I love to see it. Yeah, man, it's really amazing. That was actually really heartfelt. Heartfelt, heartwarming yeah, to see them hug, man. Turtle's been in the scene for so long. To yeah. See, see the growth, the maturation. It's not just Turtle, it's just the whole entire community in and of itself. Just to have this land, this special event, two years removed from the previous land, man, it's really something special. Yeah. I mean, I thought they were never going to stop chanting Gibbs is beautiful. So <laughs> I think we need like an hour long rendition of this Gibbs is beautiful yeah. post show. I just, want, I just want the whole crowd to learn the lyrics to fall. I know that's like a hard oh, ask, yeah. but like maybe, you know, in the next hour. Anyways, let's move forward. Bracket time, folks. Let's take a look at how things look we've only got three more matches left before we are crowning Ooh. a champion here g2 knocks off ssg they'll advance to the grand finals and wait the Dirt. winner of the next two matches here we got ssg waiting for the winner of the match we're about to play team queso taking on phase clan team queso the last representative of europe yeah they've got some hardcore fans out here though and i know that they're gonna be i think the underdog when it goes in there in terms of popularity but if you're a fan of Rocket League, you gotta be a fan of Team K. So the style that these guys play with is amazing to watch. The aggression that they bring is just wonderful to see from LAN rookies. And you, you hear them in the interviews, you see them having fun on stage. Everybody loves these guys. So I'm just gonna say it right now. If, you know, if you're not a fan of Team Queso, you're not a fan of Rocket League. I know you're gonna want FaZe to win all you NA guys out here. You want NA top three, but you gotta respect Team Queso and what they're doing out here. I've at least got four fans as well, because those boys yeah, in the chair, they're, they're, oh, they're, they're not they're, here behind us. They were right. before, they are painted <laughs> yellow. Oh yeah, they've seen them. They've seen them. Yeah, you've seen them. <laughs> Them. They are unbelievable. They are so passionate. So it's it's great to see. And it just oh, hopefully, you yeah. know, we've got you know the, we're in a lower bracket now. Let's just get the yep. best rocket league we can. Let's shift for a good rocket league. Really, it's it's crazy. Two immense teams. One has to go home. It's Phase versus Team Queso. <laughs>
Phase will be a tough series, to be honest, but you know, we had a good game against them in group stage, and I think we can replicate it. I feel confident facing Queso. We know how good they are, though, so we can't underestimate them. We're the best team here because we're all young, we're all hungry to win. We've got insane mechanics, insane speed, and we want it more than any other team here. I think we'll come out on top over Queso because uh, we will have better teamwork and defense as the series goes on. I'm not worried about any of the Queso players. Message for Phase, you know, watch out. We did it in the group stage, we can do it again. Be careful. They did it in the group stage, they can do it again. It's Team Queso in the blue with FaZe in the orange. One of the teams gonna advance, one of the teams gonna end their run here. Right, man, listen, as that crowd gets loud for FaZe Clan, but also we got a lot of cheese heads up in that crowd as well. Look at Batera, he's <laughs> trying to pump him up, he's trying to get him ready. There's a matchup of the two best teams, in my opinion, coming from the lower bracket. We said it yesterday, and they're still here today. And, you know, FaZe, they got their revenge against V1 yesterday. They lost to them in the group stage as well. Didn't lose them in the bracket. They're trying to do the same thing to Team Queso. though. They're trying to right all the wrongs that they made earlier on in the tournament. <laughs> this is, this is a, it's a revenge tour either way. Either we see FaZe knocking off the teams that dropped them to that lower bracket, That's right. CJ, or we see Team Queso just knocking off another one of the top dogs in North America. They have an entire region on their back right now, <laughs> Queso. <do>. I <laughs> spoke to Joy yesterday and I said, you know, what do you feel like the pressure? You know, EU is... You are the last hope. And he said, don't worry, man. We got this. <laughs> that was it. That was it. He's so confident. There's so much confidence coming out of this Queso team. You see it on the pitch. You see it in how they're reacting. You, obviously, Rise has really stepped up on land as well. I mean, man, his reactions have been unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, Joya, he's, he's an absolute superstar. I love him. Absolute superstar. Just like everybody in their respective rights on that Queso roster, Vatira, the man who everybody said was going to be the star of the team. But I think all three players have respectively done their part to get them where they need to be today in this moment. And I think they feed into that crowd. They, they're the most confident roster I think I've ever seen. And they're the it's only ridiculous. team from EU. It's incredible. I said yesterday, I tweeted out, if you don't love them, I don't like you. And I meant that. <laughs> Johnny, is there is there a weak point on this stage? Oh, I don't see one. I, I'm so impressed with FaZe because they've really been fixing Ooh, all their problems. Uh -uh. I, I think that they got on uh, land with a lot of question marks. They weren't really playing mm. for each other. We, you know, you just mentioned Roll Days that Everybody's nobody's trying to be the superstar on Team Queso. They're all bigging each other up. They're all giving each other mm -hmm. the limelight. And that was one of the main criticisms of FaZe is they all wanted to be that guy. But I'm not seeing that online. I, I really think that they played a lot more humble. They're, uh, you know, they're helping each other out. They're passing a lot more. And that works right. so much better than what right. FaZe were doing online. Right. It's a totally different mm -hmm. FaZe Clan team, man. It started off it day is. three. It started off day three of this, of this point, tournament. Yeah. And then from since then, they've elevated. They're finally starting to utilize their actual teamwork and camaraderie with one another rather than just being three individuals. Yeah. And we all could see it as well. I mean, you spoke about that series. As soon as that happened, mm -hmm. we, we got into the, the live crowd event. They were coming up against BDS, and, the, and we were predicting them. We thought, you know, we've seen something different in that right. final game, in that elimination match. The momentum seemed to have shifted. Now they've got the crowd on their side as well, obviously. I mean, these guys are looking fantastic. You can take a look at their stats here. Both teams with dominant performances in their regions, but all of these stats, not gonna matter. It's all about what happens in these seven games. One of these teams will be going home right now with a top four finish. One of them will advance to play against Space Station Gaming. It's time to get your thoughts at home. Let us know what you think in the Verizon Ooh. fan vote. Use hashtag TQ, hashtag phase, depending on which team you're going for. And gentlemen, it's time to put some money on the line here, see if Bates continues to be right. We'll start with you, Johnny. You know, first of all, I've been super impressed with phase. I've got to say that. I didn't think they were going to be able to get past the top six this event. Oh gosh, this ain't but good. they're not impressive enough to get to go against Queso. I, I don't care what you say, babe. <laughs> you know, you, I, I agreed with you. You know, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. I'm trying to teach you that skill. You know, I was wrong about G2. I didn't expect them to show up on LAN. They did. But I think you were wrong about Queso. You're saying that these guys are going to choke on LAN. They're going to choke in under the pressure. They've done, they haven't choked at all. They've, top looked, six, they've looked phenomenal. <laughs> well, they're top four in it right now. Yeah. And all these teams looking great. But yeah, uh, FaZe, done well to get here. The only team to make top four, two majors in a row, but I, I've got to go Queso. Yeah, look, uh, Queso, it's, it's, it's a case for me. It's, it's the best offense in the world, Team Queso, unbelievable. But yesterday, first killer's defense was on mm. point. That guy was, I don't want to say he's carrying the team, but certainly a defense. He was making some ridiculous saves. So I think that's the battle we're weighing up right now. Can Queso break that phase defense? Do I think they can? 
Yes, I do. I'm going K spell as well. I think they're gonna they're making the run. These Skip boys, me. their mindset, their mentality is unbelievable. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to know what you say. You want to know what I say? Yeah. Ooh. See, now you put me on the spot because this is the hardest matchup to predict for me. I it's love tough. both of these day. boys. These are these are both of my teams in each region. I feel like mm -hmm. I've talked to Rise when I got down there to congratulate him. Like, Rise, good stuff today, man. I, I I hope it happens. You feel me? And he was just like. You better predict me on the desk. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm feeling cheesy, and wow. I gotta predict wow. my boy Rise. Massive. I'm sorry, Didn't phase. you like be like, oh, I'm all NA, like uh, in the listen, I, no, bro, I, listen, I, I, made, I made a promise, and I don't break promises. Okay, yeah. I don't break you promises. You should have made a promise okay. to NA. And let me tell you, put the camera back on me, please. <laughs> phase Clan will be the victor will be the winners, the victors of this matchup. And let me tell you why, man. Uh, we've already harped on it just a little bit. They're a new phase team, man. When they have too much individual talent, way too much, they might have the, they might be the most individually talented team in the game right now, but they were playing as individuals. It was all solo plays. They look disjointed. They look, they look discombobulated. And now they're finally looking like a team. The, it's, it's on our face, bro. The game-winning goal, FK had a shot. Game seven. And he passed it to AJ, the, self, mm. the selflessness. He's mm. thrown into a team leader. FaZe will win this. Chat, if you want your points, you better roll with base. That's all I got to <laughs> say. Wait, who are you going with? Look. I, I don't I don't get I don't go this way very often, but I, the players are quiet. Players are quiet people in general. They keep to themselves. They want to have conversations, but they never know how to initiate them. They kind of keep to themselves. In the hotel yesterday, my room is right next to First Killer's room. As oh. I'm like going up to my room, I'm not making eye contact with him. I'm just doing my thing. He's got his thing to do. I got my thing to do. He's like, "Yo, what's up, bro?" Initiates a conversation. Uh -oh. That's an omen. Faze has got this one. They are on a new <laughs> level, folks. Look what out for Faze here. <laughs> Faze versus Queso. I want to know how the fans feel about it. Let's hear it from. YouTube theater. Well, first off, look at this. Look at this Whoa. down 50, here. 50-50 50. 50 for the fans in chat. YouTube wow. theater, if you're supporting Queso, make some noise. If you want to support the boys from NA, make some noise. I think they're all just cheering. I think they're all just ready to get into the game, folks. Let's get to it. The Verizon Skybox is ready. We got phase versus Team Queso. A winner moves on and stays alive in the Winter Major. Let's get down to Manfield. Thank you very much, Wave Punk. Welcome back into the broadcast, folks. Spaceman, Stumpy, Subi Smash here on the call. Phase Clan, Team Queso, one of these teams going home, the other moving down to the lower final. A time where Europe is attempting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with North America in an event that has been dominated by that home crowd, the England flag, the French flag, flying proud. Will it be able to take down the Stars and Stripes? And we have Team Queso, Europe's last great hope, coming up against FaZe Clan, looking for their biggest win to date in the Rocket League scene. And already, Joyo putting the pressure on for Team Queso, ball just floating at the top of the box. And I have a feeling that we're going to have a shootout on our hands. This might be the only team in the world that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with first killer, Sipical, and AJ. FaZe have their work cut out for them. And the goal leader in all the world gets it done once more. Starting it off, Rise from that left-hand corner. Sees FaZe Clan sitting pretty, and he makes them look ugly. 30 seconds gone with Queso getting that early lead. And it comes down to Rise so frequently with Queso, where he is that goal leader. He is so confident. He does not stop. Rise having an MVP level performance this weekend, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down at all. And you see the rare double commit come out there from FaZe Clan, just leaving that goal wide open. And FaZe Clan would love to get one back quick. Becoming increasingly rare. I think FaZe Clan historically, they've loved to double commit. On regionals, they've gone big on both diving at the exact same ball, burning 100 boosts to do, quite frankly, absolutely nothing. This is a different side. It is so much more fun to see. They are using each other. We saw yesterday, they won their game with first killer passing at the death of the game to win it for the team. That's the FaZe Clan we're seeing, and it's what Queso, they need to try and battle against it. The scariest thing the teammate said on the desk, which could be said about a lot of things that he comes up with, but <laughs> for this series alone, FaZe looking much more like a team as the weekends progress. Couple of big wins oh. there. And for Team Queso, trying to control the pressure past midfield into the corner for possession time. Now a oh. shot there, saved by first killer. He's seen a couple of those this weekend, and he's met the challenge. The no. idea from Rise to shoot behind the keeper as well. 
Means that he's left wrong wheeled on the goal line. Can't get back to it convincingly, but first killer man. His saves, his defense, they've been last second. They've been awkward, but he has made them look effortless. The intelligence from Team Queso is what separates them from a lot of teams. And we just saw that on that offensive push. Normally we see players rotate out in that situation and instead they stay in the zone, in the box, keeping that pressure, making it to where FaZe Clan has to use a lot of boost to try and get that ball back out. And still, FaZe Clan have yet to have a good opportunity at net that one shot on target, but easily turned away by Rise. And Joyo and Vatiro looking to go down the field Get that shot on target, and Vatira up, backboards open, but no, turned away by Sipical. And that's why Sipical was picked up on this roster. AJ very far pushed past midfield, was looking for the rebound, but Sipical playing through the corners. He's so good oh. as an island player. Uh -oh. Right around one, the rebound there, but Sipical yet again towards the corner we go. It's possession for FaZe, but taken away by Team Queso. Vatira's the man that we've looked at to come into this land and be huge, be the man to take it away for Queso, but he hasn't been there as much as Ryzen Joyo. If he's feeling good and that kind of dribble faking out, going low underneath the defender, if that's what it implies, case though, they could be on fire. And on the other hand, for FaZe Clan, we need to see typical step up during group stages. A little bit of inconsistencies from them, and they seem to falter as Rise puts in another for Team Queso. The bump on the back line. Queso becoming aggressive so early on. Knocks first killer out, and AJ nearly making double contact with typical. It's going to be a long series. This is not a best of five. We're looking back. Team Queso took down FaZe in the final game. This will go to at least four maybe seven but in the end it's those physicality and those physical plays rather that can help team queso in the series and you know phase clan gonna have a tough day at the office if already rise has two unassisted goals we've still yet to see vatira or Joy joyo do anything in this game obviously getting the bumps, hey, the obviously bump. getting the demos but still not showing up on the stat line and if those boys start popping off it could be a quick series I love the ability of every player on this pitch because no ball at any given moment is safe. Everything is a threat. Every angle is an opportunity. Just there, Joyo shooting across the goal mouth. Doesn't go in, but there's the opportunity. It's been a very quiet lead for Team Queso. Another big demo there, so numbers advantage as they move upfield. FaZe trying to scramble now on defense with not a lot of resources here. Joy and it's another free goal. So all of a sudden, when that demo starts to come out and the bumps follow with it, you're looking at Face down the field where Team Queso continue to capitalize. A missed touch from Sipical sends it straight into the ceiling. And with Joya able to flip into somehow the perfect position to catch it, he can dribble it in. Team Queso game one, three goals. Face plan yet to be on the ball. And you also noticed in frame was Rise ready to pick up any cleanup 50 that happened on the goal line. But Joyo didn't need his help. Team Queso working so well as a team right now. Even though all three goals, like I brought up, unassisted, they haven't even gotten the passing plays going yet. The time of game one starts to dwindle away. And FaZe have yet to find themselves anything. The possession has been there through those corners. All of the blue half controlled by Team Queso. The last hope for Europe has certainly met the call early on in this series. But like we said, it takes time for FaZe to get going. They're very good when their backs are against the wall. Sharp shooters, FaZe Clan, do have the opportunity to score three and 20, but Keso are shutting them down at every avenue. The midfield control is fully on the side of Europe in this matchup, with Rise catching again, goes for a low 50. We saw Vatira earlier, he goes to one again, oh. he muscles it past. Can't quite find the bottom corner, however. Keso with first blood. Ball still up. Never mind. It's a game one win for Team Queso. And a very quiet one at that, but it's a quality win nonetheless. And you get yourself on the board first, breaking the ice in this series. A very quality win there. And Team Queso showing you why it's so important to keep that pressure up the field. Not giving FaZe Clan an opportunity at a solo play. Not giving them an opportunity to dribble that ball downfield through the air. Just zero space given to FaZe Clan. And you could see it on the scoreline. And every time we saw Queso get pushed up with possession, what happened? Queso were ready to challenge the ball immediately when FaZe went up for a defensive stand. They weren't getting a lot of clean clears for FaZe. So you're getting possession there for Team Queso and ex extra opportunities for a shot. It was very difficult for FaZe to clear the ball away. It comes down to a lot of the play in the midfield where in that matchup, Queso, they were taking it. They were the ones that were stealing that boost. They were just shutting down FaZe at every opportunity. 
something FaZe have done so well against every team that they have been facing so far through this competition. But when you come up against a team like Queso, who have been described as ball chasers, it is so hard to break out of there. The crowd here as well, so excited to be watching an NA versus EU matchup and hoping, I'm sure, for the Europeans to fall. Oh. I can almost guarantee you that, especially with me and Spaceman up here. Not a little sure. bit in our back. I just want chaos. So. I don't care how it comes. The chaos comes bracket up. rings. Yeah, supreme. give me the chaos bracket. Well, folks, game one was pretty one-sided. On to Forbidden Temple we go for FaZe. They're still looking for their first goal in the series. And you can bet your bottom dollar that FaZe Clan, with all of the mechanics present on that team, that eventually they're going to break out, especially with that ball-chasing mentality that Team Queso does happen to have. But Tira can't get the 50. And you can bet your bottom Euro that Queso are going to come back out and face against FaZe Clan with every single thing that they have got in their arsenal. Going for some bad ball plays, the double miss, and it's difficult to save it away. Bit of boom ball here early on. They're trying to establish some rhythm at the midfield line. FaZe have not done a great job at finding one another, whether it's been infield passing, whether it's been corralling the ball through the sidewall, trying to get downfield cleanly. Finally, AJ with a touch for the extension, and typical with a somewhat awkward flip over, but instead, possession here yet again. Joyo off the backboard. Team Queso looking for the opening goal with about a minute burn. FaZe Clan seems scared of every touch that Queso are making. They're pre-jumping as often as they possibly can, and it's not a bad idea, don't get me wrong, but it just means that you've earned so much more boost than Queso. If they get wise to that, and they realize that they have just got their presence is threatening, then their area of influence grows exponentially. And already, this game number two feels like an extension of game number one. It feels like six minutes of just pure offensive pressure for Team Queso. FaZe Clan, I'm able to do anything to get into the offensive half and really set up any type of offense. And like you said, it just boils down to those pre-jumps from Team Queso, like Rise getting that one shot on target, turned away by AJ and FaZe Clan. Rare double commit yet again going up for that ball, but it might not be too rare at this point. FaZe had a small counterattack down the field, and they got very aggressive on the backboard. They bumped off Joyo. So they're looking for that presence of mind for an extra member to move up into the center to get ready for a pass. FaZe are starting to feel more of their continuous assault. The things that got them to this point, they've just struggled to put it all together. When, Fla when FaZe can rather turn it on, they're gonna turn it on big time. In case though, the question mark will be whether it is in this series and whether they're gonna be ready for it. AJ and typical first begin killer. to assault that back line. First killer. First killer. Oh, oh! First killer makes contact on both the ball and the man. Not only does he get the bump on the defender to get him off of the goal line, but somehow gets the cheeky touch there to put it in and the audience left with their jaws on the floor. Well, he needed your best player to step up, finally get FaZe on the board, only took a game and a half, but here comes FaZe Clan. First killer, juggling over Joyo. Cut down immediately, Team Queso trying to deny that much push up. Typical yet again, bend around the corner, and Vatira rolling into the ball, will get it right back out to midfield. Miraculously reacting in time, clears it away from the goal line. The opportunity though for FaZe Clan growing as they march downfield. Rise with a chance for the shot and will get the back pass. AJ, look at his movement down pitch though. So much more aggressive and boost efficient. And for FaZe Clan, so important to score first here in game number two. And while first killer didn't even need to get that touch on the ball, for him to just see that roll into the back of the net does so much for his mentality saying, okay, we're not getting shut out. We're in this series and the hopes of making to the grand finals oh! alive, but Rise rattles that one out of the upper 90. All of a sudden, Team Queso has started to jolt up in pace. The power behind their shots has increased exponentially. They're trying to catch FaZe off guard and those quick rotations back into the goal line. Picking apart first killer and AJ. That's gonna be high off the backboard. Oh. Rise can't meet oh. it. Neither can first killer. No follow-up from FaZe. Don't want to overextend and make a mistake. It's typical though, he's sitting way too far back as far as I'm concerned. Nearly the double dunk coming in. With Sniffle going to the corner though, it falls to the first killer, who takes to the oh. skies, who holds the mantle of the ball on his nose. Instead though, just this one goal lead will remain. Rise unable to secure that flip reset as AJ pinching on that back line. First killer, the first man to that ball, time and time again. He's fast, he's feeling furious. And a few awkward touches from Team Queso here in FaZe Clan. 
Able to just hold this ball in mid-air. That shot on target. First killer can redirect as the demo comes through. AJ sent back to his back line. Numbers for Team Queso. But great 50 there from AJ to keep the pressure for FaZe. FaZe were so far extended upfield, they had no choice but to quickly rotate. And it's amazing that Team Queso couldn't convert that into a long-distance goal. It was one player to beat. First killer! Wow! Almost on his bone back pass, was able to find the opening. Would have been two, but Joyo off the ceiling, right back down with the dunk, blocked away by FaZe. Yet again, AJ with the escape, off the ceiling, FaZe looking for the second. Down to typical, blocked. Team Queso denying the second goal. Opportunity for the flip reset from one to oh! two to three. It is a deadly trio from Queso. The passing plays coming apparent for Team Queso and the flip reset from Vatira to Rise and Joyo with the exclamation point. They were more than happy to let FaZe get comfortable on the other side of the field. They just needed to get back out on a counterattack and play at a disadvantage against the numbers. Such little time in game two. We got ourselves a tie ball game. 10 seconds to go. FaZe trying to bring it to the corner, but it's a miss. Oh boy. It's a miss off the backboard. Rise down to Batira. He'll play it here. He has boost. Joyo oh on the slow. Right oh. to the down. Right on the goal! Rise once more. Finding it. And it comes down to that fake from Batira. So Joyo can carry that ball straight into the net and hand it off to Rise for the win. The goal at the death of game number two, falling to Team Queso. FaZe need a second to regroup and as to we talk about what happened and to figure out how that never happens again. And as we take a look at the Mobile One high performance replays, Absolutely impressive from Team Queso as you get a live look at what that replay looked like from the stands. And I am just so impressed with Team Queso's ability. Check your heart rate, make sure you're oh. okay, Spaceman, because Queso, that was all insane. Right? All it Queso, took is it's that... like a hummingbird. <laughs> like, what? How 17 am I seconds for two goals? How? It's Queso. That's if, what they, if they do. If, if Queso don't score at zero seconds, obviously this goes to OT. This is a completely different conversation. I don't think FaZe take that tactical timeout. The fashion in which it did happen, no way. they're down 2-0 quickly in this series. If they lose this, they're, if they lose this, they're down 3-0. We rarely see in reverse comebacks or reverse yeah. sweeps, however you want to call it. I think it would be the seventh on LAN for, for a, a reverse sweep. Like, so, I, don't, I actually don't hate this tactical timeout from FaZe. They I love need it. to reestablish it. I love it after 2-0. Yeah. After 3 nil, it's too late. We've Agreed. said it time and time again. It's too late. The water saves in chat on the clap sticks. Everybody here is trying to get Face Plan involved. They want them to rise up. They want North America to succeed against the Europeans. But maybe the Europeans are here to play crowd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, FaZe Clan are going to come out after this timeout so strong. They realize that even though they go up by one goal, they can never let their foot off of the pedal. Team Queso, so dangerous and so deadly, so mechanical and so smart. And that has what has separated this team from so many is just the intelligence. One big issue that FaZe Clan did have after having one goal, they kept pushing. Yeah. They kept going and they wanted, they needed in their heads to, to force get it. the second, get the second goal. We need that second goal. Give us an insurance goal. And it just didn't work. It then led them on the back foot instead. And that was twice that they overextended trying to find the second goal. And when it didn't happen, Team Queso were able to set up early on the other side of the field, find one another, and the infield passing started killing FaZe. FaZe hasn't had a lot of it. They've been relying on that individual play, those mechanics to get it high on the backboard. Team Queso have been reading it every time. Yeah, and you saw AXB there just kind of give him all love on the shoulder, just saying, okay, we're still in this, we're not out yeah. of it. And that is just a sign of a great coach, but Vatira looking for a double to open up the game and denied by Sipical. FaZe Clan hanging on by a thread, the ball off their crossbar again, and Sipical give him a little breathing room. Something that has impressed, I think, everybody about FaZe is their mentality. After when they concede a goal, they fist bump. We love that. I love seeing that so much. Yeah. It means that they, they realize oh. it's a game. You know, you're going to be conceding a goal every now and then. You're still a team. You still need to work together to win. If FaZe are going to play slowly now, I'm looking at typical to help facilitate a lot of this offense. Whether it's rebounds, assists, Getting back out to midfield, playing off the side wall to find AJ, to find first killer, give them possession to move through. You gotta slow the mechanics. 
You have to start taking the ball away and control the clock. Awkward on the backboard for Flay's clan find themselves, but up is typical oh. to the sky. Uh -oh. Rice sends it high. He need, he just got a touch. It was awkward, but Joyo somehow is there, able to read it. Matera immediately challenging first killer. Does not want to give him any space. We saw yesterday how deadly that suddenly becomes. And what I kept bringing up yesterday was just the confidence that Team Queso continues to have, and I don't know where it come from. But I love it, and I love the fact that they're always trusting in one another as that shot. <sighs> Just a little too soft. Could have found the upper 90, but still, Joyo pushing downfield, and AJ looking for a flip reset. Can't quite find it, can't find the 50 either, and Rise content to play this back and forth game. I mean, this is FaZe's MO. They play so individually, even on defense. It's one at a time, one at a time, consistently applying pressure, but not as a group. Typical, trying to get cheeky through the corner. No one's possession right now. Ball stuck in traffic. And yet again, we hang in the blue half, but maybe a rule one, maybe not. AJ, oh, oh, oh. Looking for something extra, just couldn't find it. Those bumps on the goal line, they're just sending Queso to a much slower pace than they'd usually like. No one able to challenge. Fortunately, nobody from FaZe able to convert the other side, however. Yeah, and if you can get those bumps, it's going to work out in your favor, especially against Team Queso, a team so well known for free jumping. So if you can take that away from them, where you get just the slightest open look as first killer demoed back on the goal line, that ball's hanging on top of the box, and Team Queso unable to capitalize. Flying's off the backboard. First killer trying to meet it. It's oh! open! It's an interception! Long way downfield! Vatira! Showing that the timeout mattered not. The scoring opened by Team Queso yet again as he flies over the midfield line, sends it onto the open net, and FaZe Clan have done so well to have a man right at the back. This time, though, a completely vacant net. And it felt like for the first half there, there was just a piece of cheese hanging on a hook, baiting out FaZe Clan, and eventually they pushed too far forward, got themselves way overconfident, and that back line opened up like the seas. Never really heard about cheese on a hook. You well, genuinely nice. fish with cheese, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I've heard. We're we talking about specific soft cheese, hard cheese. Could be anything. Could be anything. Maybe queso. Maybe that just run in the river. We it, don't know. It could be. With queso, one nil up. His face clan now yet again trying to fight to oh. return. Joyo catching onto the flip reset. But first killer in the skies has only 30 boosts. Up for the dunk, however, still a chance for face clan. Able to get his central oh, towards typical. Yet another infield pass. Typical there to receive. This and is how he plays. He struggles through the corner. AJ keeps it on the ground. And typical needs to start getting involved on the offense more, Stuby. That was a three-man passing play that finally FaZe were able to take advantage of. Well, I love the fact that pass was out towards the top of the box instead of going towards the goal line. So smart to get the defender to pull out, and it just opened things up for FaZe Clan. And again, all tied up here. Minute 40 seconds remain, and FaZe Clan looking to march the full length of the field to try and take the lead. Mechanics can only get you so far if you're FaZe. You need more of a team effort across the board. Joy Yo, oh wow, what an extension to Vatira. Slow down. Oh no, way! Wait, open ah, net! Oh. Pull shot! A pull shot to find the bottom corner. Shooting so rapidly. And Team Queso able to gain a goal back on their fierce North American rivals. I'm telling you, Stumpy, over in Europe, they just built the teams differently, but first killer doesn't let Team Queso get comfortable with the lead, and right out of the gates off the kickoff, scores over Joyo. He's the catalyst for the offense, and finally, he pulls up from behind midfield. Small touches like that for FaZe, that could make a difference in this series. Both these teams so evenly matched, but FaZe not showing us their best. Team Queso doing what they do, as always. Once more, Possession out here for FaZe. They will cut down the extension. Vatira gonna try to keep it on the ground, but first killer getting very aggressive. And that's what starts to scare me if your team case though. He finds a demo on the counterattack, mm -hmm. the rotation. First killer is flying across the field. First killer immediately shutting down the entire notion of that counterattack even forming. With under a minute remaining, 45 seconds. Team Queso and FaZe Clan are dead level. Vatira oh to shoot! Oh my! Lands next to the ball and immediately strikes like a viper. 
You've got hats on, throw them towards the stage. Vatira with the hat trick in game number three, putting the team on his shoulders and sniping that lower corner. This is a crucial game for FaZe. Not many expected it to be this much of a one-sided affair. Team Queso have found a way back into it. A insane pinch that could have led to a 4-2 ball game. Trying to keep up the first killer. Jason working down the field, taking away. A double commit there. Centering it back out. Pinch from typical. FaZe now struggling to get the clear. All in one corner as well. You could throw a blanket over them. And yet they struggle to remove themselves. Final 10 seconds for game number three. And FaZe Clan, their third goal, emerging when they needed it most. AJ says, we're not out just quite yet. Less than 10 seconds to go. Not a lot of boost left, and he decides to swat it in. FaZe Clan, Team Queso, all tied up. Could we get another zero second goal? Joyo. Trying to move through, looking for the pass, ball still alive, <laughs> and we will touch for golden goal opportunity. Vatira wanted that. Nearly. He needed that one to stay up, but just doesn't quite manage to do so. Joyo up high, bumped off that backboard by first killer. And Vatira, he's so low, there's nobody challenging. He goes low, memories of Squishy Melvin's flash through our memories. Oh, great back pass there from AJ. Had no boost left in the tank. Neither does typical. The first killer willing to rotate in, gets that pass, and AJ coming from the wing, gonna catch this ball. And Joyo quick to challenge, not giving him any space, any time in Phase Clan. Push back on their heels as Team Queso bumping in the net, but back and forth we remain. I love the way Phase are playing this. They're looking for the center. But it's that backboard defense from Team Queso that's cut down those opportunities. Not a lot of gaps here. When you look at a transition, up to the backboard. Ooh. First killer does get a touch. Down to AJ. He will give FaZe a moment to breathe. Rise, circling back into the play. It's typical. Back pass, down to Vatera. Vatera, look at the extension. No way! Right back around. It won't be there. So close to an incredible goal from Queso to get, make it 3-0. Uh -oh. uh -oh. But a misplay. Finds the ball bouncing in front of the net. Uh -oh. Goes to the post. Opposite woodwork. Team Queso gets the dunk, and AJ gets back in time. But Team Queso doing such a great job of covering up that goal line, not allowing any windows to allow a breeze through. His first killer looking for a double, doesn't find it. Typical's there. Too high off the crossbar, and Joyo pops it up. It's just dangling, hanging, and AJ scores! When they needed a rebound most, AJ is there yet again. FaZe finally break the mold. They get themselves back in this series, and it's a brand new best of seven. FaZe are able to take their first game. They are able to just bring it back mentally from that timeout that they've only just taken, yes. and they win it out for three. The biggest shootout we've had so far. In this Mobile One high-performance replay, <laughs> we are seeing some really weird goals. Oh, the pool shot was my favorite of the series, but AJ making a statement there saying overtime is ours, and like you brought up, the fact that they come out of that timeout and rip that game yeah. away from Team yeah. Queso yeah. is tremendous. I mean, that is the hardest regain you could possibly hit if you're phase. Not only do you lose the opening goal, but what didn't work in game one and two, didn't work in game three, but they started working through the progressions. They got better reads downfield, they found one another. Typical got involved on the defensive end. AJ found touches in the midfield towards the goal line. FaZe looked like FaZe finally. Hey look, it's, it's late in Europe right now, Stumpy, so Team Queso already well awake. They're used to it. FaZe Clan, this is still early for them. They're starting to wake up, getting the sleep out of their eyes. It's gamer hours. Europe, we're all awake. We've been playing up till 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. I have a hard half past 10 bedtime. I do not stay up that late. American Thank you very European much. Time. European time. American There's time also so many time zones, not just European time. Anyway, game four, we find ourselves over on the gorgeous Utopia. And FaZe Clan looking to get their second game and tie up the series. And it feels like YouTube Theater just starting to turn into Utopia Coliseum right now. The fans 
backing FaZe Clan strong, and Team Queso doing everything in their power to just keep them silent. What scares me most, when is First Killer going to turn up and do something big? And ignite the offense, AJ snipe for oh! oh! Well, FaZe, guess what? You got four minutes to play through, so you can shake that one off and try again. The absolute anticipation of everyone in the crowd leaves right <laughs> to double fake face clan. Just takes this ball smooth and slow across the box. See you later first. Bye bye AJ. Team Queso up one. Putting them in a blender. Letting them mix a little bit. Team Queso yet again. Find themselves on the board first. How many games is that now? All of them? Many. plan. Need to start finding some of that aggression. No oh. double tap, the follow up. AJ there, a big demo, and now a chance for FaZe here. They can get back to midfield with that touch. It's AJ on the extension, but this gives them time to spread out, find boost, and get back into the play. That one touch from Joyo shutting down the counter attack for FaZe Clan. It just meant they can assemble as quick as they'd like. But Vatira had a really good chance to score and shot it directly at both of the defenders on the FaZe Clan net. Oh, he should have done better, he should have done better. It should be 2-0. And typical just launching downfield on target, forcing to rise, get up, and go for the save as FaZe Clan left scrambling, trying to find some offense. Rise, another opportunity demoed by First Killer, and FaZe Clan gonna have numbers. These demos are now coming out in packages for FaZe. A flurry of demos there, but a better angle from Rise. Team Queso relying on their superstar. It's 2 nothing. It's Joyo to the center, and first killer not leaving the ground. He should have done. He had boost, he had time, he had the position, and Rise was there. Second goal for Queso. Face Clan down, but still three minutes. Still going up against an incredibly mentally strong team. Yeah, one thing we know about FaZe, although they might be down, they are never out. And three minutes is an eternity to work with. AJ gets them back within one. And First Killer's demo creates that opportunity. When First Killer was on Rogue 30 years ago, one of the things he did so well was off-ball action. The defense, the assists, the demos, Third. consistently finding Close. ways to get the team in position to score. Time works differently in quarantine, but guess what? He has all the success still here oh! on phase. A big dunk, but blocked away. I really love what we're seeing from First Killer. Again, he stains his car with engine oil of his opposition. That man is burning through everyone on Queso. Rise removed, opportunities begin to assemble, and FaZe Clan are aggression embodied. Yeah, you couldn't have asked for a better spawn there for Rise. Right place, right time. Ball fell on top of his hood, but still, Team Queso unable to break out. FaZe Clan doing a great job at keeping them at bay, and Rise just trying to keep this ball alive. Pops it up, has Vatira available, but can't quite find the angle to get it over to him. And Looks like Team Queso gonna reset. Very much looking for the center. Things start to slow down towards the midfield. AJ able to take it away, but Rise will cut it down. Enough boost to maybe get over first killer. Not so much as the extension is there, and really the 50 game has been there for FaZe. Back out to the midfield. AJ <laughs> corkscrewing his way into a challenge. It's Vitera who gets it out. Someone should be there. It will be cyclical time and time again. First killer fighting with Joyo. Managed to get one bump, but just not enough. Typical up to the ceiling with Joyo first to it. AJ appearing from nowhere over in the corner. Vatira rise in the center. Just far of the post this time, a rare miss. 90 seconds remain. FaZe Clan need one to get overtime. And I love how Team Queso is a Swiss Army knife. So many tools available to them. We're seeing defensive demos to open things up, to allow them to clear this ball down. Theo and Joyo can't quite find that angle to get it hop out. He wanted to push it towards the top of the box. And again, Joyo gets this ball on his hood. Team Queso starting to press forward. Queso's boost control has been perfect in this game constantly in a position to challenge with those 50s and shut down any extra pushes from FaZe. But first killer, even with that threatening attempt, still downfield, a chance. He's still circling around the ball, not leaving off, fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Typical, first killer trying to careen around to the opposite side. We go to the adjacent corner now, under 50 to play. That one's dangerous, but Queso yet again are able to make the read. 
FaZe Clan sweeping left and right around that blue net, but Sipkul with no touch that he's able to get. First killer has 40, has a vision, but Vatira's there to shut it down, and again. 30 seconds on Utopia. Sipical trying to whip in front of anyone on the blue side. Rise up to the skies with 30 boosts. Joyo there goes for one, but the double is not successful. It's under 15. It's dangerous. It's Rise there. Oh, what a back touch to the corner. Lead still there for Keisko. Yet another, a challenge towards the backboard. It's still on the oh, rim. No. FaZe missed the touch. AJ, they're going to have to keep it up now. Not a lot of boost here. Someone's got to be there, and Vatera gives Queso the win. Vatera is laughing on his camera. He saw AJ fly around. He saw Sipical whiff it. They are confident. They know exactly the game they need to play, and they are so happy with it. Massive mechanical mistake by FaZe Clan. In the back half there, his time is dwindling away, and that's just a testament to how well Team Queso plays and changes things up. You never know when they're gonna be in the air pre-jumping. You never know if they're gonna be pulling back. It's just so impressive to see them constantly changing things up, and you're gonna see that in the Mobile One High Performance Replay. FaZe Clan played great, but ultimately, Team Queso, that much better. FaZe were a team that we looked at for them to be working together. And First Killer, yeah. to me, is the only one who's got the memo. Yes. First Killer, he's everywhere. He's demoing. The goals, every goal I think they've had so far has come from that First Killer demo, from his aggression, from his passes. Yeah. But then Sipical and AJ, they're not on that same page. They aren't understanding where they need to be in relation to him. There are errors that come in from his teammates that are flanking him on that big red desk. They need to step up, otherwise Queso, they run away with it. FaZe, over on the stage, look like they realized the situation. It hasn't been a lot of chatter, it hasn't been a lot of smiles. They're very locked in, but they understand that the struggle is currently here, and they have to start stepping up and making the moment happen. We're talking about FaZe Clan here. You're never gonna see too much chatter, you're never gonna see too many smiles. Right now, they're buckled in, locked in, ready to go for business, but Rise passing this ball up to Vatiro, turned away by Sipical. And right now, Sipical and AJ done a great job. The double commit, though, instantly in the corner, no trust. They've done so well so far to be trusting each other. Keep that up, FaZe. That's what you need to do as Rise is going to be attacking that net. Doesn't offer the flip reset as he knows that first killer's lurking. He just shuts him down. Instead, just goes for the punt shot. Queso are meeting a lot of those 50s far upfield. They're not giving FaZe any time to circle away and control the possession. AJ, right off the backboard, will get it down to the 50-yard line. First killer falling off. Should make that read with a decent pinch. Now, where are FaZe in relation to it? First killer, what a touch. But Vatira ready for it yet again. And FaZe Clan cannot give up first goal here. Being put on match point, so important to come out and make a statement. Put yourself in the driver's seat as Rise going up. Doesn't have any boost to follow through. So momentum gonna go in favor of first killer there. Push this ball into the blue corner. And FaZe Clan looking to set up some offense. This is a very impressive carry from Vatira. He can beat you on the ground. He can beat you in the air. He's done it before. He might do it again. It's the pass, the handoff, the trust. Team Queso have it. Joyo in the middle, looks at his teammates, and he nods confidently. That's right, boys. That's what we do. That is what Queso are about, going ahead on Wasteland, leaving that trail of destruction behind them. And you can just tell this entire series, Rise tightened up that monocle. He is just sharpshooting right now. Oh, typical the reset. It's around the top four. First killer looking for the center. FaZe now pressing the advance. They desperately need a goal. There's not a lot of time. Three minutes may seem long, but it goes by quickly. FaZe have not had much in this series. It's been all of Team Queso. Europe's last hope have constantly done what they needed to. Rise linking with Joyo on that left side, and it leaves FaZe scrambling on the goal line with first killer now able to aggress. Tries to swipe Vatira out of the skies. Boost is good for FaZe. They have opportunity to score. Will they have the intuition and the ability?
We've turned into volleyball. But maybe FaZe want that. I don't think the high ball benefits FaZe Clan here. I think if it's going to be they high in the air, the ground. Team Queso is going to consistently take advantage of that. They have yeah. to keep it on the ground. They have to utilize those 1v1 mechanics. And that's just because of how these games have played out. FaZe has had all the boost, but they haven't converted it into anything. They have struggled to separate the field, to play laterally. That demo uh -oh. gives a man advantage uh -oh. there. Uh -oh. The pass, the shot, it's all in the same, but it's still a 1-0 ball game. First killer over the other side, up for the double, but so was his teammate. Typical didn't need to be there, but he fancied being involved. Oh, On the left-hand side now, Vatira around the side of one, oh. with Rise demoing in the back. Nobody to receive the ball for Queso. Instead, FaZe Clan will be receiving with Typical now. Up on the left, no boost though. Rise sends it high and will 50 it. Typical looking to push that ball through, gets the 50, Joyo gets bumped off of it, and that ball goes hanging in the air. AJ can't quite get the follow-up, can't get the demo either, and Vatira, big clear downfield. It just feels like for every step FaZe Clan takes, they're taking two steps back. They feel like they're off by half a second every single time. FaZe can't find the read, but Vatira can find the backboard. The defense is there for FaZe. How do they transition it down the field? It's towards the top, first killer with a bump. Here comes AJ, here's AJ on target. Team Queso yet again, oh! it's in for first killer. Tie game. Could it be anybody else? First killer is there over and over again to save the skin of FaZe Clan and it is no different on Wasteland. One minute 14, Team Queso suffer one goal against them, and it is utterly drawn. But Stifical and AJ committing together oh. again. And they're just playing with pure confidence right now. They're even at a disadvantage at that goal. They don't care. They want to take this to game number six. Everything on the line. As Team Queso trying to slow things down, waste every prescient moment off of that clock. And FaZe Clan pushing into the blue half. All three are up now for FaZe. They know the oh, moment, no! but they get picked off! Oh! They get picked off! They don't have anyone back! And Team Queso take advantage of the mistake! FaZe Clan fall prey to the predator of Queso. 2-1, 45 seconds remaining. Queso looking to go 4-1 in this series, but FaZe Clan have had opportunities, they have had chances, and this dream is not dead yet. Again, time and time again, we're seeing Team Queso say, call an ambulance, but not for me. Continue to take advantage of FaZe Clan, pushing all three members forward. 30 seconds remain. YouTube Theater, make some noise if you're going for FaZe to tie this up. They need your energy and they need it now. Typical was trying to get it around the bend, but here comes first killer. Oh, oh no, it's a foot race oh. to the ball. Get there in time. Phase two, 12 seconds now. We slow it down to the midfield. Typical oh. with a shot towards the backboard. Nine seconds to go, make it six. It's still there for Team Queso, but AJ, the last hope, looking for first killer. One second, gotta keep it up. Here oh, it's up, bumped. it's up, up. Oh, the goal, it's oh. down at the goal line. Team Queso, continue on. Phase. Done. A top three spot is occupied by Team Queso, hailing all the way from Europe. They have done the impossible. They have taken down one of the greatest teams in North America, and they did it in five. FaZe Clan down. Space Station gaming up next. After them, G2 waiting in the grand finals. Team Queso looking to make the unbelievable run from the lower bracket. And right now, I don't see an argument against that. They look like the best offense we've seen the entire weekend. It's unreal, Summer. The fact that they've been able to come out from that lower bracket and do this run and going against those three North American teams we're seeing them, FaZe Clan, SSG, and G2. Does it give you season seven vibes, boys? Oh. They beat NRG in game five, they beat FaZe in game five, and they just beat FaZe in a best of seven. Game Queso five. have proven <laughs> that they can do it. They've proven they, they know how to take down the best talent across the other side of the pond. This is what you should be shaking of if you're SSG.
you have to play your very best Rocket League you've ever played. And this is why we have wanted lands for so long. Oh we have missed God. just not only having interregional battles, but the fans back with both teams just yeah. going back and forth. It is so special. And it's just been such a long time. And these guys coming out as land rookies and putting on a performance yeah. of a lifetime. It's been the biggest honor of my life to share this with you boys. It has been everything, but it's done from us. This is all about Queso. We can see Dazarin on the stage, joined by Rise. Make some noise for Rise, yo! Yeah! Rise, congratulations on the win, and it was insane. You guys have been making a lower bracket run. What's it like being under constant pressure like that? It's actually like something you never experience anywhere else. Like, it's so, it's so surreal to be here, honestly. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. We've seen some of your fans around in the crowd. We've seen the cheese heads, everybody showing you guys support. But talk to me about the matchup against FaZe. Obviously, you guys ended up, it looked like you guys dominated. FaZe had some moments there of brilliance, though. But what was it like for you? Honestly, I thought that series was really slow from both teams. It was weird. Like, there wasn't much offense. It felt like it was just sort of like a stalemate. But we know how good FaZe are mechanically, so it's sort of... I think we just cancelled each other, each other out and we took our chances, but chances better. Well, it looks like you guys have been confident the entire time. It's been good to see. Is that confidence going to continue when you guys play SSG next? Of course, man. You know. Got to stay confident. Got to do it for the boys, the EU boys. Sitting right here. Let's go. Shout out the boys. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out the boys. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are pretty much EU's last hope in this event, but you guys have been confident, cool, collected the entire way through. What's it like representing Europe? It's, again, it's surreal. Like, it is literally surreal. Like, look at this, man. For Rocket League, like. <laughs> Crowd is amazing. You guys are amazing. What, what's the secret? Why are you guys so good? Literally just confidence. That's it. Just be confident, yeah. It's just confidence from this man, it's just confidence. Well, of course, before we get you guys ready to set up for your next match, we want to ask you if there's any shout outs that you want to make. I want to shout out these fans. They're so good. You're insane. Like, honestly. Shout out. Shout out everyone in you as well. Everyone watching from home. Shout out all the fans. And of course, shout out Rise and Team K. So make some noise for them, guys. We're going to cut to a short break. When we get come back, more Rocket League at the Morning Major. This might not be your car, and this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine, and maybe these aren't your coworkers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Tippy driver.
On the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic, do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say let them, I ain't moving small Money grows from my intuition I just bought a crib, that's my first edition People hate it when you claim a vision But I use a static when I hit ignition Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition For he no matter where I've been And give me any place and it'll be a kitchen this how we flow to the top I'm on a wave and it never gon' stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I step like a shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain on the flow, ink block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and it's all you got We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, a habit you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say let them, I ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing just like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see it, but I ain't feel the stress, I know it's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Making moves to make the money taller to the cash topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I'm a wedding color with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession, a habit you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic to do it all. I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw. I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl. They wanna talk when you're back to the wall. So I say later, my ain't moving small. This might not be your car, and this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine, and maybe these aren't your co-workers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Cheese. 
tip you, driver. Fans here live in Los Angeles can go buy their merch over there at the merch shop. If you're watching at home and said, hey, I want to get some of that, make sure you check out merch.bento.gg. Big shout out to Bento for putting that together and make, getting us some new merch for the first time in three years here. They helped produce the CRL as well. That's right. And they're, they are the reason we have merch here. They also help produce First Touch, and I already have like a whole bunch of merch. I got two beanies, I got two <laughs> different shirts, two hoodies, man. Like I'm just vibing. I have so much merch. Hey, Bates, you okay? Because you're a little quiet right now. What happened? Yeah. What happened? Was Bates <laughs> good? Was Bates wrong? Wait, wait. Wait, what happened in there? I, I blacked out for about 40 minutes. We Don't lie, you were glued to the screen the whole time. Are we just going to ignore this? Are we just going to ignore what's in his head right now? Is, right, I so think we is, have to. I think this is his, Yo, this team is cheese. his, team his board cheese head. All the way. Yeah, Team Cheese all the way. Queso. 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 Stumpy. Stumpy. Queso. Oh, Queso. They looked amazing. Is that game too? During oh. that series, I was casting it and yet I shouted like a fan multiple <laughs> times. Genuinely bias casting. For like the zero second goal, it's the this one. I honestly, if there's video, I jumped up and I screamed. And we you always must be able to hear it. we always talk about, you know, it's a long series and maybe a game two probably doesn't matter. No, it mattered yeah, in the series. When you do that, score too late to take the lead, and Queso's offense was just too much for FaZe. We yeah. talked about FaZe yesterday, miracle defense. Didn't happen here against Case. Not at all. Multiple times they found themselves just way too close, and it went it kind of it went back to how we've seen old phase play, where they yeah. they were double committing, they were trying to go for the same boost, and it was frustrating to watch because mm. if they played how they have been for the last like three days or so, you look and you're like. They could they could go to seven. They could win. They could have won that series. But no, they they fell back into old habits and they fell apart under the pressure of Queso. Right, and that's uh, the team camaraderie that I was talking about a little bit before the matchup happened. Before the matchup occurred, it wasn't there. They, were, they weren't linking up. They weren't being creative with the ball. And they were giving Raj, Joey, and Vatira way too much space. And you get them boys yeah. in Queso space. Man, it's, 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 re it's really reminiscent, reminiscent of Seiko <sighs> when you let him just jump up into the sky, especially when Vatira, Vatira is right behind Raj. Stop me. But it's always wrong. Bates well, always, wrong. always is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> always is a stretch. I, can, I, can, I miss I one match. I can fit sometimes. One match. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, Bates always wrong. I'll give this to somebody in the crowd. <sighs> Someone else is going to have that oh, one there. Gosh. Folks, it's going to be, this is going to be a wild, a wild day. we got two more oh. matches left to go. Three more teams, Gibbs. We take a look at the bracket here. Space Station Gaming was awaiting the victor of the last match. And it's going to be Queso. Queso oh. advances here to top three. G2 Esports waits in the grand finals for the conclusion of this match. And look at that, Ron. Queso, to begin the lower bracket, had to take down the North America best NRG. And it hasn't stopped from there. A 3-0 oh, against EG. Very close series uh, versus Furia. But they always clutch it up. And then they take down phase and now space station is looming but we always talk mm -hmm. about yeah sure you want to be in the upper bracket but once you lose and go down to face whoever's really good in the lower bracket they are hot cj and you gotta watch oh, out i mean this is a monumental task here coming out from k so i think that I, it's, it's almost almost you forget the space station is a forgotten team after that upper bracket game mm. we sort of saw the face here as we're thinking okay the winner of this is we playing g2 in the grand finals space station they have to make a statement mm -hmm. here and yeah. it would be unbelievable if they could knock this queso team off because mm. the pressure you talk about phases double commits in that series but mm -hmm. that's because of what queso is doing constantly yeah. consistently they are unbelievable and they're looking hard. As they're they're looking hard. They're, they're trying to do it for the fans at home. So many different ways to watch Rocket League here. You can watch on Twitch. You can watch on YouTube. Or you can watch on Rocket League Live. Oh. Check this out. One of the craziest ways Unreal. to view Rocket League I've ever seen. And it's so cool because while we're live, that, that Titantron, that that'll be us there talking. So you can go hey watch guys. in game oh, yeah, there. Oh, yeah, people be Glide there. around and watch it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Hello. everyone playing. Uh, it is so cool. Like I got to check it out the other <laughs> night. I downloaded it on my laptop. Look at this. This is amazing. Wait, that's so sick. Gibbs was playing Fortnite the other night. That <laughs> is what I mean. Uh, you can eat the pizza. 
I think oh that was my. I think that was phase on the on the on the on the four wheelers there. What going home? Oh, because they yeah. were going so slow and yeah. look at yeah. the quality yeah. as well. <laughs> and they were know. also so close together, so it yeah. makes sense. <laughs> that, yeah, that's for sure. So Bates is about to fight me. I just saw you like. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, where? Where? <laughs> when? Why? Just turning like. Oh no! I got to turn step. You know, I don't want to have to. You still have oh, two okay. teams left. It's okay. I, got, no, got, I have my team left. That's all I know. That's that's We got two. We got three teams left. Another one has to go home before we have the grand finals of the winter major space. Station Gaming about to take on Team Queso. Who, who's the better yellow team here, I think, is the question, CJ. Oh, I mean, it has to be Queso. They, these guys have been unbelievable. This is EU's last hope, and they, they don't care. They, there's no pressure on them for yeah. some reason. They don't feel the pressure. They don't crumble. We saw Ryze's interview. They're just having fun. This team is icy. Joyo, that zero-second goal. We can talk about it all day long. Unbelievable. Popping up off the backboard and passing. These guys are freaks. Space Station Gaming. Arsenal's out the back trying to choose between Fennec and Octane there. I think they're in shambles at the moment. It's tough. But it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a crazy task. Yeah. So Space Station's defense has looked great. Just given up about 1.5 goals per game, but they're only scoring just over 1.5 as well. While Rise on the other side on Queso is scoring 1.15 by himself. Oh. Queso's offense has been unbelievable. Space Station has to find a way to play immaculate defense. Is the break they got during that last match enough to get them ready for Team Queso? Let's find out. We're gonna get them on the stage. The teams are ready. Team Queso on one side. We got Space Station Gaming on the other. Here they go to take up this lower finals game. And Space Station's just got to be thinking about that last match still. You had a chance to be mm -hmm. in that final with two lives still, but instead, Queso running through this lower bracket. A very young team, but it reminds me of Season 7 when North America was so dominant, but the European powerhouses of Vitality wound up taking down every single North America team. The one difference, Queso was very young. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if the uh, inexperience plays a factor. It, So far, it hasn't looked that way at all, Stop. Going up against the youngest player that we've yeah. got here. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it, 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 it's the direction <laughs> of Rocket League. It, it's, so, it's so young in its nature, and Queso, Felt, I think, the difference in the crowd in that last series. I was in there when Faye scored, it blew the oh, yeah. roof off. Mm -hmm. Only happened twice, of course. But then <laughs> when Queso scored, was, there were still was huge cheers. There were amazing moments, right. but there just wasn't that same yeah. amount of energy. And during the G2 SSG series, mm. SSG, they, they dwarfed what G2 fans were doing. And I, I want to hear SSG get loud again. Mm. That energy in there, if it keeps being exciting, if it keeps rising with every single bracket we That's go through, that. it's just going to be unreal. <sighs> well, look, Vatira playing so to confident. the crowd. They love it. They're so confident. That's a power move. They're, they're, they're always, they're, I've not seen an EU team be this confident this whole entire time. They are just, they're not phased by any of this. And then we got to give it back to what you said, Stumpy. SSG had the crowd for the crowd favors against mm -hmm. the G2 army earlier, and it wasn't enough. The crowd wanted SSG to win, and G2 still prevailed. And them boys from Queso, man, they've been the underdogs the whole entire time. Underdogs for the crowd, that is. Not, not necessarily mm -hmm. for their own gameplay. But with that being said, it's going to be really tough for SSG to be victorious. They need that Dan, that baby right there, there that boy, is. baby Dan. <laughs> baby Dan's got the pop-up. The crowd, pop -up. Land your, they they love love crowd needs to get loud for Lanyo, baby, if they're going to have a chance. They've been rallying around him all day. Every yep. time he scores. Other players could score and people will just cheer, but this happens every time. They're like leaning forwards as well with that. They have their clapper sticks. <laughs> and just looking down at that is one of the best sights in esports. Yeah, we see him and it's like, all right, that's the next five years of Rocket League right there in mm -hmm. Daniel himself. And he looks so good in front of the crowd. The crowd is behind him and that's what Space Station is. Which I think brings us to talking about this matchup here. I think the one player I don't have any questions about right now, CJ, is Daniel. He's looking good. It's Rettles and Arsenal that I'm curious on. I, I, I'm, I'm not certain about their play. 100%. I was speaking to Arsenal actually just before five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is Red, unbelievable. Papa Rizzo, thank you. But yes, as you said, Arsenal, he's going to be the difference maker. I think the only way Queso can beat, oh sorry, the only way Space Station can beat this Queso lineup is the bump game. We talk about it, yep. Arsenal. Mm. He has to get he has to get up and about. He has to play to the crowd. We saw in the Dignitas series in group stage when he started getting a bit of momentum, the bumps were coming out. We saw, you know, Reddles were putting shots up. Arsenal's just in the round, look for the bumps left, right, and center. If they can get that going, T Bates, they can I think they can maybe 
maybe get it close. Maybe disrupt them. That's right. Yeah. The big factor, the X factor in this series has got to be Arsenal. No doubt about mm -hmm. that. It's just a disruption. You got to slow down Queso's role. You got to slow down the momentum. They're too, way too comfortable. Whether it's counterattacking, whether it's keeping the ball tight, whether it's bringing up into the air, they're not phased at all by mm -hmm. anything anyone has been doing. Arsenal's really got to make it happen. Well, it's time to say who you think is going to win at home in the Verizon fan vote. Hashtag TQ or hashtag SSG, depending on which side you're leaning towards. I, I feel like I've been going around wait, the last wait, few times. Wait, 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 wait. I'll start. Come on, okay. Team Cheese all the way. Let's we go. need the EUNA final. We are not going to get an the all North America you. final right now. Behind They're you. behind me right now. Thank you for the support. Look at There's no right way. There. There's no way we get an all North America There's final right now. Team Queso Wait, can you say that slower? Good. No there's, NA final. There there's is no, no chance. Way. There is no there. chance last, for NA. Last, last time, time he did, did that, that, last time he did that, he was wrong. All right, mm -hmm. Stumpy. I mean, come on, come on, Stumpy. Come it's on. Queso. Here. Queso Here. looked unstoppable. Give me that hat. Queso looked unstoppable. That's really moist. Oh, um, well, oh you know, I swear really a lot. Really don't, they, don't ever say that word on my broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> ever. It's the way you said it. Unbelievable. They uh -huh. were impossible to beat. FaZe can't do it, and they're a better team than Space Station. Queso, take them down. CJ. Um, oh, are we all look. doing it? All right, here we go. Joyo, I spoke to him yesterday. Joyo said to me yesterday, CJ, no meme predictions, please. So the only, <laughs> way, the only way I'm predicting Space Station here would be maybe to try and create a story, but teammates uh, <laughs> is looking at me. I'm not sure about it. I'm all about the case, so they're unbelievable. The momentum is too much. They are not phased. They've got the ice. Hey, Bates, want the, the huh? hat? Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, Bates wants it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. just That's careful. Cool. No, I, I am not, I'm not picking Queso, man. Listen, Queso busted my perfect bracket, and I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> and I'm going to still believe in the NA, all NA final. Every single person as an RL fan has always said, there's never been an NA final. We'll have all NA final, yada, yada, yada. I'm telling you, man. Listen, Queso has plenty of momentum, but Arsenal, that crowd, when we pans to this crowd, that crowd's going to be all loud. That crowd's going to be so hype. It's going to be the most deafening they've been the whole entire time. They're going to need them. Baby Daniel's ready. I'm, Arsenal's ready. Reddle's ready. Uh, they can match him. I'm just worried. I mean, going Queso's seven. playing to the crowd better than SSG is as they walk no. on the stage. Mm -hmm. And SSG is the crowd team. This is what they do. But... I want that North America versus North America That's final right. so badly. I'm rooting for okay. Space Station to take this one down and face off with a rematch against G2. How do you guys feel at home? What's the vote looking like there? 59% in favor of okay. Space Station. Team Queso, though, the small underdogs at home. How do they in the stadium? Let's hear you root for Queso, YouTube theaters. If you think Queso's taking it home, make some noise. Nah, don't make no noise. Nah, keep it low. That's good. It. That's good. That's not. That's, that's, that's good. good. Not. If you're rooting for SSG, make some noise. That's what I'm talking about. That's just a bit loud. Get low. That's a bit loud. They got up. They got loud. It's game day. One of these teams will play for the championship of the winter major in the blue. We've got Team Queso. In the orange, we have SSG. The Verizon Skybox has stacks, Daz, and Turtle. The cheese stands alone as Europe's last hope. And all they've got to do is find a way to get by a very stingy defense oh, in yeah. the challenge, of course, for Space Station Gaming, shut down the tournament's leading scorer in Rise. The time has come. G2 are awaiting their competitor. Game number one to start things off. They're going to go up against Daniel, who's been making highlight play after highlight play. But my big question, the player I want to see pop off, who was able to close things out earlier in the tournament, is Arsenal. What are we going to see from this man? He's going to get Electric Turtle. He's already in the air, and he's got the crowd behind him here at the yes, YouTube sir. Theater. Anytime they're on the ball, they get just a little bit excited. We're going to need Space Station to take all that energy if they want to have a chance, because Queso have been unstoppable so far. Once again, Team Queso marches into hostile territory, playing back-to-back, -back, oh. completely unfazed. All rise, the Honorable Judge Ferguson presiding. Oh my word, and the dunk from Joyo to set this one up had everybody on Space Station Gaming red. And they just got this type of energy around them, Daz, that it's invigorating to watch. These quick strikes, so tough for teams to defend against. And Queso's offense has been making a statement this tournament. Someone's going to have to find an answer for him, but they're just going to keep going. The 39th goal of the Winter Major. Oh. oh. 
for the world's leading scorer. Out of the corner, Joyo got through and rattles shot. Oh my Rattles word. with the block. Rise will score and Rise is picking up. Queso is picking up right where they left off against Baze. These testing shots, you see the touch from Joyo. He's not putting a lot of power behind it, but he's bringing out the defense from Space Station, yep. forcing them to make awkward touches, and that's putting them in positions that are allowing easy Queso goals. Absolutely, and what I'm impressed, especially about that play, is the positioning from all three members of Team Queso. They're spread out across the goal, waiting to see where the save is going to get hit out, and then instantly put a shot back on net. Well, they're just on another level right now. They Space stop. Station have a real tough time keeping pace with Team Queso, again, playing back-to-back. -back. And you have Ooh. to imagine that's got to carry a little bit of momentum with it as Rise will clear this away. Vatira is up as that's dumped even deeper into the zone and stopped right in front of the net. Now Joyo demolished trying to slow play, and Reynolds clears. Finally, SSG might be able to get something going on the blue half of the field. Two teams for players that are super confident, but you see that one close to the goal line. Reynolds got a demo on Vatira, and Daniel on top of the ball now, looking for a way in for Space Station. Their offense has been pretty quiet this game, but Reynolds reset. tries to get a flip reset. Is there a follow-up? He was looking for the bump, and Daniel's waiting in midfield. It's been the best form of possession so far for Space Station Gaming in game number one. Looking for a couple of shots. There's been an answer out of Team Queso every time somebody on the backboard finding a touch. Here's Vatira being patient. Look at this man go. It's even on the goal line, and he's still watching it fall in. When we talk about this Team Queso performance offensively, we might be talking in oh. historical figures as this has popped up. Rise will sweep it across, and Team Queso maintains the shutout. They've got a goal differential, guys, of plus Ooh. 39 at this point. North America as a whole oh is only good to oh. And Daniel oh. can't cut into it. As the defense comes through, it's Rise doing it all. I'm already in love with this series in game number one. It's just flip reset after flip reset on both sides. Oh. Mechanics coming out and putting oh. on display. Here's the third one for Batira. And Space Station here, sitting in the house, but look, they are even running into each other. Meanwhile, counterattack for Queso, so deadly to catch Daniel in an awkward spot. Joyo now with a playmaker in less than three minutes and a 3-0 Queso lead as the hottest offense in this tournament continues to pop off. What's it gonna take to stop them? So much energy, momentum. I mean, think back to Cloud9, that lower bracket run. In this game alone, in this tournament, the format, it's gonna be so hard to take down a team like Team Queso, but Space Station Gaming, they have all the elements that they need to take them down and to knock them out of the tournament they need to utilize them all at the same time. That's right. We've seen them come close to scoring on the goal line in game one, but it just seems like that last second shot, that finish, hasn't been there for Space Station Gaming. There's still time for them to find it, but as the clock ticks down, you're going to see Case will start to be more aggressive. For all the talk about how special a team like BDS has been over time, in this winter split, Team Queso has just been on a completely different level. Winners of two out of the three European regionals and the runner-up in the one that they did not win as Rise will send one out to midfield. Joyo couldn't get to it, but Vatira has all day to play with this one and a lot of boost to the tank got bumped off the play. Still defense required out of Daniel, and he's got Joyo waiting for him at midfield. And it left. SSG still trying to get out, but look at this. Queso turn it around instantly to bring it back in. Vatira's going to wait there on the sidewall. Arsenal won't be able to make contact, so Joyo instantly comes up, gets past two. Is that going to go Ooh. in? It is. Four goals for Queso. And Joyo adds to his tally, getting the, his first goal of this game. And it could be the first of many in this series. Out of Joyo, Team Queso just continues to run it up. And they have relatively silenced this NA crowd. Yeah, and it's been clean 50s from Team Queso in the midfield. You'll see Rise going for a slower dribble approach. Now we look to game two to see what Space Station Gaming can throw at Queso. Haven't seen too much. A couple of flip resets here and there. Mechanics, slightly rusty, I'd say. But in game two, Space Station Gaming are going to have to come out on fire as Team Queso four to nothing in game one. You talk about just taking the wind out of a team's sails. You come out and drop four. Right. And don't let SSG get much at all. I mean, Daniel's had a couple real good looks at the Team Queso net. And still, TQ has kept him at bay. 
Joyo will control here as the final 10 seconds will tick away. And this game, rather mercifully for SSG, will come Ooh. to a close. Daniel gets one with three seconds left. It's a good redirect. Maybe some momentum going ahead just to see the ball go in the net. Yeah. But still, it does little it's to a, erase what happened here. Yes, it, it will end up losing this, but still it's such a big goal for Space Station because they get on the board. And that's going to be the biggest thing here. If they just go down losing 4-0, not being able to score, especially coming after a loss, it, it'd be really tough for them to get back into the series on the team's mentality. Yeah. But Queso still on a roll as they take game one. Yeah, and for Space Station Gaming, I completely agree. The morale, it, it, that last goal for them to put it in, very important. And heading into game number two, uh, sometimes as a player stacks, those goals, these games can just slip out of your favor. And we did see a couple of chances out of Space Station, in particular Daniel moving forward, flip resets. Rettles, uh, awfully quiet, I'd say, as they still need to incorporate something different on offense. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what they have, man. Yeah, we'll see, because uh, at this point, look at this. We got the crowd here behind us. It's and crazy. We're going to need that. Space Station game is going to need all that energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they got to get hyper. They, they need get a excited. YouTube theater. Because the way things have been working for the SSG, when they have been on top, these guys have been loud. They've been electric. But queso has been coming in. They've been making a statement. They've been trying to quiet them down. They even welcome the chance against them. Yeah, they're going to need, especially this front row, has probably been the loudest yeah. supporters of SSG. I mean, we had, we had Reynolds dad a moment ago. He was moving up and down the stairs, trying to get the crowd yeah. rallied before this match. Look, it is a partisan crowd. They had to kind of sit on their hands during that first game. This guy right here behind Turtle has to be loud as well. Everybody's got to get loud <laughs> to help call SSG out. and kind of turn the momentum oh, of this series, try and rip it away from Team Queso. Game two starting up on Forbidden Temple. A lower bracket final where this Team Queso roster, the last representative of Europe, Ooh. are trying to continue their push, taking down Titan after Titan in NA. Yep. And Queso, they have embraced that villain role here in North America. They're not stopping. We'll see if they can get on a, a solid start like we saw in game one. Might be difficult. Space Station Gaming looks to clear this one out off the backboard. Rettles going for a slow touch. Maybe that might be a new strategy implemented, keeping this ball low, grounded. We heard him talk about it in the interviews. He wanted to keep that ball closer to his own players. Maybe some 50-50s here and there could lead to something. You talk about Queso embracing that villain role. It was Matera that came out and tried to get the crowd going. It's like, yeah. Give us the booze. We know we know exactly what we're going to get yeah. out of this crowd. Is this They're on a mission. Up? They're on a mission. And Daniel will take this from the backboard. And the incredible poise of this Queso squad. Remember the last time the RLCS was in North oh! America? None of them could play. And Vatira, villain, public enemy number one, barking at SSG. Look at him getting a low. Double, a double flip reset. OK, that's just too much. He's that ready is to too go. Much. The mechanics don't stop flowing for Team Queso. There is no shortage of confidence out of the last remaining team from Europe trying to spoil the NA party as Rise will sky one up. He can get to this. Double commit though with Vatira. That's gonna open the window for Daniel and Space Station Gaming. Not for very long though, as that's just a booming clear downfield. The shot's there, saved by Rise. Follow up by Daniel is skied up. And the shot Arsenal. from Arsenal easily saved by Joyo. And at this point, it feels as though Space Station Gaming have to match the mechanics of Team Queso. The 1v1 plays, a double flip reset we just saw come out, out of Team Queso. What do Space Station have now on offense? Where is the firepower? Who will step up from this three-man squad? It's Matira now, as he tries to dribble through Rettles. Rettles will at least slow him down. Here comes Daniel. The guy's got to get SSG. Oh, Go demo. Oh. demo in front, and Rettles scores. And finally, the crowd roars. The crowd roars, and so the Space Station on this play. Daniel, see you later, Rise. Rettles comes through at the perfect moment to equalize. And now SSG back into the game. They barked at SSG. Arsenal and SSG have barked back. Here's Rise. Joyo to his right. Daniel there to meet him. And once this right Space there. Station squad gets going, they could be tough to stop. Joyo in reverse. Oh, flip. flip reset. Oh, Make it he, flip. he did, but he couldn't do anything else with it. So much boost given to Team Queso. It seems as though every time we get on perspective of one of their players, they've got a full boost tank and so much to work with. 
Going up for a solo play, air dribbles, flip resets. Here's Joyo, maybe a dunk using Ooh. the top of his car, and he's still going forward. All right, this is incredible. Out of the corner, Vatira. He can get this. Prepare for trouble again. Rise Ooh. blocked away. Out of the corner, Joyo will have this. Looking for anybody to center to, and just taking way too long for that play to develop. Ball in the corner, and Rettles trying to get this out. You see Team Queso, they're more than happy with keeping this ball in. Look at the boost now for SSG. Daniel out of boost. Arsenal's using up most of it. Yeah. And now you're starting to see Queso staying on their own end, taking those corner pads. They're looking to strike just by starving out Space Station. Queso, it looks like they're setting up shop in the corner of Space Station That's Gaming. Trying to take all the boost. That one almost going in. You can hear the crowd getting excited. Just seeing one clear from Space Station Gaming's half. Uh-oh. He's out of boost. Joyo Batira. ran out of gas, as Daz mentioned. And this is cleared right back. Rise, oh, big let that go by. Arsenal for Ooh. the lead. Denied by Vatira. Such a close chance. But now, Rettles He's off got the split. ceiling. He's got Has the flip. There's the bump. Rettles scores. Space Station in the lead. A patient play. Perfectly executed. You've got the bumps. You've got the ceiling shot. And you've got yourself a second goal for Space Station Gaming. Later had a real slow start to this winter major, but he's come alive in the playoffs. Once we move to the YouTube theater, something has been awakened. Rise, trying to answer back for Team Queso. Shut down by Arsenal. Joyo rolls one in front, and he got a piece of that clearance effort. But the ball still ends up on the blue half. Now you got to start looking at the time. Can Space Station Gaming hold on to this lead? With a minute, 10 seconds left, Queso are going to give them everything they got. They want to shut down the momentum that's been growing, but they haven't been able to really handle the bump plays that have been coming out from Space Station Gaming. Space Station trying to slow down Queso with physical play as well. You can see Rise having to keep his head on a swivel. But Tira got a dunk there, but that goes off to the side. Not down towards the net like you would have hoped. That go, oh, what a demo by oh, Reynolds as Rise was waiting. Now Vatira has Joyo, Joyo across Joyo. the way, and oh. he can't tie it. Arsenal stands strong. The guardian angel for Space Station Gaming, but it's not over yet. Team Queso hungry for the second goal. We have to applaud the defense from Space Station Gaming. 30 seconds left, they just got to hold on. 25 to go. Vatira blocked, but it goes right to Rise, and that's a good secondary block by SSG. Reynolds looking Reynolds. to put it away, but he put the shot high. No follow-up on the weak side. Daniel coming in a little too, too late. And now down to nine seconds. Rise, downfield, but there's nobody else there. Is that a boost? Alone on an island with no boost. Two seconds. To the ground. One, Wait. And this is oh. down to the ground, and we've got a series on our hands. You saw the offense from Queso scoring four goals. That's the most yep. SSG has let in this entire major. But guess, guess what? They turn it around. They figure things out. Even after the start where you see that Unbelievable. flip from, uh, who's that, Vatira? Yeah, double flip reset. Didn't stop them at all. Space Station, once they got going scoring-wise, they found the demo plays out, and it worked out brilliantly. And to win a game like this in the same style with, with that defensive performance, the mental fortitude to stay alive, stay hungry, and stay resilient on defense. They were stuck in their own half the entire first half. And I thought it was over after we saw a double flip reset. We saw so yeah. many solo dribbles. I'm thinking there's no way Space Station Gaming have the defense to hold up against them, but they proved me wrong completely. And they're ready, like you said, Stacks, to put this one up and make it a series that's gonna go the distance. <laughs> Who isn't here for Laniel at this point? I think it might be just four people, and they're all standing behind the Team Queso logo on the left side of the stage. This has been just an incredible atmosphere. Yeah. Once SSG came alive, you know they just needed to get one, maybe to get the ball rolling, and now the challenge oh, falls oh, to oh. Team Queso. They're not yeah. just fighting against SSG, they're fighting against the entire YouTube theater, as you can see, as we head to the iconic backdrop of DF8 Stadium to break a one-all tie. All tied up. And we'll see if Kaysville can shut down Aurora Space Station. What a response in game two. And really, if Queso are going to shut them down, they've got to dodge the demos. They need to be paying attention to that. Knowing who's going to push forward, Space Station Gaming, you're taking their boost, but they'll still look for demos on you. Be cautious of it, Des, because they won't stop. Oh, good flipper set to get under for Arsenal. Batira 
trying to take his time with that play. He ended up looking at the back end. I think Ruddles was going for some demos. But now, Space Station half control in the upper half. It feels like they start to know what to do. They're, they're controlling the pace of play right now, Stacks. Oh, Ryan's got the shot off, and Ruddles will have to clear this away. All of Team Queso bearing down on them, and a huge clear back to the blue half of the field. Matira can't go for that corner boost, didn't need to, and he got the pass away just briefly before the demolition. Touch. Here's Joyo for the lead, and Rettles makes the initial save. Batira waiting, though, for Arsenal. It's a familiar game, very reminiscent of the previous one. Space Station Gaming stuck on defense, forced to get some 50-50s, even a couple of pre-jumps, and they slowly start building out of that defense, getting some clears forward, maybe in a, even a couple of demos. That's what kicked things off. Do we see that There's repeat in game number three? There's a demo. SSG are controlling the boost. They're controlling the ball. Daniel's up. But now, can they finish here in a good opportunity? With the ball's being played out in midfield. Queso no starting to move down. Queso. Queso. going home! And the first goal will go to Queso. They took down the SSG and defense. They're, they're pushing everybody forward. There was literally no boost in the tank for all of Team Queso. Rise, the only person. And he's all the way forward. Batira, he knows that positioning is so spot on. And he's got a free net. All eyes on Rise coming into this series, and yes, he's made his presence felt with a couple of goals, but it's Batira that leads all scorers now with his third just there. And Team Queso in front yet again as Rise can't get past Reynolds. What we're seeing here looks like they're taking a, you know, a picture out of the play style here for SSG. Queso's been going really offensive. They're trying to match Space Station with these bumps. It worked out for that first goal, but there's still plenty of game left to play. Arsenal under a lot of pressure oh. there, but he makes the save. This goes right to Joyo. He got boost and ball, a true rarity, and he almost made the most of it. Daniel makes the initial stop. Rise can't get by. Here goes Daniel. We haven't seen a lot yep. out of the young phenom oh, that's right compared to what we've seen so far here at the YouTube Theater. But you just know he's like a viper, coiled, waiting yeah. to strike. We've seen a dribbling approach from Space Station Gaming here. It's popped up in the air though for Daniel and he can't get in front of it. That aerial game plan, it's not gonna work out for Space Station Gaming with how fast Team Queso have been and the boost that they're acquiring. It's gonna be difficult to match them. This ball has rolled in front of the net a couple of times. Space Station Gaming cracking the defense, cracking the armor. Things could slip up for Team Queso. Ball straight down, push it in midfield. It'll be to Rettles. They'll be able to pop that up. You see Arsenal. Arsenal going for it. Arsenal doesn't have the read. Morning Still boost. trying to throw off this queso defense. Rise, though, gets a demo on Daniel. We'll see Daniel in a second. And Arsenal still pushing forward. SSG has been controlling the ball, but they haven't necessarily been able to get it in front of the goal line. We haven't seen too many shots from them. 100 seconds separate us from a 2-1 series in favor of Team Queso. Space Station Gaming needs to answer, but they got to get out of their own zone. But Tira, all the day double. to line oh, one up, oh. and Reynolds just got a piece of his double tap effort. An immaculate read, Space Station Gaming have been consistent with getting in the path of the striker and the net. Finding that 50-50, still trailing by one goal. Space Station Gaming, we haven't seen the demos, and that's mainly, for, mainly because Team Case with that third man back. He's Wait getting taken out. Daniel, maybe on the solo play, can't connect, but Space Station Gaming, it looks clean. That physical play He's got again. Full boost. Oh, hello. Daniel. Daniel just denied by Joyo. I mean, we've seen time and again, Space Station, they have the right idea. The execution, not good enough. Every time you think something's going to happen with Space Station where things line up, someone from Queso is always there to make yeah. a challenge. It's got to be frustrating for SSG, even Reynolds. You see, he can't get up to the, to the ball in time because he's getting bumped out from Rise. Now this drive has options for Arsenal. Oh, tries to go for the 50. Doesn't work out. 30 seconds left in game oh. three. Daniel. Well, oh, the material of oh. the And couldn't get the follow up. But Arsenal follows. His first tally ties it with 24. Daniel in a 1v1. Tries to go for the air dribble bump of Matera. The save was just barely not enough because Arsenal was crashing through. Tied up game. 24 seconds left. It's anybody's ball. They're using every tactic, every single tool on offense to break through Team Queso. It has worked. 20 seconds left, all tied up. Space Station Gaming, they've got the crowd, and now they found the equalizer.
And now we're closing in on our first overtime of the series, but Joyo's got other plans. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's a oh, bounce! Oh, rise again! The best bounce possible, Joyo. The double tap, if he doesn't follow that one up, it's getting stuffed by a Space Station Gaming player. Three seconds left. They bounce back within seconds. Three seconds to answer for SSG after a heartbreaking finish. Off the backboard, got to keep this in the air despite a double commit, so Arsenal. it's all on Arsenal. Now go. he's got help coming in Reynolds. He'll control, got the shot away, but nothing to do oh, there. What? Now Daniel, another double. This is just going to fall, oh, and my. Team Queso takes Ooh. the lead in the series with late heroics yep. out of the man who's done it all week <laughs> long. Rise strikes again. Yeah, I'm, I'm just impressed that Arsenal was able to keep it up like that with the read to get <laughs> yeah. under the ball. It was an obvious clear, but for him to be there, it looked like he teleported. And as we take a look at the Mobile One high performance replay, it was a big open net. Team Queso getting aggressive, Daz. A big thing that we noted uh, was how they responded to the demos. And that's with demos of, them, or the, of their own, excuse me. Yeah, and for me, it's just like Queso, man. They're, they're getting everything going. SSG, yep. they're showing signs of life, but even when we saw like, chances for solo plays, oh, watch out, be careful. <laughs> too many signs, man. That's <laughs> a lot of signs. That being said, man, SSG are so close to really finding the answer against Team Queso, but every time you think that's the case, Queso have been adapting. They've been changing up the play style. They've started going for demos. Then you start seeing some of the solo plays happen, and then they catch SSG out on some of the awkward drives that they try to make. It's been tough for Space Station. Queso have been on a roll. They keep going. In the story of this series, keep in mind how important that goal was from Rise with just three seconds left. Space Station has not dropped in overtime so far. Yeah. They're 3-0. Queso have struggled. They've only won two out of the seven that they've played. That game goes to overtime. This whole series may have been completely different. Yeah, and I think a big strategy for Space Station Gaming coming into game number four as we get underway here is going to be stopping those shots earlier on. Space Station Gaming are waiting on the backboard and, and Rightfully so, it's hard to predict where Queso are trying to go with the level of mechanics, but if you can get in front of them a little bit earlier oh! and start things off, like that. that's exactly what we wanted. Of course, it's Daniel, takes his time, lines up the shot, and look at that, perfect Ooh. placement there to get it past Queso. SSG set the tone. That'll get him going, it's his first meaningful goal of the series. Remember, he had that first strike very late in game one. And now, SSG, momentum in game four. Back and Backboard. forth, these two juggernauts oh, go. The demo does not lead to another goal as Daniel falls into the queso net and Rise oh, eats a demo for his efforts. Well, look at Joyo. He's taking some demos of his own and getting physical, finding somebody rotating back from Space Station Gaming, allowing Rise now to come in and win a 50-50. Within the first minute, it's been high-flying action left and right, Daz. What do we need to see out of Team Queso? What else do they have to adapt to? Seems like they can do every single play style. Start to see Space Station Gaming turn things up. Arsenal getting in front. We've seen some demos come out, and we've seen Daniel come alive Arsenal. as this one. Pressure, demo comes out on Joyo, and the oh. ball goes in! Reynolds finishes, look at that Space Station team come alive! When does the demoing stop? First Space Station Gaming Arsenal. He was the one starting the solo play. He lands and instantly takes out the goalkeeper. Two to nothing. I think Madeira might have misjudged where he was and how far it was to the backboard. Because yep. it looked like he clearly wanted to catch that on the backboard and continue away. But he was just too far back. And now Queso's got a two-goal deficit to overcome. Very, very early on, though, in game four at Utopia. Arsenal still continuing to do work. He's looking for another demo there, trying to take Joyo out the play. Oh. There's a flip reset. You got to be careful. Queso on that counterattack is dangerous. Daniel. Nothing there. Retira is going to have this waterfall down, and Reynolds had to make sure he got there in time. There's a great bump to send Joyo out of the play, but he got a demo on his way out of the zone. So Reynolds can only play that to space. I hope Daniel can chase it down, which he's done. Joyo. Didn't really get rid of this cleanly, but Daniel couldn't punish him for it. Here goes oh, Rise trying to do it again. Joyo. Follow from Joyo to get him on the Whoa. board, and that's denied by Arsenal. Space Station Gaming, they get back just in the oh, nick of oh, time. And oh. another demo on the play. 
Queso, an onslaught of shots, but the defense of Space Station Gaming impenetrable. I mean, they're just taking pot shots right now at the Space Station net, or at oh, the double Queso demo. net. Trying to catch them enough, a little though. too far what? ahead. Rise he got the boost. Right at midfield, nothing doing there. And SSG escapes unscathed again. Vatira denied the by Reynolds. Oh, Wait, oh, what? Oh, is oh, gonna get it? It's, it's open. open. Daniel's gonna do it again. No way. You see the bump in transition? Queso just pushed up too far. And boy, did they get punished for it. And we just saw Team Queso try to do that exact same thing on the other side. It didn't work. Space Station Gaming avoided it and then got a demo of their own. This has not happened to Queso much in this tournament. Vatira denied on the near side, and here goes Daniel again. Again, once he got started in the series against version one, he was indeed unstoppable. He had a hand in almost oh. every single one of their goals as Joyo can only dump that to the corner. And Team Queso got to be scratching their heads wondering what has changed against SSG. Come, up, come around with a lot of energy stacks. And again, these demos, this aggressive play. You see Queso trying to do it on the other side of things, but that kind of messes up the rotation a little bit. Yeah. And you've seen Space Station get those punches like the last goal we saw. As they go for a demo here, Joyo last back, a very aggressive challenge. And Vatira's going to try to buy time, but look at those boost numbers. They're really low, and maybe SSG find a foothold on offense here. Team Queso, they don't have the timing that Space Station do with demos. When Team Queso get a demo, Space Station already have control. They're going for a dribble out. Dribble out. They're able to stall and waste so much extra time to allow that teammate who got demoed to respawn. It's not the same situation on the side of Team K, so that goalkeeper taken out as soon as a player from Space Station is taking a shot. There has not been a team that has been better in the clutch than Team Queso in this oh, tournament. Oh, so important oh, oh, as oh Daniel word. just put them open? all on skate. He's going for a Only bump. one to beat, and Vatira manages to at least keep Queso alive in this game. Wait, it's not over yet. Daniel trying to get a good 50, and it is Final one. Minute. Arsenal doesn't want to go for that just yet. Buying time, trying to break down the defense. Queso stuck on their own half. And for them to start the series off with such an incredible tone, getting the four goals in game one, the change here has got to be tough on them. Rise will fire one off, and the double doesn't come through for Vatira. And now this goes way back into Queso territory, and it may indeed be a case of, all right, let's go next. Reality might be setting in. 30 seconds left, and Joyo couldn't get to the boost pad, but he can still get possession. He's going for Trying bombs. to run interference. Still up there, but Vatira is way too far back to be a factor. He finally comes in with very little time left. Rise will score with 15 to go, and at least the window's open just a crack. It's still possible here for Team Queso. 15 seconds left, a lot to ask for. But it's the same situation that we found Space Station Gaming in a couple of games ago, where you just want to get one for the road, break that curse, start the momentum, and look towards the next game if something doesn't go well off this kickoff. Oh, it could go really well. Oh, what a read, though. Arsenal got there so quick. Eight seconds left. Queso's got to go the length of the field, and they will not. They are trapped on the blue half of the field. They just barely get across, but it does not matter. Space Station Gaming enters back, and they keep going back and forth through four. Back and forth, trading blows. All to see which of these two teams can make the grand final. And at this point, no one has an edge. The opening offense that we saw from Space Station Gaming was phenomenal. Yeah. And then to see Queso try to respond towards the end, even then, woke up a little too late. Now things are on an even playing field. We're going to move on to game five, and man, it's going to be yeah. crazy. And I love the way that this series has unfolded it. Queso were looking for a, a round one knockout, couldn't get it. And SSG, they bounced back up. They stood back on their feet, and they're getting more demos. Queso, they wanted to go for that same approach, but like I said earlier, the timing, not quite on for when those demos come through. There isn't a shot out of uh, Team Queso. Instead, it's Space Station Gaming. Wasting time, keeping the ball low, going for 50-50s. And then whenever they have solo plays, they've also got another player taking out the goalkeeper. The art, uh, the atmosphere here at the YouTube Theater all weekend long has been incredible. Yeah. You can hear the chance for Arsenal going on behind us. And now we go to game five. I mean, this one has all the makings of an instant classic. Yet another EUNA showdown 
coming down to the wire. They're level through four. You know who everybody here in LA wants to come out on top on Wasteland to take a 3-2 series lead and to get within no. one series of facing G2 in the finals. It's been an aggressive game and we've seen great goal score from both sides. This series has equalized. It's Wasteland night, we kick things off. Already pressure on Space Station's end, but again, that last win probably gives the team so much yeah. more confidence that you see them not really too phased even when Queso's in front of them. And the pressure out of Team Queso isn't necessarily an indicator as to how they're playing because uh -oh, Space Station Gaming, here they've had to deal with so much of the pressure. And speaking of pressure, here's yet another demo play from SSG. Queso move up fast. You see Rattles Goyo, Toodaloo, Arsenal puts it in, and SSG set the pace. It's been a balanced effort. Out of all three members of Space Station Gaming, remember yesterday against V1, it was Daniel coming alive. Now everybody's got a hand in their success. Yeah. First minute belongs to SSG in a critical fifth game. Another thrown in Wait. front. Rettles for Daniel Wait. to make it 2-0 and Joyo collects. Chance there for Daniel to put on his shot, tries to go for the flip reset. Ball hit, went straight to Patera. He's taking a challenge now. Ball off that backboard, you see Rise looking for the passes. Queso trying to pass in transition. Can they get past Space Station on the defensive end? Looks like SSG trying to pull him out and hit him on the counter attack. Another, another chance, play. but the demo oh doesn't fall through. Now it's scrambled all over the field. And you'll notice with that same play that Space Station came, Gaming keep going for, Team Queso, that third man, he's pushing up farther now to avoid the demo, intercept that dribble earlier on, and oh. try to stop it, but it seems impossible. There's one cheeky little play right there Woo! by Arsenal to set up Rettles. And Team Queso doesn't know whether to watch out for the bump or the shot. And SSG continues to press their advantage. The tides are turning, Stax. SSG in prime oh position. But wait a second. There's Whoa! a shot. Joyo. Top left. There's Joyo. Exactly what they needed. A good interception from Batira, and then a dribble. Maybe this is the key. Keep the ball grounded instead of taking it up every single time for that solo air dribble. There are few teams equipped to deal with this level of pressure. Team Queso has the entire building against them, and the still flip. they answer back. Ooh. Rise almost set up Joyo for a game-tying goal. Now they could have had a numbers advantage, couldn't turn this around, or oh, down the way, and SSG narrowly missed getting it back. It's a good 50 from Arsenal, as Rise off the backboard, keeping it to himself, even has a flip reset, doesn't use it, Rettles now That's above one, maybe above two, going for the dunk, won't connect. The Space Station Gaming controlling the midfield. They give that one up though, they're trying to pull the tier out. There's a demo on the field, a couple of demos on SSG. Still, things reset. You see Joyo being aggressive. I think there was too far forward there. And now Fatira in a tough spot. Has to make the most of this. 50 on the goal line. And Queso trying to break out of this hole that Space Station has on him. Space Station definitely not playing super aggressive. They're giving Queso some proper space. I think they're just waiting for their moment, but they got to be careful. Dropped in front and nearly a dangerous moment for the Space Station defense. Now Joyo. Well, he had Batira forward, but he couldn't get any contact. And now Daniel, Daniel lining up double. a double. It's on target. Arsenal follows, and he's denied as well. Rise and Batira combine on a masterful defensive effort. Other teams probably give up a goal there, but we remain with SSG in front just by one, and Rettles starting another trip into Queso territory. We've hit the two-minute mark. Queso desperate for that second goal, the equalizer. Joyo being patient, and it's given right away to Arsenal, who puts a shot on net, saved off the crossbar. Queso looking for a pass, but intercepted by SSG. Joyo, flip reset, gonna be knocked out. Here's Rettles, oh, see you later. Matir has this ball, trying to get that double out, but Arsenal is on the back, back wall. Space Station Gaming trying to hold on to a one goal lead, but Queso looking for another bump in. Oh my this goodness. is a breakaway, but here is back in time, but Adam Oof. Boost will pick up the corner, but giving away possession. Rattles, can he get this dunk? Does get the dunk, but no follow up. Arsenal will play it off the corner. Has Daniel in midfield with 100 boost, but can he get this ball in front of the goal line? 
clear it out for Rise. We'll try to slow down Space Station on the drive. But with a minute left, Queso got to get on the offensive end. It's not looking good for them. SSG's been set. This is where Queso has shined in this tournament, though. And we saw it just a moment ago. Matira got through. Rise, he's going head hunting. Vatira couldn't get anybody, oh, and Arsenal makes Daniel the first jumped. save. Can he make the second? Oh, no, Daniel to the rescue! It was almost all the way across! The recovery from the young prodigy, but he's still the got pressure guys. to deal with Rise oh. off the crossbar. It doesn't go in, and Space Station Gaming hold on down the other end. How did that not go in? The goalpost saving Space Station Gaming as we dip inside 20 seconds. Final few seconds ticking down. Reynolds gets a bump, but Queso looking to go the other way. Joel gets Rise it to me. Rise is there. Vatira. Drop to Vatira. Vatira, can he get the double? Oh. No, he won't be able to. Queso needs to move downfield, but they won't be able to unless she's blocking them in every second direction. That's it. And SSG put this series on match point. One win away from another date with the G2 Army. We got Unbelievable. They have out clutched Team Queso, and they're the only team in the tournament, for my money, that's done that, guys. My mind can't stop replaying that moment from Daniel getting the, the correction in the net to find the save, and then it goes off the crossbar right here. Look at this slow motion, oh, Daniel, recovering goodness. in the net. And we just saw that play. There was a double commit from Space Station Gaming. Somehow, some way, Daniel made the correction, got back in the net, and found the pre-jump save. Sure, that was a highlight heard, right? moment. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, timeout taken by Team Queso, of course, as we just saw on our Mobile <laughs> One high performance replay. Look, dropping the sign was not very high performance, but <laughs> what was high performance was the incredible defense. We yeah. saw it in slow motion there oh. out of Daniel. That sequence, it looked like Team Queso was destined to score. This game was obviously going to go to overtime, and then the Rocket League gods intervened. You got to wonder what Team Queso is thinking at this point, right? It almost had a drive that would have tied the game up. Things yeah. kind of fall apart towards the end. And then, of course, you got you hear this crowd at the YouTube theater. They're getting electric in front of you. Yeah. You're in a match point situation. Your tournament life is on the line. You have to perform yeah. here. That's a lot of pressure. Absolutely. And, and for these players, these extra two minutes to calm down, collect yourself, compose yourself, so important moving forward. All the energy, all the hype has been given to Space Station Gaming. They've got the crowd, they've got the energy, they've got the momentum from the series. This overtime, or not overtime, this timeout, it's the only thing they've got right now to try and put some water on that flame. It's the question that Team Queso needs to answer now. They've been so brilliant all winter long, all month long, all week long, coming up to this Ooh. moment right here. Nobody has been better with their back against the wall than Team Queso. And we go to Neo Tokyo with their tournament life on the line. Can they answer back? Can they stop this inexorable tide of momentum that is firmly in the favor of Space Station Gaming? And can they at least get to Champions Field? Oh man, the heroes from Europe, the villains of North America, Team Queso. Their backs against the wall. They need to make a stand here in game number six. This is what stores are made oh. of! Look at man, Daniel! Right off the kickoff, he comes alive! Daniel answers in five seconds. Timeout, so what? They took that long to get scored on in five seconds. And that's just a slap in the face. You took a timeout. You want to calm down Space Station Gaming, but instead it's Daniel to pop off. Queso under immense pressure again, but Joyo got through. Oh! Rise will score with Joyo the lead blocker, and you couldn't ask for a better answer from TQ. Your last hope isn't done yet. You see the no bump sir. on the play and the shot in the top right corner. Team Queso strike back quickly. Space Station Gaming, all the momentum, all the hype was there, and then immediately shot back down. Team Queso 
getting physical, and that wasn't connecting in the previous game. When they went for demos, it wasn't working out. Maybe they found the rhythm, found the timing, discovered who needs to go for the demos, and this could be huge and a big shift for Queso. Uh, from Daniel, another 50 comes out. Arsenal looking for that follow-up touch, won't be able to find it. And as things settle down, you can almost feel the tension in the air. Who's gonna make that statement play? You know it's coming. You know, as confident as Space Station's fans are, I think we're all kind of waiting for that one moment. Ryze has had his signature moment in every single series we've seen him play this week. Doyle. Where will it come now when they need it most? Those mechanics, we know what they're capable of. We saw a double flip reset in game number one. Pass. What else do they have in store? There's a midfield pass from Space Station Gaming. Joyo now down the other way. Arsenal tries to get the lead. He doesn't connect. And that interception doesn't work out for SSG. SSG trying to send the house, but Queso strike back. The Look pass from Matira. Arsenal just barely misses the read out. And boy, does he get punished for a Queso in the driver's seat. It feels like it's been forever since Queso has had a lead in this series with how much momentum SSG has had. And oh, then on kick the kickoff, kick the shot is high. Follow is on oh, that oh. save by Rise. Saving the flip, Rise, the savior of Team Queso, off the crossbar and out. And this game might cool down a bit, but only for a few seconds. You never know what's gonna happen whenever these two teams, the powerhouse of mechanics, is on both sides. Oh, they call Space Station. Oh, boost to Joyo! Joy we'll put it in, just forcing his way past Space Station. When this is going through, all of a sudden oh you have to goodness. wonder, what? can you actually put them away? A huge win by Joyo, his third goal of the series to go with seven assists. 50-50 looks so weird at first in the corner. I'm not even sure that's put in. And what is nowhere. going on? Everything is breaking apart on the defensive side. We've got a shootout on Neo Tokyo. What? Reynolds, top left corner, what a shot. Wow. Well, there's two goals that you wouldn't have expected to go through, especially against these two teams. Yeah. As great as they've been, sometimes, though, you got to win the ugly games to survive and advance. Arsenal pops one up, but Joyo's got control. Only Reynolds to beat way at the back. Rise demolished just as the pass went away. So Vatira's called Vatira. into action. Daniel Reset. waiting in the net for him, and he just took his time. That's a great job by Vatira. I think if he takes that shot, it's an easy save. Yeah, and by that same moment, he's also buying Queso some time to grab some boost. They're looking to make a play here on the offense, but you see that whiff coming out there from he's got the boost. Now Daniel, he go the whole way. Ran. Daniel. He's going to get the bump. He tried to take out Vatira. They sent the house. Reynolds last back, a little awkward, but is going to still buy some time for Space Station. And look at how aggressive that defensive... <laughs> Formation is from Space Station Gaming. All three of them in the half of Team Queso pushed up even into the corners. They're taking the boost, being aggressive. Maybe that's why we saw Arsenal get caught off guard so far. It worked for two goals, but still trailing by one as they need to equalize. Vatira got the shot away and Reynolds scrambles back. Okay. Uh, that was a hairy situation that SSG made the most of. Joyo, center Rise for there, Rise to do it again. Oh. And that time is shut out by Reynolds. But the whole defense just packed in like sardines in front of the SSG net. But he oh, it. it's oh, a fake, oh. and Matira scores. The fake comes through, and now Queso, they got a lot of control with this. Look at the follow-up. You're thinking Matira's oh, going to make the goodness. touch. No one makes any contact because that ball's on target. Queso yep. trying to force that game seven. SSG have two minutes to put some numbers on the board. And you don't blame them for respecting the shot. You've got Team Queso, the mechanics. How do you not assume a banger's gonna come out? Vatira off the ceiling. Defense looking strong as fakes all around the pitch working out in favor of Team Queso and a double tap, adding insult to injury. Queso up by three. Rise adds to his impressive tally. And this is the first time all tournament long anybody has put up more than four goals against Space Station. It would seem insurmountable at this point, but there's a minute 36, and there's still young Daniel in the middle as Arsenal throws this downfield, and Rise didn't get that cleanly, but Ooh. Joyo did. Minute and 30 seconds left. Game seven looming in the background. Three goals 
necessary for Space Station just There's to equalize oh, oh. it. You'd think that would be the third one, but it's saved by Team Queso. He's just starting to figure things out now. And SSG, even when they get the shot through, someone's there to save it. Both teams not afraid to really double commit when they figure out one of the players is out of boost. Here's Daniel. Can he make it happen? Ooh. Won't be able to. A minute remaining here. SSG still down by three. Final minute. Daniel needs some heroics, and that ball swept away. Rise also took out Rettles. That helped a ton. As Arsenal goes underneath Rise, Joya will have this to the corner, and more time tick, tick, ticking away as SSG starting to think, all right, maybe we no. have to go seven to put away TQ. But they're not letting up. Aggression still there, connecting for Space Station Gaming. A barrage of shots coming through. Nothing has connected, but it still looks promising for young Daniel now going for the flip reset fake. Arsenal looking for a bump. 15 seconds left, a three goal lead for Team Queso. Certainly it's gotta be impossible for Space Station. Final countdown of game six. Team Queso down on the mat, but they've answered the bell. Here we go. And they live to fight another we game. Go. They're going to Champions Field to decide who goes to the grand finals. Here we go. Will we have it any other way? Number one seed in Europe, Team Queso, still alive as Space Station Gaming couldn't close them out in game six. And my, oh my, they put on a ton of goals at the same time. Yeah. But Ooh. we have some interesting information. SSG taking a tactical timeout. Of course, why would hey, I? don't know. You can't take it with you. So you might as well call it. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. It looked great at the end for Space Station Gaming. They weren't executing perfectly, but the rotations were all there. There weren't any clear mistakes. Maybe trying to cool off <laughs> Team Queso as we go into Game 7. But a lot of players out here, they just want to get right back into it. You, you know, that's a really good point, too, because that's a lot of time for this crowd to oh, go nuts and get things my. rolling here that's what they inside wanted. the YouTube theater. You can see there are a few Queso supporters, but this is very much a one-sided crowd, and SSG may be relying on that same crowd. Papa Rettles over there starting to get them going in the middle as we get ready for Game 7. You're going to start to feel the energy. This is what it's all about. Two teams trying to make it to the Grand Final. Queso representing Europe and looking for the all in final, Space Station Gaming, they both want a shot at G2. We have never had an NA versus NA final at an RLCS LAN. <laughs> oh and we are five minutes away from finding out whether or not we will break that trend. Now it is time to go to Champions Field. Now it is time for Game 7 in our lower bracket finals. All the work put through put into this game to get to this point throughout the split, throughout the winter split. Countless regional events, so much work, so much practice, scrims, just to get to this point, to have a chance at fighting G2 in the Grand Finals. It all comes down to five minutes. One more game to decide who gets a shot at G2 to, to take home the winter major. Yeah. The energy inside <laughs> the YouTube theater is incredible. Champions Field Game 7 brought to you by Lamborghini is about to be underway. There's that countdown. Five minutes on the clock. We'll see who comes out on top of this. Here are the records for these teams. Queso, 13 and 2 in this split in deciding games. They are 6-0 in oh. game seven, and they've won their last eight deciders. It's already a better start for Team Queso. Remember the last game, Daniel, in five seconds, able to punish, not the case in game seven. Will the defenses be pushed back a bit more? Who's gonna take the risk, push up, extend for demos? Space Station Gaming, love to be aggressive, but so do Team Queso in this series. Arsenal took like that corner boost, finally goes up to challenge in the midfield. There it is, getting aggressive. Arsenal won't be able to beat out Rise. SSG on a decent start offensively. The both teams got to be under a lot of pressure. So much on the line here this game. Good clear for Reynolds. SSG trying to move up forward with this. We know both teams have the ice. They've never dropped a game seven in this split. As Daniel 
Throws one across. Looking oh, for Arsenal. Commit. That's a double commit. But Rise still comes away with it. And all SSG can do is oh, slow down. Oh, oh, the boot. Queso trying to delay the inevitable. And they got lucky as that's off the crossbar and away. Daniel got a piece of that ball. Keeping things still tied up for now. But Queso back in the middle. Fatira! Scores for Queso. First goal. What a way to start things out. Resilient gameplay out of Queso. Not stopping one shot, two shots, and a third shot going in finally for Queso. And things are going to calm down now. Back to the kickoff. Space Station Gaming have to answer. He used last hope, now a new hope. As Joyo stuffed that on the corner. Vatira, one more touch. Oh. Needed, got it down in front. Rise will oh. do it again. Oh. Here for Queso. And we saw what Daniel could do on the goal line before getting pre jump save after pre jump save. It's not working out now. Queso, a barrage of shots coming through, connecting, and now they still look to find something else on offense. Maybe a midfield pass comes through after this 50 50 from Joyo. It's been a far different story for Ooh. Team Queso in this winter split than it was in the fall, but no team has played more deciding games in the world than Team Queso. And they have been incredible, as we've mentioned, throughout this winter. Looking to continue it now, thrown in front. And nobody there, Vatira wisely backs off, looking for boost, he'll finally find some. He'll be called into action on the near side. There's demo. a demo behind the play, as Arsenal no longer a factor, he'll respawn in and have to get right to work. And that's a recent addition to Team Queso's game plan. Taking out that third man as you're rotating back through. The alleviating some pressure. Flip reset from Daniel, but he's all alone on offense. Maybe something out of Space Station. Uh-oh. Anyone play that ball? You see Reddles going in for the 50. Still could be a chance here for SSG. But rise on that sidewall, knocks it away. Daniel fails to make contact, and Queso still looking to move upfield unless did Arsenal catch him out, oh. trying to get it past everyone. And ball bounces off the backboard. Reynolds is up to meet it, but there's no one there to follow for Space Station, and the clock continues to tick. Vatira with Joyo to his left, and that's a great win. Pass. That's dished to the corner. The opportunities have been there for Space Station, but they've been few and far between as Team Queso has just smothered them. Oh Arsenal my goodness. Oh, could not bounce one through. A lot of chaos in front, and still the Queso defense manages. And it's all thanks to Vatira, the safety net for Team Queso. The defense they out don't. of all three players, hard as iron. This is incredible stuff from all of them. Queso now off the backboard. Vatira's got to make something work. Queso's put up a wall on their goal line, and they don't plan on letting Space Station through. A minute 20 left. SSG needs some magic, or if another goal is scored for Queso, it could be the end of things. Vatira trying to dive bomb onto this. Nine out of the 15 times Queso's gone to a deciding game. They've dropped three or more goals, trying to reach that point again as they break out of the zone. Vatira has Joyo to the right and just couldn't get the ball to him, so now Rise takes over. 85 in the tank, Rise. 70, 54, backboard, and Joyo couldn't get to it. 50 seconds left. This is it. SSG need this drive. It's They're all going on the for line. Bumps. Is it going to oh, land? It. it is! Daniel scores! SSG are within one! It's the what they needed, the final minute. We're within one, Space Station Gaming. It's all there. They just need to execute one more time to equalize. The ice on the stage is unbelievable. And now Daniel They're not wants stopping. more. They're not and stopping. And Vatera read the play. Arsenal couldn't get the second touch. And that's dished behind Rettles. Now Joyo with 30 to go. Trying to add one more. The Rise demo. demolished. Demo. He's going up Another field. Demo. He's Another hunting. One. He's Another hunting. One. He's hunting. He got it. He got it. He got it. But here's Space Station on the ball. Daniel now into the corner. Ten Can seconds. they make something happen? Reynolds takes out Joyo. Ball going into the midfield. Space Station Where's Gaming. Anybody? Reynolds all the way. Is this going to go up? Fall down. It will. Whoa. It will. Team Queso to the grand final. Queso avanza en la gran final. Team Queso gets.
it's a date with G2. Representing Europe, Queso do the unthinkable. They dodge every demo. They save every shot. And they make it now to the grand finals. And we think back to that last moment. It all came down to dodging that demo, swatting the mosquitoes of Space Station Gaming. It started with a roar out of Rise and Vatira, and it finished with who else but Rise. Another sterling moment as Team Queso survives and advances, and the whole oh, European contingent so excited Woo. for Coach Nick and this Team Queso squad who stay alive as EU's last hope. Stax, it's one thing to show up and pull out some incredible mechanics, but then to adapt mid-series like that against Space Station Gaming, that's on another level for these rookies in front of an RLCS crowd for the first time. It comes down to the final seconds, and SSG Ooh. had the ball on the goal line. Almost in, even 150-50 changes the outcome. Queso performed when the entire YouTube theater was against them. When their backs were against the wall, they stood tall. The difference between a goal there and not is probably the width of this card that I'm holding. It was oh, that goodness. close, and that's it. <laughs> that is how Team Queso gets to the grand finals as we look one more time at our Mobile One High Performance Let's Replay. Again. Come on. Daniel gave them life right at the death. Look and then it. it's Is right here. Reynolds what? had him. And who else but Rise to come in oh and save goodness. the day. Absolutely <laughs> incredible stuff in the lower finals. I can't believe it. I, I can't. When you look at that last play, Turtle. The, the rotation, <laughs> I can't. The third man coming in. Imagine you're Rise and you're watching this and you see the play. It's happened so many times against you. You know you got to get the save and he does connect, keeping him alive. That was one of the best moments of the tournament. So Team Queso, again, survive and advance. That is wow. the key at every stage of a tournament like this. You're not always gonna play at your best. You're going to meet your match and a defensive team like Space Station Gaming can force you to dig deep and figure out a way. Great teams find a way. Corelli standing by with a player that did just that. Wow. Joyo, what a series against Space Station Gaming. The crowd going absolutely crazy for you guys. I want to get your initial reaction real quick. That save on the goal line from Rise, your POV from that play. I mean, I knew he saved it. He does it all the time. So does Vatura. It's a free save, you know? <laughs> well, I, I love the confidence. And speaking of confidence, last time uh, you guys were up here for the interview, Rise was talking about confidence. Where, where does that come from? You guys are so young, and yet you guys are playing like veterans out here. I mean, that's probably a reason why we're so confident. We're so young and hungry to win. So, you know, we always hype each other up and just go crazy. You guys have gone crazy. That is four series now that you guys have won on the stage in front of the crowd. Are you guys comfortable here? Is this where you guys thrive now? Yeah, this is definitely our home. We're here to stay. <laughs> you guys certainly are. Uh, well, listen, job's not done here. You guys got to go up against G2 in the finals. Who's the biggest threat? I mean, all of G2 are playing great right now, but obviously Atomic, when he peaks, is insane. But they're all good players, and I'm hyped to play them. Bates is going to love that answer. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, listen, I want to ask you one more question here, and it's about you guys, obviously a very young team coming into this. I think you guys have shown that a lot of young players can come out and be at the top of RLCS. Do you have a message for those type of kids that are trying to grow into a Rocket League and play in RLCS? Don't give up. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Love it. Love it. And the crowd loves it too. Joyo, last thing here. Any other shout outs that you have going into this grand final? Uh, shout out my parents. They're supporting me at home. And I mean, they've helped me so much in my journey. Well, guys, everyone here in the YouTube theater and online, you guys are going to stay in your seats, stay at your computer. 
We have a very special announcement coming up right after the break. Stay with us. This might not be your car, and this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine, and maybe these aren't your coworkers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Tippy driver.
On the top and we ain't gonna fall It's an obsession, I have it, you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic, do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Money grows from my intuition I just bought a crib, that's my first edition People hate it when you claim a vision But I use a static when I hit ignition Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition Forge your heat, no matter where I've been And give me any place and it'll be a kitchen this how we flow to the top I'm on a wave and it never gon' stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I step like a shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain on the floating block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and it's all you got We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, a habit you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing just like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see it, but I ain't feeling stress, I know what's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Make a move to make the money taller to the cash topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I'm gonna wear the collar with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. It's an obsession, a habit you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic to do it all. I'm from the bottom, I I hate what I saw. I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl. They wanna talk when you're back to the wall. So I 
say later, my ain't moving small. One game more. One more match to decide the winners of the Winter Major of the Rocket League Championship Series live from Los Angeles. I'm Wave Punk. We've got Gibbs, T Bates, CJ, CJ, and Stumpy, who's feeling pretty smug right now. It ain't easy being cheesy <laughs> until it is. It's, it's easy being cheesy. If I chat, oh, or not for chat, for the people who are here watching outside, I'd encourage you. There's a big announcement that's going to be coming here in just a moment. Please get, get back to your seats. You're going to want to be inside when Huge. that happens. Everybody's moving. That's Huge what we announcement. Want to see there. Huge announcement. Let's take a look at the Mobile One High Performance replay to show you how that match went down. Down to the wire. The T Bates, game seven. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I was on the floor for that game, <laughs> and when you, uh, CJ, <laughs> and when and when uh, who, who was that? Arsenal had the ball, and then Ruddles was trying to get the bump. It looked like it was a guaranteed goal. I really hope we can get a close up, close up shot of that. I don't know where Batista came from, what man, is but series this series general, was incredible. Man. Both Instant these classic. teams going back and forth, man. The crowd was getting so hype. It was, it was SSG dominant, but there was a lot of Queso fans in there. And Queso, oh, they are down 3-2, then they go to Champions Field. They are 12-2 and two on the split what? on Champions Field. Wow. They have the ice. Unbelievable. And we spoke okay, about okay, it before. Okay. He's spawned. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Where oh, does he come from? Where does he come from? Oh, he did spawn. From the spawn. Oh. He spawned. How what? does he get spawned? Does he pick up a small oh. boost? I tell you what, the he whole... Oh, he picked up a small He picked up a single boost, and that Ooh. saves them. The whole stadium went nuts thinking that was a goal, oh, and then just lifted again, realizing yeah. the that that was absolutely unbelievable. And we spoke about it as well Space Station. How good was the bump game? We said that's what oh, they yeah, need yeah, to bring yeah, yeah. to make the series it. close. And they brought it all the way to the wider Game 7. That was the best series I've seen Space Station play so far this major. It was unbelievable. Right, they put everything they need to do. We focused in on Arsenal being the X Factor. The bumping game, the physical game, they really played that phenomenally by yeah. Queso, man. I got I to gotta give it to him, Stumpy. It's I mean... <sighs> They're fantastic, bro. That's <laughs> so good. I mean, Europe what, has a hope. What a statement to say that SSG's best series was a losing effort. What does that yeah. say about Queso? For how oh. good this team is, that they faced a peaking SSG mm. and still the was top. Problem was that it got to Game Seven, and eventually it has to come <laughs> to a deciding game. And right. Queso, time and time again, as soon as they brought that to Game Seven, we said, "Well, it's over." Yeah. Because how many times have they stepped up? Have they brought the ice? Joyo, mm. in yeah. particular, Joyo in that Game, game seven. seven. We're talking about Rise just... Save, but Joyo was setting up. Goal after goal in that man. 1.3 assists per game, just, I believe it he's was. He's not phased nuts. by anything. I don't understand. The whole crowd, well, the majority of the crowd was completely <laughs> against them. Yeah. And just game seven, it, everything on the line to get into a grand yeah. finals. That was phenomenal. It was amazing to be in there and hear when SSG score, when they make a save, when Daniel gets the ball and goes for an air dribble, they are going crazy. Yeah. Right. It was one of the best crowd experiences I've ever had being at the front yeah. of that and feeling mm. it then it's even better than when the North American crowd <laughs> thinks they're going to score. <laughs> they start cheering, and I'm sitting like with the end point guys, all of like the knocked out EU teams. We all stand up, just turn around and roar back at them. <laughs> My voice is going from cheering <laughs> during that. I, I genuinely, after the first bump happened there in game seven, I saw, I think it was Arsenal cutting across, and I'm like, no, you're going to you're gonna save, because I couldn't see the second goalie. He gets the second bump, and I've never been more certain in my life that, that a that goal go is in. going in, mm -hmm. and then to have it come back out of the net there. I, I've never. That Man. might be the most important single boost pad that's ever happened in a tournament. <laughs> yeah, that you can like point to and be like, "Yep, that was the one, right?" Yeah, there. and then T Beats is gonna mod that map. Just take that boost pad out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Down now. <laughs> Won't be a problem anymore. Eh? <laughs> the queso pad in ranked. Everyone's gonna call. Yeah, yeah, ro the yeah rotating pad. via the queso pad. Yeah, I'm, I'm rotating via queso pad. Chat. Let's take <laughs> a look at the bracket. There's only one more Ooh. contest to happen here. We started out way in the back there. Team Queso facing off against NRG before wow. they were in YouTube theater. They knocked them out in five games, and now they have taken down every single North American squad save one. Queso versus G2 is our grand finals, team Bates. Talking about season seven, Bates. It looks the same. Oh, guys. It looks the same. Back then, it taking looks everyone out, the same. And they played G2 in the finals. It looks the same, it's but it happening. won't be the same. Same. No, stop it will not be happening. <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy, babe. A whole bunch of momentum, boy. But them boys from G2, they've been ready the whole entire week. The whole week. Queso had to make a run. G2 have been ready for two weeks. Now, I told y'all that they were the best team in NA, even when NRG was popping off. And I'm telling you, this 
But I, hey, I, even I can write a script better than this, um, man. But how so how are they feeling, though? If, you, if you're G2 right now, you've got this army. I spoke about it in the Space Station series. It felt like this freight train moving mm -hmm. forward. Daniel, just Daniel, the 15 year old, <laughs> is sitting there in a way just like Strapped trying to, to stop the front it. of it. And they took it all the way to Game 7. But this, this train is getting bigger. It's growing stronger. The momentum is lifting. And how do you feel now if you're G2? If you put yourself in some G2 shoes, put the player boots on, how are they feeling right now? Because they, they're in the upper bracket. But at the same, they I feel have like an they're Yeah, but Queso, <laughs> yeah. the only team out of North American Europe to bracket reset and win oh. was Queso. I know. Uh, how convenient that they're the home team here, huh? Uh, <laughs> There's also only is, one North American team left in this. Is that a convenience, even at this point? Or is it just a trend that Queso's that good? They're the only team that can make that run. It's just the ice. It's the ice they by Queso play. again. Game sevens and game fives. 12 yeah. and 2 on the split. That is absolutely nuts. When you go to that uh, game, it's a coin flip. Mm -hmm. And they're 12 and 2. They also Incredible. play for so long. Joyo, before he starts any amount of scrims, he plays two hours of free play, and that's just what he's done in there. And <laughs> now it comes he to G2. He and just now finishes two hours and of free play. And that's two hours of free play, and he's like, oh, wait, and we're in the grand finals. And I now he's ready realize. to play against didn't G2. Realize. My goodness, what is going to happen, folks? We have one of the best matches of Rocket League yet to come here. But we've made, this has been such a celebration of oh, yeah. Rocket League and of the RLCS uh, through and through. We've announced the CRL That's right. uh, World Championships. We announced where the Spring Major's gonna be going to the Copper Box in London. And there's just one more thing. Uh oh. The World Championship is the pinnacle of our sport. And reaching it is the ultimate goal. That's why we train for hours on end. Es el encuentro de lo mejor de este deporte. It's what brings us together. Juntos. Ensemble. Unir. And it's the dream we all strive for. The World Championship is where the greats become legendary. There's no greater accomplishment than lifting that trophy. Comme l'un des meilleurs. meilleurs. As one of the best to ever play the game. It's where pain turns to payoff. Y el esfuerzo será nuestra recompensa. I will rise. I will rise. Je grimperai le sommet. Yo seré un champion. A champion. Will you be there? Se va a estar la. ¿A dónde va? ¿Cuál es? Estarás ahí para ver cómo hacemos historia. To witness history. Look at this. I, I have pretty happy on my face right now. I watched people in the crowd here pop off as they saw <laughs> where it was going to be One here. One guy ran to go to his friends be like, guys, it's in Texas. It's in Texas. <laughs> you don't, you don't, I, I, I need everyone to understand the Dickies Arena is five minutes from my childhood home. This is <laughs> literally in my backyard. I, my family will be there. I will make and sure of it. And not only that, but back in season nine, it was supposed to go to Texas. It, was it got taken it. away. I was so excited. It got taken away. And now we're like, let's just double the attendance. Let's you know just go saying. bigger. We sold out last time in like 10 minutes. So let's go bigger. So many fans, two weeks long. Two Ooh. weeks <laughs> of competition Jinx. there. It is such, I mean, the, I, just to put that into perspective, the Olympics are two weeks long. <laughs> We are going to have two weeks of the greatest Rocket League, the best teams from across the world. 24 teams. Battling it out. No, I, I, you take all the excuses of like, oh, they cram in so much gameplay. You got to play so much in three days. So like, like, no, you were going to have you had probably most like one match a day or something like yeah, that. Like, right. this, is, this is going to be the greatest Rocket League competition that has ever happened in the middle of North America for as, as easy to get to as possible <laughs> for as many people as possible. I mean, Stumpy said it best as well. Just seeing the crowd, the, the, the roll from the stadium when we realized it was in Dallas, Texas. You guys are in unbelievable, and that's what it's all about. We're seeing mm -hmm. people embracing outside. outside, thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> we're going to be able to go to the World Championships, double the attendance, as you yeah. said, Gibbs. It's all about the fans. It's about the crowd, and that's what this match has been all about. I do have to I do have to say, um, you know, like it, it feels really good to be a good thing happening in Texas in 2022. There's <laughs> so, like, the Rocket League is... The home of Rocket League, the heart of Rocket League of North America, I would say, is in Texas. That is I mean, where the majority of the community came from. We always talk about that European crowd with it, and everyone is saying that a Texas crowd would be something <gasps> different oh, entirely. And wait, oh, but we're very good friends. I know how much you get up and get loud when it's game day. Yes. Are the Texans going to do us proud? Fun fact. 
get up and get loud this game. They did not start in Rock League. That's the thing I started saying for TCU football games every time. Yeah, and you that were was, down there. Uh, um, Big 12 football, Big 10 football, SEC, SEC football down Texas there, man. Thing, you got Louisiana, Louisiana, Oklahoma. It's going to be a football, Louisiana, it, it, it's gonna be a football Wow. And Alabama, I, I Mississippi, hope, everybody I'm, in those central states and southeast side of, of the nation, boy, we get loud. We're talking about 100,000 <laughs> people. That's where the real NA chance, the real American chance comes from. So we're going home. It feels like we're going home. They have to market it as Dallas. Dickies is in Fort Worth. And I need to clarify oh, that for all my Fort Worth fans watching home. This is in Fort Worth, Texas. But it's in the DFW area. Put Dallas on the posters if that's what you want. It's in Fort Worth. Let's get into the grand finals we got here right now, though. Two teams to approach the stage. It's time to make it happen. The first one from Europe, Team Queso. So far, the tournament's been great, you know, an insane experience, especially now with the fans. We were nervous at the start, but, you know, now we're ready and we're hyped. We're ready for Championship Sunday. I'm so proud of the boys to be Championship Sunday, first ever land. Insane. We've definitely exceeded our expectations, 100%. Put a little force behind it. That's a big demo wow. and a quick follow up. <laughs> oh my god. Joyo <laughs> takes the man out, right? Takes the shot perfectly in tandem. I think playing online is something that very few get to experience. So to be here together has definitely helped us build like a really good one as a team. Kesel okay, still threatening on their side. Motor for Vatira. Pump top right. Oh, that is three for Kesel. Devastation the other way. We're very ready. We know that when we play our game and are confident, we're the best team in the world. To the NA fans, sorry, but we're going to have to take the boys out. Introducing first from the lower bracket, coached by Nick, it's Joyo, Vatira, and Rise, Europe's last hope, Team Queso! Confident Queso coming out to face against one of the greatest North American teams we have ever seen on that home territory, on that home soil. The Queso boys are aiming to take it home. The greatest regional split we've ever seen in Europe. Two regional wins and a grand finals appearance, and now they can ice it with a major championship. These boys were tied ninth in fall. Now they're battling to be the very best in the world. They they were coined the last hope of Europe over the last few days here. I think that that is a little bit of an injustice to who they are right now. They are the champions of yeah. Europe going up against the best of North America. They're the number one seed coming from Europe, but each player on this team has stepped it up another level, which is insane because online this team has been absolutely dynamite. They've been phenomenal. And then they come to the major and you see players like Rise make one of the greatest saves we've seen in an international match. It's been unbelievable too, Baz. Right, man. Hey, man. I'm the first person they surprised. I did not expect them <laughs> to make it this far. I thought the land judges would bother them, but they're going up against a crowd that's not necessarily, not necessarily for them, and they're still proving it every single time. When they're going against rough, when they're going against tough, they always flush it out, and that's why they're here right now. Look at that young man, Vatera, right there. He's been popping off this horn that weekend. You got to give it to him, <laughs> and that's what it is, baby. The ice in their veins. Again, 12-2 and two on Champions <clears throat> Field in this split. 4-0 and oh in front of the crowd. These guys know how to perform Ooh. when it matters most. Every single Queso fan in the arena has to get up and be as loud as they can because Space Station Gaming, they have got loud fans. But Europe is also here to play. We heard you when they scored. We heard you when they were saving those shots. We need to hear you in this grand final. Team Queso on one side of things. On the other, the champions with the home field advantage, it's G2. For a team that hasn't played in front of a crowd and could have dealt with a lot of nerves, I thought we handled it honestly almost as well as we could have. Honestly, I'm super proud. We had a couple of hiccups, but that's gonna happen. But I thought we bounced back after each loss really well. So I think every day that goes on is getting better and better, and that's honestly something I like to see. Free to put a lot of extra pressure on G2 now. Tomic will just take some extra space with him down onto the blue side as. Oh! Oh! Three words to describe this major, G2 showing up. 
Uh, this major's been amazing. The crowd for a change in the past two years, it's been really good. I think our matches have been harder than we expected. The minor regions are really showing up big, so. Really, right now, Furia is doing a great job of nullifying the teamwork yes, yes. uh, from G2. They're gonna need one here, JNAP, and G2 on the board. Shout out to all the G2 fans that stuck with me for the five years I've been on G2, and I hope we can take it home for you. And coming from the upper bracket, coached by Sathu, the team of Atomic, Chicago, and G Naps! They are G2! America's last hover here, baby. You got Atomi, you got Chicago, and you got JNAP. They're coming from the upper bracket. Space Station Nation, I know SSG are gone, but we need you. The G2 Army needs you. I'm asking you to join <laughs> as the boys from G2 try to pop up and take it for North America. G2, the only undefeated team left. They took down BDS <laughs> you sound in tired, the upper Gibbs. bracket. <laughs> no, I'm just excited. I'm I think ready it's for the comparison. Match. Yeah, well, of course, space is so high energy. Okay. Aaron. G2, though, that upper bracket, a lot less games, but they've looked so dominant throughout this tournament. They have been one of the best North American sides we have ever seen, and they have had unbelievable competition for that title. Everybody in the audience is blowing us away with how much they want this North American victory. G2 have got to feed off that energy. Everybody in there already exploding. And G2's been waiting for a win. Season 7, they go up against Vitality, they lose their Season 9. They look like the best team in the world, but the World Championship got taken away. Now's the chance for them to get a title, CJ. Everyone doubted their ability on land, picking up Atomic. He, he was weak in the Sweden Major. He's come out in this Major and absolutely dominated JNAPS. Don't get me started on JNAPS G2. Unbelievable. This team could be the team to take down Queso, but the crowd, they're probably going to need you guys along the way. And Gibbs alluded to Season 7 World Championship. Vitality had the lower bracket run. They ended up being G2, but I'm here to tell you right now. That won't, that won't be the same case. The crowd will be back in NA. The crowd, the crowd will back that young man, Atomic, right there, the MVP of the tournament so far. And when it's all said and done, G2 will be hosting and winning the Winter Major. Oh, such a controversial roster move coming into the split, and they have silenced every doubter with Atomic. Yeah, to quote uh, Dazrin, worst roster move of all time, I believe. Sorry, wow. Daz, but uh, you did say that about the G2 move with Atomic, but Atomic. He's class. He's class. We were worried about in front of a crowd, but he has shown up. Well, the, the teams are on the stage. The teams are about to play in the grand finals with a bracket reset. We've seen that a few times. The thing that makes a difference here, Stax, is the crowd. Of course, the most important team of all, our family, here inside the YouTube theater. It is time to show the world we are ready for the grand finals. Sounds like they're ready. Sounds like they're ready indeed. And it's time for us to get ready and declare who we think is actually going to take this down. It's time to make some predictions about the grand finals of the Winter Major. Who's going to be the champions? Let us know who you think is going to be the winner at home with the Verizon fan vote. That's going to be coming up here in just a second. Use those hashtags in chat. Hashtag G2, hashtag TQ. They even rhyme. So nice. you got to make sure you're spelling <laughs> the correct one there. And we'll just go down the line here, gentlemen. I feel like I know how this is going to go, but for the sake of the record, Stumpy, who do you have winning? It's Europe's greatest team versus North America's greatest team, but I'm sorry, mate. EU's just taller. It's happening. <laughs> it is Queso. They've done a bracket reset before. They're going to do it again. Put me down as a Team Queso believer. CJ. Look, 
I understand the monumental task you have for Queso. Bracket reset, it is a tough thing to, a best of seven. To win two best of sevens against the best team coming out of North America right now, the most informed team G2 on land. It's a tough ask, but I tell you what, it would not matter how many times they have to beat them in a best of seven, how many best of sevens it's gonna take, because Queso will just keep coming back, they'll keep clutching up, they'll keep icing it, and they deserve this. They've been unbelievable in the lower bracket team. Queso, they're taking it all. It's two for Queso. Gibbs. <laughs> Bates, go ahead, go ahead. It'll be G2. It'll be, it'll, it will be G2, and I'm getting analytical for you. It'll oh. be G2 for one reason, one reason only. They won't let it go seven. Queso has been clutching oh. up all the time, saying, talking about all the nonsense. They're always 12 and 2 or during a winter split, 12 and, or 10 and 0 or something like that. This So far, this major, <laughs> but let me tell you right now, bro. G2 is like Michael Jordan, man. You don't let it go seven. You finish it in six. You finish your job. You don't even let the bracket reset happen. They've been good in, take... in game six, though. Queso. Huh? They've yeah. been 3 2 down twice in one game good. six as well. But G2 will finish it right here now. Mm -hmm. We'll see. They've so been good in games six, one to five as well. In six. In six. <laughs> So, so you got they're good in all the so games. So, T-Bates, about 28 <laughs> hours ago, I said G2 would win it all. About four hours ago, you said G2 would win it all. That's Come true. Come on. I would Dips. say Team K, so they get the bracket reset, but G2 wins this entire tournament. So I'm going, going G2. Going for the big mind games there. I'm not going to predict the games or bracket here. I'm just going <laughs> to say G2's got this. It's been a long time coming. It's time for G2 to hold a trophy or a medals in this situation. There's medals on the line for this one. Let's see how the fans felt at home. Right down the middle? No, not quite. Yeah, G2's army mm -hmm. showing up here. They're going to be the fan favorites at home. How does the crowd feel about it? Make some noise for Team Queso. If you want Team Queso to take this YouTube theater. Space Station Nation. V1, NRG fans, and everybody else in there. If you're an NA fan, if you want to see NA win, if you're rooting for G2, make some noise! They've got the home field advantage. They've got the online favorite advantage. Can they take it down in Los Angeles? It's G2 versus Queso in the Verizon Skybox for the final cast. James, Johnny, and Jordan. Queso have won the North American gauntlet and they've ended at their final station. One last bastion in North America to go. Can they repeat what Vitality did so many seasons ago? <laughs> well, Jarby, you know, we were both there for season <laughs> seven. And, you know, I know how that story ended. We've seen European teams run the gauntlet before and G2 be the team standing in their way. But this time, will it be a different story? We'll have to wait and see. I'm just alive and hoping for the best timeline. I'm still, I would want the bracket reset. We can flip a coin after that, but I'm all about the bracket reset here. Oh. And it's up to a very, very close start for G2. He's still rattling the woodwork. Something Queso have been so good at is striking first rise. Typically the one to put those balls in the back of the net so quickly. And that's what made has made Queso so difficult. That momentum so hard to fight against. G2 chance already starting. Rise puts this one down, immediately met by Jaina. Okay, so fearless, aggressive, despite the noise, so clearly against them in the arena, they don't hold back. But will that be their downfall? G2 have to look for those counter-attacking chances. They have to look for the bumps, and they got to get someone in net because Queso have just opened the scoring. A strong start for Queso, and it's Rise who puts it in. Rise has been scoring like no other. The only player out on the pitch averaging more than a goal a game, and he's beating everyone by a mile. Rise is having the tournament of his life, and in the biggest tournament that you can have, the biggest stage you can have, he's doing it. It's incredible how much he's stepped up in the tournament, especially when you consider in the regionals. We were talking all about Fatira, all about Joyo, but Rise, he even said himself during the season, he's just filling in the gaps. Well now Rise, he's the whole picture for Team Queso. And already G2, another shot. JNAPS, that one taken away. Another one taken off the post and back outside. Yeah, boost a bit low there for Team Queso, briefly. And there's a chance, but Matira's all over it. G2 circle back around, next shot's coming in. Joy is off the goal line, but another ridiculous save from Rise. And some good boost deals in the corner. You got JNAPS waiting out in the middle. Now his chance to pounce. Nice Ooh. 50 rebound, and that will get cleared out. G2 had a chance, but now have to retreat. Rise get the clear downfield, but it's Chicago back on the return. Got to win another 50, and Joyo gets in the way. Got the catch on the recovery. But G2 
Solid defense to get the ball back down beyond the midfield line. Tens moments here for G2. Starting to get a close look at the blue net, but no success yet. Again, a bit close to each other on the field. They conceded by triple committing to one area. We just saw two players moving into the same space in the far corner. They've got to be careful with their extensions here. They can make this happen. It's been their strategy for the longest time. But the hard hits of Queso need to be something that they're thinking about. G2 trying to take away the boost game from Queso. Have to have a couple of catches, but G2 might have a lead on the bump, but can't get the shot on target. Rise will pop it up, keep it away from that G2 rotation. Still looking for a clear. G2 trying to crash the box up high. JNAPS. Well, he's going to get dunked out by Joyo, and now Queso are back the other way. Got oh, the, and boost the boost. deal and the rebound, but no bump. Rip, ripped it back around. Rise wicks wide, and it's taken away. And Rise only had a shot on that ball because he was able to get that boost. Oh. Now a chance going across the middle. But you saw Rise getting airborne. When you're in that race for those boosts in the corner, you want to be that higher car. That gives you a better chance at actually stealing that corner boost. Well played there by Rise. Yeah, great 50-50 game for Team Queso as we enter the last two minutes of game number one. Looking very solid after a good bit of G2 pressure that came before it, but here come G2 yet again. j -Naps gets it into the backboard. That's a tough read for Vatira. He makes it. Another 50 from Chicago, and it's taken away. Queso have gotten to that 50. If it doesn't work the first time, they've gotten it as the third man. G2 getting stuffed right now, despite having some decent possessions in the blue half. Rise, drops it straight down back to Joyo, high off the backboard, but Vatira's going to wait. And he's got someone downfield to contend with. That's Chicago, pops it up. All of G2 close together on this rotation. Rise punches it back down to the orange half. So it looks like Chicago playing jackpot there, trying to steal that ball. Now we see Rise, nice flick. Atomic safely hitting that off to the corner. G2, they haven't figured out this stingy Team Queso defense who's getting up so quick to challenge those high balls in the midfield. It's all about reading the 50s. Now, long clear will go there, but Matira is there for it. Quick attempt to read the sidewall by his ruined stomach, misses. Clean back pass by Chicago. Matira is going to pounce on the attempted clear less than 50 seconds for G2 to work with. Not many chances coming their way. Queso closing it down. Joyo moves it across the box. j -Nap's trying to keep that one close, and he does over to Chicago. Chicago driving through Rise on the play. Matira trying to keep the ball beyond midfield. Gets the dunk, pushes one out of the way. The rest of Queso have to wait, though. G2's rotation, solid. They can't overcommit on these plays. Rise on the stealing, no boost. It's going to be taken away. But you see Rise forcing Atomic to go up on low boost. That's going to allow his teammates to come in and possess. But that demo could make things even more difficult. And you see everyone from Team oh. Queso has been able to catch it. But a rare miss. Rise fumbled the ball, giving G2 a slight window. But now the final seconds ticking away. G2 about to be shut out. G2, another challenge knocked away. Timeout, but the pass. Chicago's got no boost. There's nothing he can do. He was hoping it would drop down, but Queso will take game one. They knew it wasn't going to be easy. G2 have got to get going soon, though. Those final two games of every series that Queso have played since losing their opening match to the tournament to version one, they've been 100%. They've not lost a game four or five when they were against FaZe and NRG in the group stage and round one in the lower bracket. Then it became best of sevens. They're winning every game six and seven. This is so important for G2 to start moving, start creating chances. It looks like they're struggling to get the read on Queso's challenges. They're getting dunked on, they're losing the 50-50 game. And you know, I, I hate to say it, but it's something we've seen before. Sandrog were able to do this to them in the Sweden Major as well. G2 have been a different team this weekend. It's been a far cry from that team we saw in Sweden. They can step up. They, they can step up. We've seen them do it before. You know, JNAPS, Chicago, they've been doing this for a while. JNAPS especially has been in these big moments. He's won a major before. But when it comes to RLCS, this is the biggest stage. Chicago and JNAPS, they've been close. And Atomic is the one piece of the puzzle that's supposed to get them that trophy. But we saw domination from Team Queso. Johnny, you talked about the defense from Queso. They were getting up so early. G2 was not able to get any infield passes, which is really what they look for to kickstart their offense. Back underway in game number two. Notably quiet was Atomic in that first game. They're gonna have to find a way to get him online. G2 will start again in the blue half. 
Matira oh, pushes wow. this one out. A nice move. He's been doing stuff like that all week. That's impossible to read. Matira trying to go all the way himself. Atomic able to get a nice challenge after his teammate in front of him forced Matira to flick the ball towards the goalkeeper. So nice little team up there in defense from G2. This is not looking pretty oh, awkward oh. for them. All of Kaysno committing oh, for this oh, one. Oh. They're all so far forward. This is something we see from Kaysno more than any other team. They're all right next to the opposition goal, but somehow they still end up recovering and stopping any counter. And, and what you saw there was every single player low on boost on the field. So Kaysno draining the defense. What? what? <laughs> I'm just sorry, he was dude. levitating. I mean. <laughs> sorry, you were saying something, James, but then I just saw his joy floating. Well, you know, it's, it's <laughs> tough to not be speechless when key, Team Queso's offense starts to make some plays. I was talking to CJ CJ about it, and he says, you know, you see G2 make some great plays once in a while, but Team Queso seems to do it every single series so consistently. Just so explosive with their offense, and they gel so well together. Each individual talent on this team is a force on their own, but when you put them together, they're so much greater than uh -oh. the individual part. Uh -oh. Is that one pushed across? And Rise is going to send it back for a pass, but Tira back over to the corner. Queso continuing to deplete the G2 defense. I guess this is what half-court Rocket League looks like. The <laughs> thing is, like, Queso don't actually have a lot of boost for a lot of that attack. And they are going to step too far forward. G2 sniped the long shot. And you had to wonder if this is going to happen eventually, because yeah. look how Miss far touch. pressed up the field Queso are. And maybe they got too comfortable. They had such a long attack. Rise. Thought he was going to have some space, a bit overconfident. That first touch got too far away from him, and he gave away that goal. So a rare mistake from Rise gives G2 their first lead That's of the two. series. And now it will get extended by JNAX. G2 starting to download Queso here in game two. All it takes is some midfield cannon <laughs> and another goal for Naps. JNAPS, one of the most legendary strikers in the game. Of course, he hits the bottom corner off the post on. What is a partially open net? He always wants to make it perfect. G2 up two in game two. Now Kesto, they did have that long stint in the orange half. Now they have to stabilize and really think about their rotations. How deep that third man is. Where are G2 positioned? You can't count on every single touch. G2 will punish you just like any other of the best. That one popped up across the board, and wow. Rise will put it in, splitting the lead. And you saw Atomic trying to make a play on this ball. The tier up, up against <laughs> two, getting an insane 50. Atomic was stretching for it, no <laughs> chance. And Rise able to clean it up. Vitira, I don't know how he was able to go up 2v1 so and what, still what get that three ball almost. I mean, he, he got underneath the ball to pop it over the third man. No, actually, going to be a counter oh. kickoff goal. Rise, oh. no, going to get it past JNAPS. JNAP's all over the place in game two. He's sinking them, he's saving them, and putting G2 in a good spot here. The halfway point on Forbidden Temple. Batira keeping it close. Not a lot of boost, what a pass, and it's taken away. And we saw what Rides was thinking about, trying to delay his touch, let the defense dive in. He'll go around him, now his shot will come in and easily saved. But you have to keep your eyes peeled for that from Keiso. Oh, wow. They're more than happy to collect that ball, even on the offensive end, and try to get that dive in from the defense so they have an open net. Just like we saw G2 scoring a clear, we almost saw that from Keiso. It was in fact open, but luckily for G2, the wall clear, it's much harder to hit than just a ground shot. Keiso not able to connect with it, but that's another open net. Oh. Huge mistake from G2. G2 had the lead and it's gone away in an instant off the corner. That's not the touch you want, and Rise punishes. And you saw Atomic actually got bumped at the mid boost, which slowed down that third man rotation. A critical bump slowing down G2, trying to get back, and Team Queso are right into this one. A game they started out putting all the pressure on, and they recover nicely. And I think if there's one thing you can say about Team Queso, is that they recover nicely no matter what the situation. It's a big demo. Stopping the Queso pressure, giving G2 a chance to break free here, looking for boost to the side because it's all taken from their half. Queso oh. actually have two players out of the game here. It's going to deflect harmlessly into the corner. G2 are there to try and get it back into the middle. It's just going side to side across the Queso box. Nothing going for G2 yet. Bouncer in the midfield line. Vitira somehow just comes up with the touch. Chicago fighting for possession. And now Rise forced back. Vitira racing back as well. Pass from Atomic. And in front, taken away by Vitira. Just knocking out that pass. G2 forced back. Oh. A demo on the back side, but Rise gets the clear. No power. That was a complete fluff on what should have been a power shot. 
Something G2 have been hitting every single time this weekend. Oh, oh they get one! And Jane has the credit for it. I mean, <laughs> sure, Jane has, you deserve it. Go ahead, dive in on the goalie, controlling that. And you're seeing Ooh, that actually did Vatira. slow down Vatira. He yeah. cut off Vatira's path to the ball. Vatira, whether there was contact or not, had to hit the brakes. Because if he doesn't, he's getting bumped. Yeah, that's has, huge. And, and Jane has having that vision. And we saw SSG do that quite a bit with success. As you go, once you're out of the play on the ball, just stay in and go for the goalie. Dive. Try to prevent them from being able to even have a lane on the save. The thing that was difficult for Space Station to do, though, was to keep doing it consistently throughout the whole series. G2 are going to have to keep, just keep pushing it and keep having those consistent demos if they want to keep getting by Queso. Otherwise, they're going to have to keep contending with this as Atomic screens across for a save. The positioning key for Atomic there. He had somebody trying to chase him down, but managed to get away. Not only making the save, but clearing the ball as well. Good read on the bounce on the back wall as well. JNAPS continues it onwards. Wow, what a difficult read. And the demo. That ball was blasted off the backboard. And Joyo made it look routine from the save. And then also the demo. But now a chance. A low Ooh. challenge. JNAPS Still. trying to slow it down. Now Atomic trying to extend the lead. Pushed up across. Rise. Got the clear. Two commit from G2. Is there a Queso player available? No. They have to jump back, make the touch happen. Vatira gonna come back. Rai's gonna take the push. All the Queso trying to move up on this. Vatira got it, but G2 tied the series. That is so huge for G2. If Queso win that game, we're guaranteed game six, even if G2 come back to be three to ahead. And that's where Queso have been completely indestructible. This gives G2 a chance to really build some momentum. Not only that, they Kind of threw away a 2-1 lead. JNAPS yeah. <laughs> completely gave away a goal. The first one that was just brilliant from Vatira, uh, from Vatira but JNAPS the one who created that winning goal, just stopping Vatira on the goal line, denying him any chance to challenge the ball, getting G2 back in front. Yeah, that was a massive play from JNAPS. And like you said, this game's so important for G2. They really have not played as much Rocket League as Team Queso has <laughs> over this weekend. <laughs> Topping out their group, staying in the upper bracket, G2. You can't forget about that. They need to get warm. They have not yeah. been able to have as much recent stage experience getting in this environment and getting comfortable. Team Queso has played so many games. They've experienced so much stress. And if they've got the gas, it's good for them. But at what point does Team Queso run out of energy? I don't think they will. I don't think G2 win this. This case will get out of energy. If G2 do win this, I don't want to hear anybody trying to cope by saying case will run out of energy. <laughs> These guys play Rocket League all day. This is nothing to them. The crowd is feeding the, the, the energy to the teams as we speak. If case will, are going to fall, it's because G2 were the better team. It's all about momentum. And stuffing Queso in game two does wonders for G2 to stint the momentum that Queso have built into this grand final. But they have to start stacking those wins if they really want to push that pressure against Queso. Queso already on the kickoff, starting the threat. Joyo sends that one across the corner. But G2's defense has been solid. Now on sending across, Vatira is able to take it out. Lovely control by Vatira as well. But the bumps from G2 are continuing to work. Atomic's there for the first goal. You saw multiple defenders in net, but this is where the pace comes in. Atomic, a free shot. You need to hit these. You see multiple defenders in net, and it's still almost saved. Atomic, though, enough power to get it through. And even if it was saved, it would have been a quality rebound opportunity. G2 need more of that if they hope to take this series. Get those high rebounds where Team Queso's defense is grounded and look for those shots. Of course, Team Queso into position to respond. Queso have not been able to control the game as fluidly as they would like, as we've seen in previous series. Atomic. That one comes across, and Vatira trying to come up with a touch. Oh, so good at bump. getting those awkward touches. Joyo up a little early for that one, and Rise can pull it down. Yeah, the team case was so good at calling these fakes. Joyo just floating there, making G2 think he's going to hit the ball, but he's calling that he's leaving it for Rise the entire time. They've scored off that same strategy multiple times this event. Something G2 have to watch out for. Vatira oh, off the ceiling again, and just can't get a solid touch there. Joyo's gonna play a deep third man for Queso. Vatira getting up so high, so early on that challenge. And it's best, oh, somehow getting around the first defender. Whoa. And Vatira what? able to, I thought this was shut down by G2 on the first challenge, but Rise had JNAPS fly right by him. Another miss from Atomic, and then 
Chicago didn't even jump on that challenge. Yeah, it's a bit of hesitation there by Atomic. He's in an awkward position. He's tied onto the play. He doesn't immediately go for the ball, and that just makes it so confusing for Chicago. He certainly thought that JNAPS was going to get a hit on that first challenge, and after that miss, it threw everything off. But now G2 on the attack. That's the thing about k is it doesn't really matter if sending the house doesn't work. I don't think they know how to not send the house. <laughs> you always got to be prepared for it if you're G2. That one's sent above the backboard, and another win for Chicago. Decided not to use all his boosts to chase that ball down. And JNAPS met on the 50 by Joyo. G2, quick shot, saved oh. by Matira. That save actually goes clear partially. Oh. Gives Joyo time to get the third save. They still need to do more oh. though. G2 have got the ball stuck in the blue box. Oh, and a nice bump as well. Chicago tangling up on the backboard. G2, excellent assault so far. And a nice boost snag. Chicago on the control. Flicking it to the corner to keep possession. JNAPS picking this one up off the ceiling. Queso trying to wrench the ball away. And they finally do for now, but can they actually get beyond the midfield line? Well, the touch is going to be wow. G2's up high, back over to JNAPS and taken away by Queso. Atomic just subtly dodging another bump there, which had he not done, would have resulted in another Queso goal. These little demo dodges proven to be massive for G2. And they're actually landing their bumps to the other end of the field. Roll the cross again, and JNAPS just booms it downfield. Rise getting deleted. Not before he could get that clear. tier has got the next catch, but G2. Well known for that impressive offense, but here comes Rise underneath, and it's taken away by Chicago. Big chance here for Chicago. He doesn't have a lot of boost, but he's going for the dunk. Nice save from Vatira. Not for the first time this game. Still all tied. In a game which I feel like G2 need more, you've got to think that Kaysa are going to keep coming back as they have in countless series this tournament. But one thing that has been a positive for G2 is how much possession that they've had. Last game we saw Team Queso, a majority of the possession. But now G2, the one taking it to Queso. However, the defense has been so strong. We've seen so many incredible saves out of Team Queso all weekend long. And this is another tight one. Chicago. Launching Focus. that one back over to JNAPS. The corner po popped up again. Atomic might have the dish. Trying Ooh. to move it around, but it's stolen away. <laughs> and just getting back to that ball was Joya. I love this possession focus from G2. They're just going side to side. They're not taking bad shots. There's no point shooting from some of the positions that they're in. So they're not doing that. They're just running across and stealing the boost. They're making this extremely difficult for Queso. And all those big 50s, all those huge interceptions Queso have been making, no longer working, and now the best chance to the game. Oh. Great jump save by Vatira. And Atomic needed to place that one better. Vatira, he was able to scope out that car language from Atomic, get in the right spot, and keep this one even. A massive save yet again. But that might be G2's chance. They're going to look back at that one and wish they hit it. A hard push from Queso to put them back in G2 territory near the end of regulation. Atomic flipping that over one. He does get by Vatira. Last man back is Rise, facing some pressure, oh avoids one, and able to pull that ball out. Rise again delivering, and he pulled the ball up to Vatira, it's taken away, and the rebound won't come, G2 get out. Brilliant reverse dodge of a demo by Rise, and then continuing to air dribble the ball clear as well. You always get an extra touch with both these teams on the field. No one on the infield for Queso, G2 easily clear. Will be controlled for Queso in the back corner, but what can G2 do? Pushed again by Joyo. That might be a shot for G2. Just Ooh. wide, and Vatira can put it away. Ball still in the air. High ball up high. Here comes G2. Queso trying to get that ball down, and they do. We go to overtime. Scary overtime here, especially for G2. They had that chance from Atomic to hit that shot. That game would have been over. And now they're giving Team Queso a chance for some magic in overtime. Team Queso. Starting things off aggressively as ever. They've double committed. G2 have got a brilliant chance, but again, it'll be denied by saves from Team Queso. They had the pressure in both the games we've seen before this, but G2 have been all over them in game three. Queso relying on their goalkeeper. Joyo getting the ball across. Matira White steals the ball away from Chicago. G2 looking for a clear out. And they might get it here on the transition. Up high off the backboard. Stepped across. There was a touchback. What, Joyo? Able to find the read. He's got a lot of boost, and he gets it over one G2 attacker. And you see, on the other side of the field, one Queso member trying to harass the G2 defense. Matira launches it downfield. G2 able to withstand that pressure. Don't let that transition catch them off guard. And Joyo gets another clear. And you did see a bump on that rotation back. Atomic needs to get a challenge, does. 
stop Rise. Rise is the player you want to shut down. Viteria will give up possession. Now a chance for the counter, but you see that a demo off ball going to slow things down. And Atomic, Atomic has been so good when he's had the Team Queso team barreling down on him, keeping his composure, slowing the ball down, buying time for his teammates. But that's not going to be enough. It's going to need some offense to close this one out. Tira's defense this game has been on another level. G2 not overextending. Oh. They are being very careful with their pressure here. You always notice they've got a third man. They're not sending everybody. They're still creating threatening chances without committing their full team. Something Queso really don't do. They send everybody when they're in attack. G2, here they come again. The ball's taken away by Rise. Pop shot high off the crossbar, grabbed. Here's Joyo, only 18 in the tank. He's gonna let it fall, pop it up again high. Joyo moving the ball downfield. Rise next up, Matira on the wing, but it's taken away by Chainapps, and Queso gotta try again from their own corner. It might be dangerous off the ceiling, and it's taken away by Rise, but it's still oh. G2 ball, wait, nope. Atomic had to rotate back around, just a bit of a mishap, and that might be Queso's door in. That one off the bar, oh, and it's, oh, no, it's open, go! Oh! Queso win! And a shake of the head from Atomic. He jumped up to block a shot and ended up knocking the ball in the air instead. I mean, he had to do something. And you have to get a touch, he like had you to. said, because Rise was coming in. If, if Atomic doesn't touch that ball, Rise is still taking the shot. Yep. So Atomic was able to slow down the shot, but nobody from G2 was able to utilize that time to get into position to make that save. And oh, Johnny... Seven saves from Atira. <laughs> What do you do? And then one of those saves was an Atomic save with about 40 seconds left. Atomic had a 1v1 situation, Vitira in net, and he sh and Vitira was able to beat him, predicting where Atomic took that shot. That could have been the difference. That could have been G2 winning right there. This is, dan this is dangerous. It for wasn't G2. them winning. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't. <laughs> could have been, but it wasn't. I'm sorry, guys. I know everybody was waiting for that, it. But that's kind of the, the, what it feels like right now for all of it. Hey, you know, you, you could have won against Queso, but you just don't. You didn't. They're well. so good. Or okay, Queso continue <laughs> to silence this crowd. And without that crowd energy behind G2, it, it's, it's going to be difficult to build that momentum back up. The more Queso shut down this G2 offense, the quieter the crowd is, the harder it's going to be for G2 to fight back in this series. Well, I don't think the crowd, the crowd is going to settle down at all, Jarvie. I think if one thing we've learned this weekend, <laughs> it doesn't matter how badly G2 are getting beaten, they score, everybody's going to be on their feet. They're backing them big time. And they've really just gotten better and better as the weekend's gone on. I do not think it's going to bother Queso, though. I think it will lift up G2, certainly. Queso are just plowing on through against every single crowd that wants to see them lose. It hasn't mattered. There are some teams who rise to the occasion in those situations. Queso have been one of those teams. They've faced every Titan in North America so far. There are some teams who rise Joy over Tira. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> on midfield, Joyo. Let that ball drop for Vatira. Vatira flips it over. Joyo in front, actually moving back. Rise, far shot, right side, goal. And Rise continuing to do what he's done all weekend long. And that slot, the shot. Again, Atomic not able to get the best hit on a clear, but we're seeing G2 be pressed so far back that it's a panic touch. And the panic touch goes right to awaiting Team Queso. And a lot of times, awaiting Rise, who has been Scoring every single ball roll in his way, it seems. He's a predator. He's had that instinct. He knows when to move in, whether he's making the demo to set someone up, whether he's following up on one of the setups from his teammates. That's why he's the top goal scorer of the tournament per game. Only player over one goal, as far as I'm aware. At what point did G2 start to second guess themselves? Because they've been the informed team this weekend. But you've got to remember, I think JNAPS is probably the best Rocket League player to never win an RLCS LAN. I think Chicago might be the best player to never win a LAN. And Atomic had that fall major performance that we were all doubting coming into this one. This weekend has been brilliant for them, but Queso are just sending blow after blow. And how strong does your mental have to be to ignore all that and just continue trying your best to get a win against them? Midfield, still trying to grab possession. G2 have to catch another one on the backboard. This one's Chicago. Pinched underneath, but almost got dunked. Jane Apps able to push that ball out. Here's Rise again. Dropping that ball back down to Fatira. 
Queso trying to get stepped back up, pass in the middle, but first it was G2 there. And Joyo could actually get to this touch. 46 in the tank. Flip reset to keep going. Oh, Joyo squeezes Whoa! it in and it's done. Raymond's coming though, and Matira has to turn around. <laughs> what did we just witness? The ball was stationary on the goal line. I'm getting deja vu. They froze it. Are we, <laughs> playing, that before. Are we playing Rumble? <laughs> I don't understand. Just, that, that was the craziest post pinch that I've ever seen. The fact that the ball just didn't move. You're expecting it to either shoot out one way or the other. It just froze. Insane. Halfway through the net. Queso. Pulling this ball out. Rise. Trying to push it back down. And that could have been great insurance. Here it comes again. Shot denied by Choyo. Flipping it back around. Oh, that's an opening. Matera sees it, just wants to make it awkward for Chicago. Off the backboard, it's going to be Rise. Setting it down, but there's nobody available for Queso just yet. Matera scoops that ball out, gets pushed out, and G2 can get downfield. About two minutes left, they still need a goal. The crowd is stunned. G2 need them now more than ever. We get into the business end of a series. Queso have peaked every single time, and we're headed there, regardless of the outcome of this game. Come back from 3-1 would be something special from G2, and they can't even get the ball away from their box right now. Popped up again. It's Rise winning another 50. It's Joyo keeping it going. It's Joyo destroying G2's defense. Queso up by two. Team Queso, they're a train going down the tracks that doesn't look like they can be stopped. Oh my. Everybody clipping, everybody rising to the occasion. Regardless of the way, whether the crowd's behind them or not, these guys look like the three strongest competitors that we've seen play Rocket League in quite some time. Immaculate vibes. Unreal composure. Against all odds, Team k are making it happen. The G2 at the other end of the stage are still talking to each other. You need to in these situations. You can't be silent. You can't just wait for the next kickoff while the other team are celebrating a goal. G2 are communicating. They're doing what they have to do. But can they put it together on the pitch? They're going to try to push right here. That's pushed across the corner. Vatira going to squeeze that ball back out. Queso. Staying behind the ball. Vatira trying to find a pass. G2 needs some kind of explosion on offense. It might start here with Atomic. Just can't get it going. They've been stuffed on every touch. This one, again, stolen oh. away. All of G2 gone on the play. This one's going to be tough. Rise gets it across, and Joyo diving, but couldn't find the mark. Yeah, and you saw it too, Johnny. That net was wide open. If that clear was on target, would have been another goal for Team K. So G2 running out of time, Ooh. and again denied by an epic save on the goal line. Team K. So has been stingy. A great attack there by Atomic, but goalkeeping has been so impressive from Queso. Oh. And they've already got the offense. We knew that coming into this grand final. But the last game and this one, we're starting to see they've got the saves as well. They've got the ice in defense. It's inevitable they're going to be put on defense and they're playing against G2 Esports. Dunk from Joyo on the 50. Pushed across. G2 don't have any time left on the clock. And they're going to be put in danger of a bracket reset. Here comes Rise. Pushes it forward. Wastes more time off the clock. And it's nigh impossible now for G2. Team Queso have ransacked their way through this bracket. Chicago gets a goal at the end of the game, but it's Queso who take the win. I know you two guys already mentioned it. You're going to remember the last time G2 played <laughs> yeah. in an RLCS line final against an EU team who were running through the bracket. What, ha what happened? They lost 4-1. Oh. And we're on track for it right now, but they've wisely called a timeout here. They're going to try and figure this one out. This is the, the benefit of having that second attempt. They still need to reset the bracket here, but G2 have to make it as difficult as possible, even if you feel like at this point, okay, this is going to be hard. We have to win three straight. That's that's really tough against Queso. My goodness, look at that save from Chicago. Oh, there was a as well. up as well. <laughs> that. that was that was the scrappiest <laughs> save that I think I've ever seen. That's like the closest to a, like a scrum, like a Rocket League scrum that I've ever seen, <laughs> with so many cars just trying to force the ball to go somewhere. It just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, that was an insane save on the goal line. Ended up not really making a difference. Team Queso locking down their goal line, making epic save after epic save, and. You, even in the green room, Johnny, we're talking, you know, G2's going through the upper bracket. You'd think that all of the, the NA fan casters, fan people would be like, 
confident here, but at, this was maybe the first time in a grand final where I felt like the team that made it through the upper bracket feels like an underdog from how good the lower bracket team has looked. Team Queso has looked unreal. They have looked unstoppable, and they are showing it out there yet again. Now just one game away from resetting this bracket and maybe four games away from winning it all. Well, I tried to tell everybody, you know, Queso's a real deal. They're the team. If they if they beat NRG, they're the team who are going to make this run. I really felt like the winner of that is the best chance of making the run, NRG or Queso. They've got the experience for making those lower bracket runs. It ended up being Queso. They've done it. And, you know, you got to try and filter out all that yap and you hear from T-Base and listen to the truth. Queso are the truth. <laughs> and yeah. they're going to reset this bracket by looks of things. But... Like I said on the desk earlier on today, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. G2 have been unbelievably impressive this weekend. I didn't think they were going to be able to put that together after looking so flat in the fall major, albeit on separate rosters in Atomic's case. They really need to produce the absolute best right now. Like I was saying before, they have to make this difficult. If it's 4-1, Queso are going to be so confident going into that second game. But if G2 can get one, if they can get two, if they can get it into game six or seven, and then Queso win, at least it will show more resistance. It all starts here. In game five. One more game for Team Queso. Can they get the bracket reset? Or can G2 extend the match a little further? We're underway on Wasteland. Queso, looking for that fourth win. Joyo gonna pop that up, Rise. Just gonna backflip out and recover. And actually push the ball forward for Queso. Can they get set up on offense? G2 looked like they might have it, but then Batira takes it away. Must win game for G2. Stop the Queso momentum. The manner in which they just lost the last game, with their balls glued to their goal line, not resulting in a goal, and they still get completely destroyed. It really shows just how big of a hole they're in right now, but they've had the time out, they've talked about it. Let's see what they've got planned. Joyo now, flying through there, <laughs> not making contact, but we've talked to them about this. He's probably calling, he's faking that yesterday. Yeah, you're going he, up early. His team know, and the other team don't necessarily know what Joyo's up to. And it has worked. And you even look at that situation where he wasn't close to making a play on the ball, but still they're able to recover so well, get back on the d defensive half and make plays, and then set up the counter. Team Queso, no matter how far upfield they are, it always seems like they've got a plan to get back, conserving boost, being able to to have that one player back who can buy the time and make those mechanical stops. This one pushed across, G2 oh. taken away. I feel like that's the first like real opportunity in about 10 minutes of play that we've seen from G2. That one taken away easily by Queso. Queso okay, using every trick in their book. They're mind gaming so many times. Fake aerials, not really a thing many teams have tried to use. Thing of pride for Rocket League pros to hit every area you go for, but Joyo, former freestyler, knows that there can be art in the mist. You gotta go for it. And man, has Queso been going for it? And surprisingly, hitting most of their crazy plays. We've seen so many clips, so many highlights against the best defenses in the world. And it has elevated their gameplay. When you hit a clip like that too, Johnny, Ooh. you know it takes the gas out of your opponents. Queso starting to threaten here. Ryan's grabbing that midfield boost. Got the 50. Queso back on this play. They get the touch, but that's going to help out G2 on the 50. JNAPS gets the first touch. Tries to screen across the Queso defense. Atomic keeping on the reset, keeping control. And he's been pretty quiet for G2 overall. But this time is able to keep his team locked in the blue half. And of course, Joyo eventually getting the clear. And one area where Atomic was excelling this major was a sift. And it was to JNAPS. JNAPS throughout the regionals was not the lead scorer. You know, he was kind of trailing on his team, but so far this major, he has been the leader. And they need some of that right now. JNAPS has to hit something. Popped up by Joyo. The Nets uh -oh. wide open. Queso, two minutes remain, and they have the lead. That is not the resistance that the G2 fans were hoping for. That is not the goal that the G2 fans wanted to see an explosion in. But there's still two minutes and eight seconds left in game five for G2 to do something about it. They have to dig deep here. They have to just go all out and attack at this moment. But they've had so many issues oh. figuring out Team oh. Queso. Oh, Team Queso 
whether they're on offense or defense, they're making plays. These guys have got ice in their veins. And now, a narrow miss. G2 still in it, though. We've seen them rise to these occasions before, get these infield passes. They need something, and they really, truly need to activate JNAPS, who's been the reason they're even in these grand finals in the first place. Yeah, it's the passing that's missing. You know, I talked to a lot of the teams this weekend, and they highlighted G2's passing as the key to their victory. It's the thing that they really were doing better than anyone else. Every G2 touch seems to be towards a teammate, but in this series, many G2 touches have gone towards a Team Queso player. And they've got to start connecting together now more than ever. G2 met again on the challenge. Rise underneath on the reset. He's got enough boost to chase it. He got bumped by Joyo. And somehow, Queso always seemed to make that work. Whether they just come in midair together, if they bump into each other, the ball still moves forward. But now they're being pushed back. Chicago's not going to be able to get to it. Matira tried to catch that ball out. Atomic gets on top of him. Chicago pops it up over one. Chicago taken away by Rise. Has frozen on the backboard. Here they come. G2 looking for the shot. Oh, it's gone! Ooh. Chicago scores! That's huge. And it is Atomic with the goal participation, as it always does. Chicago beating Vatira to the punch. Tying the game inside the final minute. G2, 44 seconds left before another overtime, and we saw what Team Queso was able to, to do in that. Team Queso has been lights out when the pressure's on. G2, again, Chicago, downfield, just on to again, Chicago! Another goal for G2! Oh, look at that, Chicago having to hit this fadeaway shot <laughs> near post. That what's, was nasty. What's that shot by Chicago? That looked unbelievably difficult, but G2 have put in two goals in 11 seconds after scoring none for the longest time. Now they lead with not much time left. Queso threatening to respond around the corner. Pushed across, but Sierra's not going to find a path out. And instead, G2 get another clear. Queso, one, maybe two pushes left with time. Here they come, Rise drops it down to Joyo and it's taken away. Fatira next up, comes down on the ground, Janax takes him off the field. G2 rushing down the pitch, pulling off on the play. They know they just gotta put the ball on the ground, maybe into the net. Catch and a run by Queso. Here they come, Joyo going for the bump and it's taken down. G2 survives. If you saw the creativity there in those final moments, trying to get an air dribble buff, leave it for a teammate to take the shot. Didn't pan out for Team Queso, but this one turned around pretty quickly for G2. You started to lose up. You're thinking, all right, let's start planning about the next series after the bracket reset, but G2, and specifically Chicago says, hold up, I think I can pull something out. Man, he did. Yeah, pure positioning and just knowing where to be on the field in both these goals as well. Chicago had to use the mechanics for that last goal as well, though. The first one is speed and positioning. Second one, positioning again, but then that excellent finishing touch. G2 not going to lose 4-1 this time. And you talked about the passing game. Wasn't on lock for G2 earlier in this series. And that pass to Chicago, that is the G2 that makes them so difficult to beat. They have to keep that up. And you saw, the, you heard the crowd just explode when Chicago hit that goal. And G2 feel that. But now Queso, this is where things start to get difficult. If this turns into a grind, they could be in danger. But this is usually where they're clutch. Well, every time they've gotten to game six in the lower bracket, they've been losing 3-2. They've won every game six, but now they're ahead. So this is different for Queso. They don't necessarily have to bounce back yet, but <laughs> they're on their last life. <laughs> Going to game seven would be terrifying. Uh, you know G2. what? Maybe T Bates is right. Maybe G2 won't let it go <laughs> in seven <laughs> games. If they lose this one here, Team Queso <laughs> has been unstoppable. And G2, if they do win this, though, that that complicates the situation. G2, they just have to win this series. And you can imagine that boost of momentum, energy, hype, mentality. It's gonna be firing on all cylinders for G2 if they can find a way to win this in Force Game 7. And I know that the scorebook is fixed at 440. <laughs> Vatira are gonna push that one out. Actually, he's gonna oh, get a chance wow. to whiff from G2. And G2 are lucky Chicago is ready for the state. It, it, you have to watch out for that from Queso. They've done it so many times this weekend where they have someone in position to take the shot when there's a defense oh, wow. in net and they opt to go for the fake. Well, that's a couple of times this game that G2 have really 
not put it together. A couple of miss hits and a double commit as well, but nothing going into their net. That's the main thing. We also have a double commit from Team K, so both teams looking extremely nervous, extremely jumpy in game six. Popped up. This might be a chance, but no. Rise is immediately there to meet it. Forces JNAPS back. Protects both boost midfield and corner. G2 can get out. You see Queso respecting that clear potential. And JNAPS puts it back downfield. Underneath Vatira. Might be a chance for Chicago. He's got one to contend with off the ceiling and immediately met at the punch. Atomic. Not able to get around that ball, but actually able to get the back pass. Forces Rise to come forward. But that's still has put G2 in an awkward spot, missing that ball at midfield, still trying to battle out from it. Oh, backflip from Rise. He's out of position. G2 aren't able to capitalize, and now there might be a bump happening uh -oh. from Matira. Oh! There it is. Rise, long shot, goes in. But credit to Matira, who landed the bump way near, up high in the air. Somebody call the mechanic. They're going to need fix. <laughs> See you later. Team Queso take the lead. And you saw the instant recognition, Johnny. You saw Atomic down there in the corner and a blue car. And you're already thinking, oh, it's coming. And that was a nice bump in a really huge moment. Team Queso, this is their chance to lock down this first series. We'll see if they can hold on to the lead this time. Rise, putting that ball up to the side. G2. Plenty of time to get things going. And they've been able to hold Queso to one for a while and respond in this series. Know they're capable of it. Know how to win this game. Rise flipping across. There's been a lot of attempted physical play. A lot of avoidance. A lot of pops up. Another oh bump. My. And Queso are getting dirty. Two goals. Well, this is something we've seen from Queso all tournament long. The bump's connecting, immediately followed up by a goal. But actually, before this game, the series was pretty clean from them. I think they caught G2 off guard with a much cleaner game. And now they're going back to what they've been doing all tournament long. They are smashing G2 in defense. G2, still a lot of time for them, but you don't want things to get out of sorts. And as it is, Atomic, the post helps them out, splits the lead. And G2, they've been magnificent on kickoffs, finding opportunities immediately after the ball's in motion, and they do it again here. Critical goal, plenty of time left for G2, and now they've recovered. They've stopped the bleeding, and they're back in it. Vault pack last game. They're fighting back this game. The placement on their shots has been perfect. All three of the goals they've scored between this game and the last. Can they keep it up? Nice catch by Joyo. Get the next 50 out. G2 trying to get those bumps on the back line. But they can't really get the 50. You see them diving at these challenges, trying to catch Queso out on rotations. But Joyo clean flips it over what? one. Joyo <laughs> flips it back to Rise, who gets to that 50. And just when you think G2 start to catch Queso out on defense, they somehow come to the challenge. This confidence from Joyo, he's dribbling in defense. He's dribbling in front of his own net. They're on a one goal lead. Why is he taking that risk? Oh wait, it's because it's Team Queso, it's Joyo. Oh. And now it's Rise at the other end of the field, followed up by Joyo. Oh. What a save! Oh. Matira's gonna be there! G2 really making them work for it. That was a flurry! You can't stop it when you got shot <laughs> after shot after shot. Honorable effort from Atomic but eventually it's going to be put in. Team Queso would not be denied. Two goal deficit again for G2. With less than two minutes to go, they have to find a way to equalize. But Queso on the push again. There's another one from G2. Popped over one. Well That's going to get it done. Chicago sinks another. Look at the vision by Chicago. Sneaky challenge coming in from Queso, but Chicago saw Vatira turning, he immediately goes for the shot, and if he's any later with that move, Vatira's gonna get a touch on it, and it's gonna go over the bar. Chicago, perfect speed. Again, it's that placement of the shots from G2 that's working out. And, and that decision making, he had to make that decision right away. Oh, Joyo. Flip reset into a must be, but taken away by Chicago. Jane Apps gonna push it forward. Be a chance here for G2 to equalize. JNAP sends it across, taken away by Rise. Popped hard off the back wall. Here he comes again. Chicago, can he score another? No, it's dropped back down to JNAP and challenged again by Rise. 
Joyo gonna pick this one up, but G2 still have midfield. There's the first 50, but Tira's too far back. Chicago wanted JNAV, but JNAV's jumping early for the ball. Didn't get the read he wanted. Okay, so not letting G2 shoot. They've got to stop the shots from happening. They've stopped another one, but Tira diving up early. We're inside the final minute now. Still one goal lead, and it's the almost two, but Chicago's heroics on the goal line. Keep it back at one. Chicago getting a good challenge oh, and a rebound. Whoa. Somehow getting a 50 after making a play on the ball, still staying in the air. They're oh. not letting them shoot. They just won't let G2 shoot because every time G2 shoots, it's a goal. And then Case will get the ball, and even on low boost, they somehow are able to export out those mechanics. But G2 is the and they've tied the game. The next set delivers. Don't let G2 shoot the ball. J Naps strikes again off Atomic's infield pass. It's here. I got a touch on it, but it's not enough. Another comeback from G2 Esports. And Atomic. Spotting JNAPS wonderfully. He had a low pass from Chicago. Chicago cleared it low. Atomic making that adjustment and able to hit JNAPS on the run. Queso on the push on offense. G2 have had two unanswered now. Queso, how do they respond? Rise, getting that ball back over to Joyo. Joyo, pass it from the material. Oh! Goal, Rise! He's done it! He's got Queso in the lead! And we've got Queso fans in the house with 15 seconds left. Queso up and about to reset the bracket. How many times have we seen Queso do this this weekend? A lot. I can't count, James. How many times have Queso looked like they were about to be defeated? How many times have it looked like G2 were about to take control? Here they come! Oh, oh my God! What is happening? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! We've got a ball game! They've done it again! Infield pass! It's something with a snipe! G2 refuse to go down. That is the kind of metal you want to see from G2 in North America trying to survive against the last European team oh. left. And set up by Atomic, it's not over. We could have one more goal. Time expires, the ball touches oh. the ground, and I don't know how this is going to overtime. Oh. It's scripted, James. It's scripted, Jarby. We are living the best timeline, but can G2 keep it going? Could see a game seven. Maybe we will right here. Taken away for now. But it's put up in front of the box. Joyo pushing the ball back downfield. There to cut it off is Atomic. Only 30 in the tank. That's enough to drop down. Freezing the Queso defense. Janas gets the next touch. Gets kicked out of the way. But here drops it down. Here comes Chicago. Stay here. Go off the bar. Here they come again. Atomic. Go! We're going to Champions Field. J2 Esports, take it to Game 7. Case have been pretty good in Game 7s, <laughs> but they've not been oh, brought man. to one by their opponents. It's usually them bringing the opponents to one. What a comeback by G2. Oh, oh. And news coming in that Team Queso has called a timeout before Game 7. Queso, every single time the match has been put on game seven, they call a timeout, and what happens? They win. Every time they faced elimination in the playoffs, they've won. They've faced elimination, I think now, six games in the playoffs against NRG, Furia, and in the previous rounds of phase. Is it inevitable? Is it inevitable? They've shown, they've shown experience way beyond their years. They've shown ice every single time they're in this situation. Neither against G2. Now the question is, will G2 show up? We saw JNAPS say it. This is their time. They're here. Now's their chance. And this is going to be the best chance I think they'll ever get to take down Team K. So all they need is one more game. And the crowd knows it. This crowd fully behind G2. They know the stakes. Just one more game. Queso trying to ice things with this timeout, cool off, reset the mental, and just relax for a little bit. <laughs> I, don't let's be can, honest. I don't think you, you don't can think relax. You don't think it's possible? Chill. No just way. Chill. <laughs> no way. I mean, I guess if there is one team, Jarby, that can, it's Queso. Because they've got something special about them. 
And this is really where they can not only establish a, re a reputation, but cement it. Getting this win here in Game 7 on the main stage in YouTube Theater against G2. Team Kesnor is 6-0 in elimination games in the playoffs. The cats only have seven lives. <laughs> I think it's well. I think sure. it's nine. Yeah, it's nine. But, yeah. you know, oh, it's... <laughs> that would have been so good if they had seven, though. Yeah, there would be. You know, we could change history, right? Said, yeah, just cut that. Cut that. Out. You know, cut that out. Yeah. Well, you know, they well, only actually, have that's nine. bad news. This means they're going to keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was trying to give NA some opium, but actually, it's, it's not opium at all. Uh, that, that's the problem. <laughs> you just can't. You can't. Even it's when impossible. I try, it just doesn't come naturally. Yeah, you to can't me. do it. <laughs> you know, it, but you can't. You cannot count Team K so out. Like you said, Johnny. They have been unbeatable, it seems. 6-0, and oh, like you said. The question for me is, is this G2 squad with Atomic the team that can do it? Are they finally not only at the top of North America, but the top of the world? It's the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Mm. Queso don't lose elimination games. G2 haven't lost a series. One of these streaks has got to end, and one of them will would be the end of this tournament which is what everybody wants in, in this theater from what I can hear. These playoffs have been insane. We have, we have been treated to some of the craziest Rocket League that we've seen in a while. And the crowd, a crowd we haven't had in over two years, has absolutely delivered. It has been insane in this theater. <laughs> and of course, of course, the grand finals. Well, yeah. of course it's gonna happen here, Jim. And it has to go to game seven this first go around. You have to keep in mind, this might not be all the Rocket League will see. It might not be over. Okay, so just to give all the fans in here even more to worry about. <laughs> There's 7 0 in game sevens this split. Oh my God. Oh. They've, they've won How nine. are you that cold? <laughs> How won, are you that cold? They've won nine straight game five sevens or sevens this split as well. G2, this That's split. Awesome. Oh There's my zero goodness, and two Johnny. in game sevens. Nine straight. Nine straight. Oh, oh there's the hope you There's the nine there's it. straight. <laughs> nine lives. You, you, you have the crystal ball. They're going for double digits. <laughs> or death. And we will get these, this, what could be final game or the precursor to maybe seven more. In just a moment, we were having some technical issues on the stage, which we will resolve as soon as we can. <laughs> we know, we get it, yeah. we get it. I know we got to maximize the drama out here, you know. <laughs> we got to get you guys to the edge of your seats since you don't want to stand up and support G2 on your feet, guys. They're going to need you to do that in this Game 7. I hope you realize that. But the crowd's really been backing them, and like we expected, they've been energizing G2. They've been willing this comeback, and they've come from behind in Game 5, behind by 2 in Game 6, and they forced that Game 7. Still, though, do they want to come back from behind? Probably not. <laughs> no, you, you want to just close this one out. And the, the player that has really impressed me, really impressed me this series has been Chicago. Yes. Chicago, the leader, in that key moment, you saw him hit that fadeaway shot near post in a massive moment. Chicago showing that he is a leader of this team. And now G2, they're on the precipice. This is what they've been working for for years and they could achieve it in these next few moments. But Team Queso, the record that they've had in these moments, I, I, I don't know if I've really seen anything like it in Game 7s, in these final games, a team be this good. I think it was after the fall split, Team Queso were tied with Heroic, I think, down in the, in the pits of Europe. It, you know how brutal it is down there. And this has been one of the quickest rises of a team that we've ever seen in, in, in Rocket League competition. For them to not only win two regionals, but also get to the grand finals in a third in the winter split after not making anything happen in the fall split. I mean, it's unreal what Rise, Vatira, and Joyo have been able to do in the winter. It is unparalleled. And so for G2, who have been trying to get over that hump for so long to be stopped by these upstarts, for years. by these new kids on the block, that has to be nerve wracking for G2. Yeah, JNF Chicago was saying way back in my day, we were, <laughs> we were trying to win lands back then too, but how sweet that would be. They are the home team, Chicago in his hometown. JNF, like I said before, 
I can't think of another player as good as him who hasn't won an RLCS line. He really is such a legend. Starting in Season 3, still going strong and still not just hanging on as many uh, players do when they're reaching the end of their careers. I don't think JNAB's reaching the end of his career because he's mechanical, he's fast, yeah. he's, he's speedy. Not looking like the old man on the pitch at all. And Chicago really stepping up today. You know, he, he, Atomic was really doing a lot of the work in the group stage. JNAP's stepping up earlier on in the playoffs, but Chicago hitting every single shot that he has to hit. Actually, everybody on the team hitting their shots, hitting their infield passes in these games. Oh, it's tense. You can feel the tension too. The crowd, they get loud and then it gets quiet. Oh. And the anticipation. Oh, it's coming. Here it comes. We're about ready. Game seven on Champions Field. Brought to you by Lamborghini. Here we go. G2, one game away from winning the major for themselves and for North America. Oh! And They call him a map sack for a reason. What G2 need a goal. Jane Epps is there to answer the bell. Yeah, he's got a lot of magic in that knapsack, Jorby, to come out off kickoff where G2 has been dominant. That aspect of their game has been working like a charm. Now a demo off kickoff, but space for Rise. The shot testing Jane Epps, but a nice save. G2, this is a hot start, but we've seen Team Queso bounce back quickly before. G2 have to be so careful at this moment. There's a long time left in the game. That's the worst thing about taking the lead inside six seconds. Okay, so I've fought back so many times. They've defended brilliantly in this final. They've been great chances in scoring them just as often as they did previously in the tournament. G2 proving to be the team who can match Queso in these games at the end of a series. Oh, Joyo won a couple 50. He's got that midfield boost as well. Gutierrez just gonna punch it back to the other side of the field. Joya lets it drop, Rise a risky pass, but Vizira gets there in time. He actually might have a lead, and going across, Rise got a demo, but Chicago comes across quickly, steals that boost away from Joyo, but Joyo comes back to take the ball away. Okay, so trying to buy some time here. They're trying to mix some hard clears into their play. They don't want to air dribble every single ball that comes to them in defense. Look at where G2 are. They are sitting way far back. They're ready for those hard clears. They're ready for the passing plays that Queso are going to try and throw at them. Will Queso use the space that G2 are given them? But G2 has been doing a phenomenal job in those race to the 100 boost, winning that race. And it's keeping Queso back. But still, just a one goal game. That can slip away in a heartbeat. Clear downfield again. Popped up off the corner. Shot coming off the bar. <laughs> and Rise saves his dodge for the most important touch. Great reaction by Rise, but it's G2 who continue to press this advantage. They're not settling for that one goal. Demo dodge coming through from Queso, but the boost is not there to really follow up on this play. They're looking to buy time with hard clears once again. High ball off the ceiling. Rise pushing it forward, but that play's not going to get it done. They let it bounce. You see Joyo coming up. Don't want to just give the ball away for free. Batira, he's got control. Batira taken away by JNAPS. Challenge coming in just early enough for G2. So key that they pressure the ball when air dribbles are coming towards them like that. Vatira didn't get the shot that he wanted that time. He might oh. next time. Oh, it's a good save coming in from Joy at the other end. And a beautiful counter on low boost from G2. They're staying calm. And we're seeing now more possession though from Team K. So another corner boost steal from Rise. We're seeing a good attack start to be mounted and a critical touch there to the sidewall from Chicago. Okay, so starting to win these 50s. Joyo back across. It's gonna be Rise. Collects that boost first. Now he's got the touch. Now control. Rise, flick up, forces two to commit. Vatira committed early, and Joyo's gonna come up, but Vatira recovers, gets the ball back out to the corner. Joyo just a bit too far back to capitalize on the free aerial. The G2 are really in trouble here. Boost is getting low on a couple of their players. Chicago gets demoed, but the shot quality from Team Queso is just not there. And they are getting shots, Johnny. Taking shot after shot. You're seeing G2 Atomic all the way back in Team Queso's half trying to sprint back on defense, still operating with about half a tank. This has been an assault from Team Queso that G2 has withstood brilliantly. Patera pops this ball up again. G2, no boost. But Queso can push forward, rise. He's been at the front of these pushes, but they just have not been able to create that pressure. 
And look at the clock, G2 have wasted so much time here. They've been defending, but they've defended well enough. Case though, have not produced the offense that we've seen from them earlier in the tournament. Rise, pops the ball hard, and one miss leads to a save for Chicago, but coming back, return fire! Oh! Doyle ties the game! You can only defend for so long against Team Queso. And you see Chicago trying to get back. It was just a matter of time. You even see on the replay how low boost G2 has been. It's been like that all game, but they've managed to get those clears. But eventually, Team Queso was able to find that opening, and now they see another, Ooh. but a goal line save from Atomic keeps it tied. Atomic looking a bit awkward in defense. A couple of plays here, but he's just slightly too far forward. G2 have to step it up at this moment. Oh, Atomic, he's in the air, popped it off the ceiling. Is there going to be a shot? No. G G2 want to keep control, don't want to force the issue if they don't have to. Look at the boost, Team Queso oh. are really struggling here, but a back corner spawns for Joyo. Able to get the touch out, Atomic pushes it up. Does he have the next touch? He misses, but everyone's oh. awkward on Queso. Oh. Rebound comes in, what a touch oh. It's Joyo. a race! It's what? a race now! Running his rise, and it's going to be G2 getting back. Critical recovery from G2. A oh. goal now! Would be it! Surely Rise actually sends it wide! Oh, that was so dangerous. G2 now back the other way. And it's taken away by Vatira. G2 again, trying to find the touch. Pass out to Rise. Downfield. Vatira taken oh. away. Pass cut off by G2. Time running out. Here they come. Atomic. Actually, oh. back to. Oh! 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 Robbery! Oh my goodness. A complete joke from G2. Atomic and Chicago both leave the ball at the worst moment. And you knew they were in trouble when Atomic was in reverse in the middle of the field. A miscommunication with Chicago. A heartbreaking end. And now the final chance. G2 have to keep this up. Otherwise, we're going to another best of seven. Matira puts the ball oh, under the ground. Oh, and here we go. A bracket reset. Queso somehow survived in that game. And I, John, tell me, tell me, give me your thoughts, man. What just happened? I'm gonna be honest with you, Jarby, I have no idea. What on earth just happened? <laughs> G2 James, just left it, the ball. It, it, what, I, I think what happened there was instead of Atomic rotating out and letting Chicago just get the clear, Atomic tried to make a play on the ball. He was in reverse. It's an awkward situation. And it just crumbles. The pressure. Drive, just have to drive and, into it. Wow. And it happens when you're in these extremely high pressure situations. Game seven, it's on the line. Sometimes that can affect you, and Look it surely did there. Look at this. All of EU rallying around <laughs> their team, Team Queso. All the EU players who have been eliminated, who are still here, they are rooting for their team. The audience, are all rooting for G2, but. The Queso boys have got support. They've got a lot of support online and back home. And they have reset the bracket. It's, I mean, I said before, it's the perfect timeline. You've got to love a bracket reset. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, everybody in the YouTube theater, but <laughs> bracket resets are always more entertaining. Can the home team win? We'll have to wait and find out. It started off so well for them. Shane Apps opening goal was an absolute banger, but then they sat back. They let Queso come at them and they ended up conceding the worst possible way. That has to hurt, to go down that way. That has to hurt. I mean, you even saw it in that final replay, the confusion on that last play. It was G G2, G2's ball. They had it. They had it. They had the time, that's they had the, the space. That's the worst and goal I've ever seen on a Rocket League. I think that, it might that, be the worst goal I've ever seen. <laughs> and it could have easily been a G2 opportunity. It's one of the most meaningful goals ever, but man, that was bad. It like, hurts that, to that go hurts. down like that. I, I said that if G2 fight back and show some resistance, it'll help them to come back mentally in the next and do well in the next series, but they've gone all that way. They've fought back twice from behind just to completely throw in the worst way in game seven. Well, G2 have a lot to think about, but it's not done. G2 are not eliminated. Team Queso have not won. There is one more best of seven to be played. Queso have reset the bracket. We are gonna go to a quick break. So if you gotta get up, get a snack, do that quickly. Go to the bathroom, do what you gotta do, but then come back, get in your seat. If you're at home, don't turn off the Twitch stream. Don't turn off, the, don't turn off wherever you're watching. Doesn't matter, Rocket League Live at home. Stay here because I guarantee you the next match is gonna be just as much of a banger. We'll be right back.
your phone? This might not be your car, and this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine, and maybe these aren't your coworkers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Tippy driver.
We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic, do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Money grows from my intuition I just bought a crib, that's my first edition People hate it when you claim a vision But I use a static when I hit ignition Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition For he no matter where I've been And give me any place and it'll be a kitchen This how we float to the top I'm on a wave and it never gon' stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I still block your shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain in the floating block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and it's all you got on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, a habit you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing just like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see it, but I ain't feel the stress, I know it's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Make a move to make the money taller to the cash, topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I'm a wedding collar with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession, a habit you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic to do it all. I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw. I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl. They wanna talk when you're back to the wall. So I say later, my ain't moving small. And just like that, we go for round two. Team Queso flip the bracket in what was the most mm -hmm. uh, just unbelievable just question marks. end to a game I've seen in a long time here. Guys, uh, I, don't, I don't even know where to start. Who here. do you Stuffy. want to come to first? Stuffy, what do you, what <laughs> ahead, you think man. about the zero commit at nine <laughs> seconds? Choke, zero choke, choke. Like that. Baby, it's just a choke from G2. That's all that was. There was the weirdest just... Okay, we've got the ball. Two seconds left. Stop. Stop moving. Rise goes, there's a goal there, guys. I'm going to hit the ball and we'll and that's win. After G2 was down 3-1, they yeah. battle back to do that? It and was... you know you're so close to taking down Queso, who has one life left with five minutes of her nine seconds left, and you do that? I don't know what Sathy said. He said, boys, don't double commit. Just everyone stay calm. <laughs> and they did the complete Let's opposite. They zero we got committed. you, Dad. We maybe, got you, maybe, no maybe he said, like, stop panicking, but they only heard stop. <laughs> so, yeah, they probably, anyway, what? but what an insane, apart Amazing. from the final goal, yes, what yeah. a series we had. We had the back and forth, the, the changes of momentum. Queso Incredible starting scenes. off so hot. Oh, Jane Absco stepping up shot. massively yes. in the end. Unbelievable. Look, here it is, here it is. Just like, yeah. uh, that perspective almost looks okay. So it's happened. it's this where like uh, oh, we're just so what is clearly clearly he, uh, Atomic was caught off by Chicago. Yeah, That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, However, then yeah. maybe Chicago yeah. thought Atomic was going, and yeah. then yeah, no one went. went. The yeah. only reasonable explanation is that they read, they remembered the script, and said, <laughs> "Oh, we're supposed <laughs> to lose and reset the bracket." I thought that happened here, and it was just a healthy dose of copium wave. I love it. That's the only reasonable explanation I have for. And how do you how do you bounce back from that? Like over these next 15 minutes, where you're not playing. Playing when you were that close. Their yeah. season. Now Their what season. do you do? Their season. Look, they even start off the series slow. They had to come back down from 3-1, man. Mm -hmm. they, had, they really had to yeah. warm up. Queso's been playing all day. Mm -hmm. So Queso's warm. They're ready. They came out hot. G2 had to, you, you kind of have to take a second to really just settle in, get used to the grand final, and then now they started playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. Queso's level of play has not changed, but G2's level of play mm -hmm. started to go up a little bit. I disagree. I actually what? disagree with that. I think Queso <laughs> started off really hot there, the game one and two there. Well, I was sitting next to Appjack, and okay. basically, with, like the challenge game is absolutely flawless, but Towards the end of the series, particularly, uh, I think it was game six, we saw Vitera. Yeah. He committed for no reason randomly, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden mm -hmm. they started getting outpaced. And I think that it could, we could be starting to see a little bit of fatigue coming out yeah. from Queso. I, yeah. so. I think the challenge game wasn't quite as hot, for, but to Joyo's credit, I think he was really absolutely on point. Joyo but I think great. Rise and Vitera mm -hmm. started getting a little bit shaky. Perhaps it was just not shaky, but you know, obviously they've been playing so many series. Exactly. Say. Yeah. And, and, and it, you know, it's such a mental game, roughly. Yeah. And I think we started to see a few, you know, hesitations and. Mm. Yeah, this nice reset thing. really benefits G2, I mm -hmm. think, because yep. Queso have had so many best of sevens and they've gone to the distance in a couple of them. This one included. 
Now it's just G2. They played one series earlier. They've just played this one. They're, they're on their third series of the day. It, like. it benefits G2 as long as that goal doesn't get to them. The 15 mm -hmm. minutes could help or hurt. They have to sit there for 15 minutes and not think about that. It's and just go back I, to I think the game. they can get it out of their mind, for yeah. reference. I think they can. They're I, really, really strong. With it's that. much better for G2 to lose that way than play a six, seven minute, 10 minute overtime and then That's end true. up losing that yeah. way. That's true. That's so true. much in the three one reverse. Yeah. You try to reverse space man sweep and then you put 10 minutes into overtime or something like that. That would have been heartbreaking. It's much easier for G2 to yeah, It would have been way different as well if, you know, say, I don't know, Joy or hit a triple flip reset yeah. or something yeah. to win. I think yeah. that, yeah. although it was a mistake, it, I don't feel like it's it gave, preventable. It didn't it's give any it's momentum to Casey, right. I think, yeah. either. Although, sure. you know, obviously it's just, they won it just the gave them the bracket race. Yeah, just gave them the win. The second best thing there. Let's get the Verizon fan vote going of what you guys think. Think is going to happen here in the second reset. Is any changes here? Anyone flipping? I'm on their not predictions? flipping. Well, my my mum actually sent bait. me a message during that series, and she said, "Fingers crossed for Queso. Want them to win to prove T Bates wrong." Wow! 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 wow. Hey, that's wow. That's that's CJ, she genuinely said that to prove T Bates wrong. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> with, with two laughing emojis. Listen, I'm I am not going against what my mum said. This is. I'm queso. in the minds of Europeans, it. man. Listen, NA has got to come out on top. G2 have not lost any momentum. If anything, the momentum's on G2's side. They are. Picking up their gameplay, a G simple, simple error happens. And all these fans, they just want to see more Rocket League. So right. I think G2 threw Game 7 to get some yep. more Rocket League, but they will take it in the end. I'm going <sighs> G2. That was what you predicted. That doesn't it make is. sense. I'm sticking by my predictions as well. Um, I think the, pro the players are getting onto the stage. I, I'd w I wonder, can we go to the fans inside. I I'd would love, love to, see that. to enable them and equip them Queso with a just few won the fan vote. Here. Sorry, Queso just won that fan vote, 51%. Didn't. That didn't happen earlier, for reference. Like okay. that went. That's now tipped over. Ooh, Ooh, the fans line. have been wrong the last three matches, so that's a good sign. Wait, for but G2. you were so happy when previously <laughs> they predicted G2. No, but you've no. been wrong for the last three matches too. So oh, I don't know which oh, one's gonna break. Oh, oh. Wait, talking about the match. You're getting your reverse swept in predictions at the moment. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no, the choke. The choke here. He's about to bracket reset your predictions. <laughs> oh lord, oh lord. <laughs> Well, okay. Let's 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 go to the crowd. I want to I want to when I get some chance goal. Let's talk. Let's start for Team Case though. Okay. Lead the lead lead us here, Stumpy. Okay. Uh, if there's anybody in the crowd right now who is a <laughs> Team Case though fan, I know the Endpoint boys are at the front. I want them to turn around and start leading this as well. We just want a nice, intimidating Case though. Case though. Case though. Case. Well, oh, we, there, there we go. Two. Okay, that's the ooh of the case. We queso, perfectly sure. played that though. We all just said queso, oh, right. and we all stopped at the same we'll time. So, so, so that was chemistry. Yeah, you've you got to have that chemistry. chemistry in the crowd as well. Oh. Improvisation. Yeah. All righty, if you're a G2 fan, we have a great G2 champ. We need to get this champ rolling the entire series. Listen up close and start joining us. Not let's go, G2. Not let's go, G2. No, 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 let's go. Let's go. Listen, listen. Crowd, chill, wait. J Naps Atomic Chicago. J Naps Atomic Chicago. J Naps Atomic Chicago. J Naps Atomic Chicago. Hey! Get that roll in the entire series and hey, let's get the W! Okay, okay. That's pretty complex for And Enable. finally, yeah, that's ladies and gentlemen, finally, everyone in the crowd right now. Can we, are we going back to the crowd? Get back to the crowd, oh. please. Get back to the crowd. Oh, no, 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 please, 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 please. Thank you. There, there, there we go. Back to the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, crowd, everyone here right now. This has been an unbelievable event. The first event in two years with the crowd. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to get a chance for everyone here, everyone involved, and it's simply going to be Rocket League! 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 Let's go. That's the best part. You guys get to keep going. Love that. You guys Love don't have that. to stop when we stop. So the players are ready. Let's get down to the stage for the second match of the grand finals. This one takes the cake. Win this one, you hoist the trophy. You get the medals at the end. You're the winter champion. Team Queso on one side. G2 on the other, trying to hold on to that upper bracket in the Verizon Skybox. It's James, Johnny, and Jorby. We'll be there in just a moment.
on their last life. K Stone looking to take down the last bastion of North America. G2 have one more try. And you know, I got a question is, you know, what kind of cake is it? And it's starting to seem like it might be a cheesecake. I'm gonna be honest, they looked so good in that last series, and to see G2 lose it in that fashion, you've gotta wonder how they're gonna bounce back. This game one critical for G2. Well, the upside is for G2, they can't possibly start worse than they finish. Like, this is gonna be better no matter what, but Keso already out the gate, putting some pressure on them. Jane after the big dunk film will send it back towards the blue end. Now, Keso in this series, while they've been a very physical team, Demos weren't really a feature of their offense in their last series. Really only averaging about two demos a game. That's about one less than they usually amount against teams. Yeah, much better on the bumps though, Jorby. We even saw the one bump on Atomic last back. We've seen them be able to do that, but you're right. However, we're seeing some early demos. The tier of JNAP's both getting one. Oh, and we're starting to see even more. Rise taking out Atomic. Ooh, the tier gets the bump. But Chicago pushes that ball back out. Joyo getting the dunk again. The ball's just stalled. Chicago will push it forward. We're trading back and forth with these 50s, but here comes Vatira, drops it straight back down. Rise going for the corner, and it's pushed out again by G2. So far, those positional mistakes from G2, that defensive positioning, overly defensive positioning, I would say, the awkward positioning from Atomic in particular, not a factor. They have definitely reset their mental. That is impressive after such a devastating loss. Atomic going for the pinch. He gets a clean one out downfield. But Vatira able to pick that ball up. Chicago demoed Rise on the back end, and he got plenty of time to respawn and get the ball back downfield. DK still had the better chances so far, and they will get the first goal. And is it is it too early to be worried for G2, Johnny? No. <laughs> I mean, Every time we've casted this weekend, I brought a water bottle along with me. This time I brought two, because I knew we were getting a bracket reset. I wasn't worried about that, but... You have two, I have like seven. <laughs> yeah, you brought seven. <laughs> you brought a lot. We've got reserves, but... It's always time to be worried in this situation, because... Like we're saying, G2, they've made a name for themselves. You don't become the best player to never win an RLCS line in, in JNAP's case, and the best player to never win a line in Chicago's case without losing some along the way. And uh, are they going to get that? Is it going to get inside their heads at some point? Are they going to start to second guess? everything that they've done this weekend. Touch goes out, but another demo. That time Joyo taking out Chicago. And it's launched downfield. Oh, and Rise tried to find the 50. Now a turnaround, JNAPS slips it right around Vatira. They can't get that boost steal. They do push the ball to the right side of Queso territory. As Chicago gets bumped out, he won't be able to go for that ball. JNAPS has to support as his teammate. Picking up that demo on the Joyo, but still locked here with Queso in the lead. I like what I'm seeing Chicago do, though. Being upfield, getting boost steals, threatening the bump, looking for the infield pass. That's what Picks G2 are best at. That's what they do. That's what, what they've always done, even in previous iterations of the roster. They're the aggressive team in NA. They're the team who pile on the pressure. They pass the ball in the final third. They follow up with the backboard reads. They, they thrive in the final third of the pitch. That's where they are right now. This one pushed up high, Chicago. Dropping that one down, and again, it's Joyo there to pick up the rebound. And a great play from Joyo up so quick. He read that backboard pass in a heartbeat so fast to the ball. They don't want to let G2 take the shots. G2 has been getting power, precision on those shots. They're getting in the lane early, shutting down those opportunities before they start. Pushed again. Chicago taking out Joyo. We've got a lot of demos. There's another one. This time, Rise took out JNAP. Vatira won't be able to get back to that ball. G2 starting to stay around their half now. They're having trouble clearing this ball out of the corner. But Chain Apps works his way around and Rise steals the ball away. In case though, also maintaining their level, G2 are right back to that former level that they were at for most of last series. But so are Queso. Any thoughts of them being tired at some point along the way, just dissipating as they plow on forward. Just over a minute now for G2. Chain Apps trying to center. Atomic likewise. He's got options in the middle. Vatira going to deny the center ball. Rise and Vatira trying to push that ball downfield. G2 haven't really felt a lot of pressure in front of the box. Really, neither team has, but Queso, they've got that goal on the board. Vatira forces the ball up. That light shot from G2. Really tense game one. G2 looking for this first goal. Got to find a way to heat it up, but Vatira steals the ball away. 
Joyo gets underneath, couldn't get the bump on the chain after it. No boost on the play. Chicago moving downfield, taken away by Fatira. Fatira's defense, so impressive throughout the first series and this one as well. He really has produced the best Rock League he's played all weekend in the grand final. Oh, chain half gets underneath it. And they try to force the ball in front. The shot might come underneath. Atomic goes for the first 50. Slips it by Rise. Oh, Atomic wanted the fake as well, but he won't get it. And G2 have to retreat as Rise gets the clear out. He got chipped on the play. G2 didn't have to stay back for long. Here they come off the back wall, taken away by Joyo. Final seconds. G2 gonna try to keep this airport. Chicago is in the middle. Atomic also there, Ooh. but doesn't make contact. And now over to the corner, oh. loose a bit, but easily killed in the final moment. Team Queso able to close out game one of series two. No huge mistakes in defense this time from G2, but when you play Queso, they're able to create their own goals, even if you play perfect defense. Queso have got so many threats. They've got the team plays, they've got the physical plays, they've got the solo plays. Now you could say all of that about G2 as well, but Queso managing to get the first game in the series here. Really starting to apply that squeeze because for the first time in the grand final, they're the team who are closer to the tournament. And, th and this really is remarkable. Game seven, coming down to that final play, Team Queso come through again. They keep coming through in these moments. And now they are close to the finish line. We were questioning, you know, even CJ talking about fatigue, but uh, is it more like a sprinter or runner seeing the finish line closing out the race? Is that what Team Queso is about to do? I think they're about the grind. It just has been so difficult for them to get through, but they have managed to win every single time. So while it looks like they might be fatigued, while it looks like they might be running out of gas, there's always a little bit more in the tank. They just have the best work ethic that I know of. You know, the, a lot of the teams in NA do as well, but some of the teams that didn't perform this weekend aren't putting those hours in. Team Queso's hours, ridiculously high. And that really shows with their consistency. And they can rely on themselves to deliver the goods under pressure because they've done it so many times in their recent memory. And just like in the first series now, G2 have to answer Queso's early lead. They need a strong start. If Queso can get into the lead, G2, they've come back from 3-1 down in the first series, but it looks so, so difficult. Queso aren't going to make it easy on them. Oh, Rise almost got the double, but it drops straight down. Joyo was a little too close. It's going to fall back out. Joyo still in possession. Joyo oh squeezing it against the back wall. It's a loose ball for Vatira. He sees his teammate on the side and also sees G2, but can't keep it away. And I like that play from Atomic waiting, giving Vatira that space, knowing he doesn't have much, or much, much area to work with. But now a double tap from Rise, but Atomic playing smart. Good head on his shoulders, but he's got to keep it that way. No room for errors anymore. Ooh. Atomic hoping to find some kind of touch there, or at least freeze Queso. He was successful in doing that. G2 have been able to take midfield. Queso, they're always in the air for that next touch. And a nice jump down from Batira. Trying to keep that speed. G2 back on the blue. Nothing really developing for them. They keep getting stuffed in the corner. Just again, Queso is showing why it's so important to pressure the ball on your recovery. Bit of an awkward position for the last man back, but support quickly arrived to alleviate that pressure, deny G2 any opportunities. Well, the ball kicks out Patira, thinking that play was gonna wow. roll across, and he somehow made a play out of it, but Joyo, the ball's over his head, pass denied, up in front, shot is wide and taken away anyway. Chicago can't deliver just yet. Joyo, in the way, JNAP's hitting the brakes. So I want to fully commit, Rise gets the clear. You saw JNAP trying to slow down, thinking he could break up that play, but no, Team K, so just keeps chugging along. Now in the offensive half, we'll see what they can do. This much pressure, it looks like your case to goal is coming at some point. G2 looking for the counterattack, of course. And like I said in the last game, they really built a name for themselves, and they really terrified all the teams of this tournament by swarming them, by just getting them into defense and then scoring on them anyway. So this isn't really where G2 want to be. Yes, counter-attacking strategies can be good for them. They can't let Queso keep coming forward. That one pushed up high. G2 are in traffic, but Joyo makes the touch. 
Chicago's frozen on the third. He has to go back towards midfield. Atomic gives him some space. He's only got 20 and immediately met again. This time, Rise getting there for the 50. Here comes Atomic. One touch taken away by Joyo. G2 again. Chicago around the corner by on one. But Fatir is there to back it up. Johnny, the fail safe you keep talking about keeps working for Team Casino. And you put Fatira in so many awkward positions, but he always manages to just find his way out of them with half flips, with wave dashes, with pre flips. His movement in these awkward positions is second to none. Oh, off the backboard and taken away, but G2 are hunting. That ball taken away again. Keisto get the ball safely into the corner. Here comes Atomic. Flips it off. Oh, oh, Brilliant from Atomic. A solo play using the handbrake. <laughs> How did he even have his flip after that long? I mean, I suppose you call it an air roll shot, but wow, what a stacked up from Atomic. Completely impossible to predict. Getting the ball past two defenders in the goal line. Vatira off the kickoff. Now have to respond. They just might. Joyo going in the air. He wants a pump. He's given the space to rise. Oh, it's in, it's out. What? And somehow G2 keep the lead. Chicago pumps that ball away. j will get it out, but how did that ball stay out of the net? Rice got one more chance at it. Gets underneath, G2 survived for now. And they've done it again. They put the ball in their goal line twice this series. Yeah. This time it's in their goal. Joyo credit to the goal, but they look like there might have been shenanigans on the back wall. Yeah, you see j cheating up. And back yeah. gets bumped. Wow. You, you saw Vatira on the backboard. He was waiting. He's just waiting for j to leave the wall. As soon as j jumps, he's a fish in a barrel. It's easy, easy, easy target, Jarby. And boom, the buck clearing the goal line. Team Queso able to tie it up. Now Team Queso resharpening the harpoon. Vatira to push that ball down. j ends up losing to Joyo. Joyo working across. Vatira, you see the rotations for Queso. Very safe. Not diving, sending the full house like we're used to them seeing. Trying to adapt to that G2 rotation, not wanting to put themselves in awkward position. Looking to set up off. G2 not falling for those mind games in case we keep going for. So I've got plenty of good ideas that involve hitting the ball and making plays on it. Final minute of the game. End to end stuff here. Infield pass still being looked for by G2 Esports. It's worked for them a whole lot in this series and throughout this tournament. They are extremely defensively positioned. It's going to be tough to follow up if they keep sitting back like this. And you saw Rise again going for a bump. More physical gameplay coming out from Team K, so it worked for this last goal. And they're still going for it. Jarby, you said they haven't been demoing much. Well, at the start of this series, it was open up with demo after demo after demo. The physical gameplay, it's working out so far for Team Queso. Oh, Atomic. I feel like he's starting to get some of that space, too. If he can get another shot like he got last time, maybe he can put G2 over the edge here at the end of regulation. Popped up over Vatira. Awkward ball for Joyo, but he recovers. Oh. It's over one. Does he want this ball? He does. Back to Rise. They're going to move. Vatira, does he want to play ball? No, he's going to pull off the play. No dice. Overtime. Low boost plays by Joyo looking incredible at the end of that game. Threatening a counter attack. G2 stifle it. Well, the ball's in the case to end. They've got everybody back. They've got everybody on 100 boost. The G2 know that. They don't want to dive in on this one. Pushed across. Rise. That pitch isn't going to do anything for Queso. The next 50 stuffed. G2 back in the blue half. Chicago wrapping it around. Forced resistance again in the Queso corner. JNAP's getting chipped out of the way. And Queso, again, those follow ups crucial to getting them to the orange half. He's still looking threatening. Every time an air dribble is coming towards G2, it's tough to read, but they are reading this one. He's still taking the time to start to use that space that G2 are giving to them. Where's the challenge Ooh. from G2? They're actually not going to need one because the draw ball's been dropped. And now here come G2 on the transition. Joy will stop one shot oh. in the top corner. Oh. Gladly welcomes Atomic to win game two. Atomic took this game into his control. The insane play in the corner with the handbrake, the air roll, the late flip, and now this shot bore down. And you wonder, I mean, it looked like Joyo might have been able to get a better hit than that. He might have given that chance to G2. Definitely. He's looking to pop that ball up either for himself or one of his teammates to recover to, but Atomic pouncing on it. And that second man aggression is something G2 are going to need to keep using. They've got to get two people involved in the attack. Earlier on in the first series, they were never overcommitting. They're never sending everybody, but they are always very aggressive with their second man. And that's what we usually see from them. 
my goodness, atomic shooting in this game proved to be the difference. Hitting two shots, and that is a big deal for the player who looked like the one at fault at the end of the previous series. And now, I mean, this is following the same script as the first series in the Grand Finals. Queso, they, they, they start off, they get the first strike, game one win. G2, they respond right away with a game two victory. Are we just gonna go tit for tat the whole way down to game so. seven again? Why not? Let's well, do it. Sure, Let's absolutely. Do it. I, I think I'd want that a lot more than most people in here. I'd prefer a G2 for one <laughs> win. I What's think up, game Subi? seven. <laughs> <laughs> you think these guys are getting paid by the hour, but no, that's not really how it works with the prize pool. But hey, you can't complain. The Rocket League that we've been seeing has been remarkable, other than that one mistake from G2. But that might be more yeah. fuel in the fire. You saw Atomic, there's many ways players can respond to that type of situation. You can either just get down, call it quits, or you can rise up and battle back from adversity. And that is what Atomic did. Two phenomenal goals. Can he keep doing it? Atomic putting the pieces back together. But can he get it fully running? Keep G2 chugging along. Push that ball across as we're underway in game three. Another big chance already for Team Case. No, not a lot of boost for Rise, but he's got options to the left of him. One of them's named Joyo. He's going to try and center for Vatira with a double reset. Vatira's coming in. The ball not centering quickly enough to go past G2. Rise next up, taken away by Atomic. Queso trying to dive forward, but late to that challenge. G2 can get set up. The shot, the bump, but it ball bounces Ooh. off of G2, I believe Chicago. But then Atomic gonna kick that ball back over, getting some help from Chicago. Yeah, enough momentum from the goalkeeper, so although the bump was connected, it looked like it ended up being a pull shot to clear the ball. And that's why you need to really go for these saves. If somebody's coming to bump you, you've got to either dodge it or fire right back at it. And like you said, that second man pressure. If G2 can keep that up, there we're seeing is. another dive in. Oh! The dunk, Joyo wow. will tip it wide. Another scary moment for Team Queso. We've been seeing a lot of aggression. That lead blocker play hasn't worked out every time. Another quality save from Team Queso. A good idea from Atomic, too. Challenge is not going his way. That one can get hard downfield. They're forced to punch the ball. G2 respond with a cannon of their own. Chicago shot on target, taken away. Rise was there, but G2 still pressing. Here it comes, demo. The shot doesn't come. Here comes Chicago, and it's taken away. There's Joyo for the save. Rise trying to dive forward. Loose ball in front of the box. No one's there. Atomic again is third in a row. After the demo, the rotations were thrown off. It looked like the spawn was on the other side of the field, and Joyo didn't have the boost to get back into position. The hard shot. G2 are being more aggressive. You even saw it early on, that second man challenge coming in quick. Going for those bumps, keeping the demos, putting the pressure on Team Queso. Team Queso, they're fighting from behind. Oh! And another goal being dropped in by Chicago. One from a boost starvation strategy, another one from an immediate kickoff win. Brilliant pass. And Chicago knew that he had a lot of the goals to aim at. Slots it in the middle. And again, the, the, the kickoff game from G2 is superior to anyone they've played so far. Will that be the difference? And Chicago again, game three, crucial to finding those redirects. But here, he's one more off the bar. That time, Atomic couldn't stink it. Popped up for Chicago. Queso's defense there to hold. But there's G2 stopping that transition. Making it slower, forcing Queso to really think about how they're moving down the field. Joyo gonna let it drop. There's that patented Queso leave in the air. And that shot oh, gonna be denied. It's flying wow. back with Atomic, but it's return fire oh, for Joyo. They split the lead. Well, what saved by Atomic? Yeah, it's a free jump for that one, but Queso have got all three players in the area. And Atomic just couldn't recover. He did land in the net, but he's got zero boost, so really nothing he can do there. He did all he could. Queso one goal back. Yeah, and, and excellent effort from Atomic. But you also have to point out JNAP's getting bumped there. If Atomic or if JNAP doesn't get bumped, Atomic had done enough. But that bump connecting, you're starting to see that physical dynamic start to play out. And Queso has been able to make the most of it. Chicago high in the air, but had to use the whole tank to get there. Queso, moving down the field again. Kicked downfield by JNAPS. Loose ball, G2. Picking and choosing when they challenge the ball. Atomic, a little bit of boost on the reset, but no goal just yet. JNAPS sends it high. Goes for Devil. the demo, Rise has to protect the rock now, and he does so excellently on the air drum. Yeah, great control by Rise, finding his teammates time to respawn and recover, get boost back. 
not losing control of the ball as well. It's here at end to end. There's a chance for Case to oh. double tap from oh. an impossible angle. It's going to be a pass to Joyo, who's too far forward. And I swear, at times it seems. Oh! oh. On this. Whoa! Oh. But still, Kato able to recover, streaking back. But I swear at times... Oh! oh. 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 What were you saying, James? <laughs> James, Gina. hang on a second. Yeah. Three goals. And, and where, where was the challenge? I thought Rise was going to go. Joy was on the back, but you saw Atomic was positioned to prevent someone from jumping off the backboard. I didn't expect that to be a free ball. Yes, yeah, it's just a phenomenal pass from Atomic to go into the ceiling there. Backboard was defended, net was defended, ceiling route not defended. He picked out the perfect pass. And both case of players, like you mentioned, thought the other was going to go for it. G2, a comfortable lead now with only a minute 30 remaining. Rise, trying for the catch again on the flip. G2 are ready for it and send the ball back to the blue. That one just met. Queso able to get some contact on the ball. Katira filing in, cut off by Atomic. Queso will have the push back down the field and another hard boomer. Who's waiting for it? Atomic off the bar, waiting. Here comes j -Naps just after Chicago pump and oh. Steve Rice diving in at the last second. The rise of the save reminiscent to the one that kept them in lead against SSG. This one, Actually has them two goals behind, but not long left. Or Team Kaysville to come back. Another hard clear for G2. Every single touch that G2 get, they're gonna chew three seconds off that clock at minimal. Here's Vatira, underneath. Zero boost. Has He's got nothing, nothing to work with. Tough position for Vatira. He's trying to be deceptive with the wave dashes, trying to get a jump out of G2, who do not fall for the fake. Oh, and Atomic! <laughs> Going on a demo spree, you saw him. Wall dashing, picking up speed right into a demo, then carrying that downfield. And that has burned a ton of time off the clock. This arena turning into a debris field. Queso, last chance, they need to score with time left. Again, just not able to get control. Joya, the ball pushed away. More time off the clock. Queso, can they get one with a second left? Matira, that's too much time. That's not gonna get it done. G2 have taken the lead. And I, I did not expect that, Jorby. I, Johnny, I was thinking EU was gonna come out on top after seeing that crazy game seven, but G2, they've recovered. Now in the lead, and Atomic to me has been the difference. He has elevated his gameplay. Well, they're getting to play their game. They didn't get to play their game in the first two, and now they're really getting their own play style working. They're being aggressive in the final third. Look at Atomic's pass. The backboard in the net defended, but nobody watching for the drop down pass. And that's where G2 want to be. That's where they need to put Queso to make life difficult for them. Team Queso have called a timeout here already. They're not waiting wow. on this one. They already want to have a talk about what G2 are up to. I mean, they haven't really been able to get the offense going. Everything they try is just being stopped. Rise, how many times have you seen them just go up, try to get the flip reset, go for control, try to make the 50 happen, and it's just knocked away. And then hard clear from G2. <laughs> Trying to have it again, <laughs> hard clear from G2. And this is really when the pressure's on. You've been close to elimination, but now you can win it all. It's all or nothing for these players. They want the glory of that championship title. The winter split culminating here in these final moments. Team Queso, they've been able to battle back every single time. But now is their last chance <laughs> to close the deal. I wonder how many squats we can get through. <laughs> You're 60. <laughs> 60 squats. They were speed squats, too. He's not messing around here. Yeah, that's, that, you know, 60, your legs are going to be feeling pretty tired. Yeah, you're going to be fighting the series. You hope I, Team Queso has that, that kind of endurance. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually tired watching that. I'm just standing around over here. But let's see if Queso can get another win after a timeout. They did last series. It was much later on, it was in that game seven. G2, just like in the last one, able to get a decent start. They were 3-1 down in the last series, but the, I think the key for them was just to get a game win in early. As soon as they got that game win, you saw that they were yeah. able to it just reset back to what they always do. They're pressuring, they're attacking, they're going into the final third, they're, they're getting their shots off. That's what we need to see from G2 if they're going to keep the pressure on Queso. Queso. Haven't been able to get the offense going. 
what kind of adjustment needs to be made? G2 have had the answer these last two games. And the demos have been connecting, particularly from Atomic. Atomic, all around, has been awakened. And if he can keep that level of play up, it might be enough to help bring this championship title to G2. Look at this, we got a breeze head change from Joyo. He's clearly not feeling that the mechanics are all that they should be. That's something he's done earlier on in the tournament, and it did work out well. Something as small as this, not even a hitbox change, just a visual change. He's trying to spark something in his mind. Great save by Atomic, just diving forward, making himself as big as possible, blocking the shot. JNAP's gonna send this back up, but it's Joyo. Pass over to Rise. Rise again with a carry. Optic for control. Oh, oh, Rise gets it in front of the box, but not on target. Triple tap attempted by Rise. Don't think that's what G2 were expecting. Fortunately for them, it did bounce straight down into the ground. Extremely difficult shot for Rise to go for. He almost made it work. JNAP's nice catch and flick, but Joyo just gets there for the save and can flip that ball back downfield. Joyo's got the mechanics there and gets the demo, but the ball's going the other way. Ooh, Atomic, he's been lethal the last few games, oh, but now they're past the hole. G2 wait, 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 wait. Can he set it up? That's demoed tough. and taken away. Atomic and JNF getting two demos on the other side. Joyo's trying to protect the rock again, and he does so find time for his team to respond. You talk about a high-speed chase <laughs> there. Looked like a bank robber trying to run. <laughs> it's tough to, to get that ball into the center for, without clearing it. So Queso would have loved to see a different kind of bounce than the one they got. G2, delighted that they didn't get what they wanted. Another clear for G2. And again, Queso having trouble getting set up in the orange half. They had one good setup from Joyo, but since then, his first two minutes, really difficult to make work. And G2 not afraid to go to that demo game to make things work, even when they're feeling pressure on defense. Third man for G2, gotta be careful. A couple times he crept forward and let the ball go over the head. They're reacting to these hard clears. They want to be reading them. Still G2, looking like they're in a much better position than they were in at this point last series. Looking like they're in a much better position than what they started off the series with. They've got control. They're able to play their game. And they are shutting down Case, though, a whole lot more than other teams this tournament were. And Hard Rise, all oh, Rise belting a shot in. But you also saw that triple tap opportunity. Rise has been putting those in. More Joyo trying to find Rise. It's cut off. Avatir has got to protect the offense, or at least the rotation. They do so. G2 getting those demos is going to force Queso into some tough positions. Here's one across the box, but taken away again by Atomic. Led downfield by JNAPS. Good clear from G2. They have been absolutely smacking the ball off the back wall. Feels like half the time case will go for that route, it doesn't work. And that's the back wall the other end being connected with. But JNAP's follow up is wide. Back Ooh. pass will be cut off by Batira here. G2 gonna lose possession. Here comes Joyo. One touch, two touches, Ooh. but it goes wide. Rise gonna wait for the touch from JNAP. Now pushes it forward. Joyo dives and is taken Save. away by Atomic. Do they have another one? Batira pops it across. Fatira uh, pops it across. Back over to Rise, <laughs> forcing the 50, but G2 get out. <laughs> you saw the team Gaze, though, is keeping that in the corner, and they're still going. JNAPS is going to take a defensive posture here. And Fatira going for the double tap off the corner. Still, space, Rise getting shut down, Ooh. getting closer. Ooh. The bump in the air, rebound out, weak shot, Ooh. but it's good enough. And Team Queso get the first goal of the game late. Boost running out for Atomic in Chicago. JNAPS was in the net, but he decided to pre-jump, and had he stayed grounded, that would have been an easy save, but he's expecting a better shot out of Team Queso. He's expecting something to the top shelf, and actually, the fact that Queso have hit a slow one to the bottom left corner completely counters a pre-jump of JNAPS. The change-up tripping G2 up, and Joyo really trying to utilize those mechanics to maybe start wedging a bigger hole through this G2 defense. JNAP's got the catch. He's got the boost to chase it. A demo on the back side forces Rise to make the save, but it's open. Oh, oh, Chicago missed it off the post. He can sink those. You know he's capable, but he missed. Now low boost, but Atomic has been connecting on demo after demo. But it hasn't made the difference this game. But another oh, oh, oh. demo from Atomic is Savage. a junkyard out there. <laughs> he is absolutely destroying Team Queso. Literally. Unfortunately, G2 are dying. 30 seconds and change. Now G2 getting to see what the blue goal looks like. 
Not for the first time in the oh. series, but not often this game. JNAPS trying to control the ball in the back card, and they do end up losing it. Chicago will charge straight forward, and that's something G2 are doing well. They're closing down when they realize that someone's in trouble. Somebody's lost control, but they need to do a whole lot more than that right now. They're running out of time. Joyo got the catch. He knows it. Must be up to the board, off the bar. Wow. Still a loose ball. JNAPS next up. Gets the demo, but they need the goal. Downfield. One more touch. Going for Vatira. Puts it down into the ground. Queso has tied the series. Huge read by Vatira. Again, stepping up big in defense. I really think this guy has produced his best in the grand final. It was Rise who was getting all the praise. He couldn't stop scoring goals all tournament. He was popping off the entire way through the playoffs. Joyo has been stealing the show with highlights, but Vatira's defense. He looks unplayable at certain times of the series. He looks so difficult to get the ball past. And the last ditch saves weren't really something we needed to see from Team Queso in many of the matchups they played because they've been the aggressor, but G2 are the only team who have been able to match them for that pressure. They're able to back up Team Queso just as often as Team Queso backed them up. And the pressure was on this game. We saw, it looked like Atama might have connected on seven or eight demos. You know, almost as many demos as this guy's done squats. <laughs> but still, it wasn't enough. Can he beat 60? You gotta go faster. Somebody make sure this man's hydrated. We don't want somebody <laughs> passing out in the crowd Get an here. endless supply of water going from that guy. <laughs> you know, your legs are gonna be burning tomorrow. Best of three to decide the Winter Major. North America's G2 Esports, the crowd favorite. Playing in front of that home crowd. They're just two games away from getting it, but Queso refused to go down. Every time they've gotten into a game six and seven in this playoff bracket, every time they faced an elimination match, they have won. They're seven out of seven for wins in elimination matches. G2 have to try and make sure that they can stay with them here. Giving themselves two shots at it is a whole lot better than one. Queso brought a blizzard to North America. They're gonna need some of that ice. Chicago gets the first dunk. Cool. Joyo tried for a pre-jump read, and JNAPS stayed right on the ground, pushed the ball downfield. Huge frame, JNAPS. Completely making Queso look silly there. Here's the ball bump does not connect, but Joyo's there with the follow-up. is denied by JNAPS again. And then charges forward to make another play on the ball. Even though he's got zero boost, he'd rather pressure the ball here, let his teammates who do have boost react to what happens. Because if the ball goes high, it's not like he's going to do anything with zero on the ground. But it, oh, Chicago had to use up so much boost there to get back. It was a chance for G2 if they won that 50 in the corner. The 50 game early on in favor of Team Queso. Oh, that almost went in. Rise waited for it. And now Joyo. Got the follow-up, waste for it off the ceiling, flip reset, to the ground and taken away, but in front of the box, rises in the air, off the board, but Tira can't get there in time. G2 surviving on defense, popped across, that's good for G2. Here they come, Atomic, light shot, forces two from Queso to go anyway, and another boost deal for Atomic, slips it across one. Queso surviving on defense, but Tira finally getting the clear, a little musty behind it, and it's taken away. Surprisingly light shooting there from G2. That's the kind of spot you expect to see a rocket firing towards the top corner. They did not take it on that chance. But their defensive challenges are looking great. This is what you want to see from G2. They cannot let the plays come towards them without meeting them outside the box, forcing the shots to come in early. Hang time on that ball, Chicago first 50. Joyo completely out of boost on the back side, so Vatira will push forward. There's just nothing really developing for either team just yet. We're almost halfway through game five. Tomica didn't pick up that corner boost. And it's gonna be taken by Vatira. Now a chance for some extended pressure from Team Queso in the air. Rise going for the oh. 50 oh. and a nice challenge from Atomic who plays that to the corner. What read by Vatira. He's up early for that one. He's up early for this as well. So many stealing bounces for G2 to contend. They are doing well right now, but it's Queso who have got all the possession. It's Queso who are creating all the chances. Ooh. They're asking a lot of Ooh. questions to G2. Oh. G2 do not have an answer. A sneaky pass from Queso, but Dira puts it and ends up slotting it on the right side. What a pass from Joya or from Ryan. Excuse me. Vatira in the right spot and not failing to strike that ball with authority. Team Queso, massive play. Going all in on the offensive end, all three players giving it all 
and a solid strike. Team Queso now in the lead. G2 have not had any chances really to get out of their half. As Team Queso, since that timeout, who have had all the success. Full credit to them. It's not like G2 have made many mistakes. They haven't been making all that many errors. Maybe a shot that's lacking a bit of power here. Maybe somebody slightly out of position, but really nothing drastic that you would expect to cause a big difference. A free jump pass. Oh, that's oh. impressive from G2. Oh, the oh. He gets that done. Oh my goodness. G2 playing keep away. Atomic with one free jump pass and then a free jump dunk. They're seeing the future. How do you come up with this? Improv. That seems to be the name of the game. I mean, Queso, we've seen them do it all week. G2 say, yeah, we can play the same game. We're all tied up. And that was remarkable how many touches G2 had keeping that ball in their possession to make that work. Oh, downfield. What a light touch from Chicago. Oh, and it's oh, in the no. net. He forced the own goal. G2 have the lead. Pressure play from G2. Forces the own goal from Team Queso. It was Rise not reading the crossbar bounce, getting on the wrong side of the, of the goal line and putting it in his own net. He knows somebody's going to be there for G2 to score if he doesn't do something, but he doesn't get the right side of the ball. And talk about changing up the pace of that shot. Vatira was streaking in. If that was a hard shot, Vatira might be getting that block. This pace of that ball, throwing it off, giving G2 that chance. Queso got to be careful. The wheels can't fall off the wagon. We're still within one. With plenty of time on the clock. Next up, Patira. He sees his teammate downfield. It's Joyo and cut off immediately by Chicago. Rise meeting the challenge. JNAP's going to drop it down. No one from Queso can go. Joyo will have to follow up. Oh, Joyo. Joyo gets the past one, though. And Chicago was needed there to make sure that it didn't go all the way into the open net. Crucial touches from JNAP's here. He's just hitting the ball away every time that he gets it. He doesn't want to give it straight to a Queso player, even if that means taking some pace off the touch, hitting it into a corner. That's not where the goal is, but at least it's going to stop Queso from countering. A hard touch from Queso. Back down the field. Joyo's got the catch, got the bump, and saves. Chicago's there for the fail save. Batira on the catch, forces the ball by one. That's Atomic, but Chicago gets a hard clear. Rise is forced back. He's the touchdown, and when you think Queso might have it, here they come, take it away. At the end of regulation, Queso need a game-tying goal. Multiple, but massive interceptions from Chicago. He's been keeping G2 in this. But can they hang on for five more seconds? Drop down again. They need to keep the ball in the air, because G2 are closing it down. Just transfer here for Tira. And they get to that ball. Rise has done it, but it's going to drop down. And G2, one game away from being the Winter Major Champion. And they've been one game away before, Jorby. Will this time be different? Team Queso, they were holding in there, even in this game, taking the lead. It looked like they might be able to close it out. It was a brilliant infield passing play, but then G2, the passes, the possession, it working out, taking this game, stealing it from Team Queso. They're close, but can they do it? Team Queso's been at this point so many times. We're like a broken record, talking about how Queso is on the brink of elimination, but they've always won. Seven times they've been on elimi facing elimination. This is the eighth match now, where someone has had a chance to knock Team Queso out of the tournament. G2 in a much better spot than they were in the first series. Queso were up 3-1. They were actually leading in game five, leading in game six. G2 had to come back twice. In, even just to get into game seven. Now they lead 3-2, so they've got two shots at it. They've got three total. You've got to think, surely, if you put Queso on G2 in three games, and you tell G2, you just got to win one of these, and you win the tournament, G2 get one, right? You think? Right? You think? You would think, but, but Team Queso. Queso has done it over and over again. Every single time, this team has had I mean, they've had their backs against the wall seven times. This is the eighth. How have they responded? Well, they're like a rabid dog in that situation. They bite back and they bite back hard. Team Queso. Looking to tie things up and send us to two striking oh! seconds. But guess what? Netzek has something to say about it. Full team play. Chicago infield, Atomic downfield, and a brief flip from JNAPS. 
to send in the opening goal. Uh, how can you not love a G2-1-2-3 passing play, a staple of the RLCS for what has seemed like years, and they're pulling it out on the main stage. Can this finally be the land that JNAP takes? Can Chicago finally get a land victory? If they can keep this going for another four minutes, and it's going to be a long four minutes, it will be oh, sweet. Surely. It will be great, and Atomic is behind it. G2, they got two on the board. G2, piling on the pressure. They took the lead by one in the first series, game seven, and then sat back. They took the lead in this one and kept on going forward. And Atomic scoring this goal, he has elevated his gameplay exponentially. That mistake lit a fire in him, and he has been bringing his A-game ever since. But now a chance for Queso to get back in it, but Chicago able to break up that play. Atomic revived in the second series. Matira pushed off the ball. G2, you think they might be able to feel it. Arise gets the push down field. Oh, got that touch out. Arise able to take that pass over from Joyo. Matira having to protect the back end. And another car switch from Joyo as well. Try to keep that mental, uh, that last decal wasn't it. Anything to mix it up at this point. You have to find a way to win. No more mistakes allowed. Pushed across by Vatira. Atomic got the bounce on the ramp. Here he comes again, but it's knocked away. K-Store starting to feel more pressure. A third goal will surely make this ever difficult for Joyo, Vatira, and Rise. For as hard as they've fought, G2 are still pressing. That one down in front of the box. Taken away back over to the corner. Queso doing everything they can to get the clear out. And they're able to get it back to midfield. But there's JNAPS or Atomic again. JNAPS not only to, able to get that 50, but also stealing that mid boost. They're trying to starve out Team Queso. Accepting the clears, keeping possession. Atomic connecting on the demos. And you can see a panic skip clear off to the side. More demos coming out. And all Team Queso can do is boom the ball downfield. Jane Apps is flawless in game six. He is making key touches that are absolutely destroying Team Queso. The veteran is making moves. Not gonna go down two times in our LCS line grand final. G2 again, get the clear. Team Queso in full retreat, but here's the transition. Joyo got the first touch. Joyo underneath on the flip reset, but that just hasn't worked. Every single flip reset for Team Queso has been knocked away by G2. Their defense will not break here in game six. Oh, that was close to another one, but actually it's gonna oh! go the other way. I just when you thought G2 were gonna get a third. Team Queso steal one against the run of play. It's never that easy against Team Queso. Oh, that's a big miss by Chicago as well. This is reminiscent of the last series. They Ooh. need to settle down here. They've given themselves those two goals to go in front. Two minutes and change left, but G2 don't want to make mistakes. If they're going to lose goals, at least force Gaysel to outplay you. They get the ball down. Not the best touch for Patira. The oh, demo, the it's pass, open! The goal! Atomic again! Puts them up by two! And it's this demo! JNAPS! the job. What a bully. Will not go down without a fight. Team Queso, they came out into this grand final. They got the bracket reset, but G2, they've held the line. And they're holding firm, stacking the wall. Two minutes left for Team Queso to try to tie this up. The aggression from G2 is the key. Now a misread coming through from Joyo. Obviously Queso are going to follow up quickly on this. Oh, what a save. Atomic doing work at both ends. Not much boost for JNAP to work with. Gets help from Chicago. Also low boost, but Chicago flicks by one. Can't get the 50, and you see the clear out. Okay, so still working on pads. Trying to pick up every dime that they can, but it's only Joyo who has any kind of boost. Here comes Atomic, back down. He didn't have anything. Pass in front, taken away, just in the nick of time. They clear by Joyo. A minute and 20 left. In case we still needed two goals to force the game seven. But G2 are stopping everything. They're managing their boost to perfection. All of those shitters that we saw at the end of the last series are nowhere to be seen. G2 on the road to winning this thing. Back again, Chicago gets the clear out. Queso trying to hold the midfield, but they've lost it. And here they come, again, a oh! goal! What? He's clutch! He can't stop, he can't be stopped! Atomic, he's delivered! Atomic scoring a hat trick! and what could be the final game of the winter.
after split. I cannot believe it. Atomic, after a complete gaffe in game seven in the first match of this series, he has stepped up to the plate and he has answered the call. He has been at the forefront of this assault for G2 in this second match. And the case just have to throw everything forward. That's why they've conceded another goal. They might concede Ooh. a fifth, but that will get deflected wide by Matera. G2, I see in game six, second time around. They got it all wrong in game seven, but this time it has been absolutely theirs. G2 right now could make Antarctica save. feel warm. Another save. G2 will not go down. 20 seconds. The fans can feel it. The players are starting to realize that might be game. They've got the ball in the back corner. Queso can't get it out of the corner. It's been a long journey for G2, but the time is now. They've done it. G2, they have done finally. G2 are your winter major champions. performance from G2. After a crushing defeat in the first series, they put it together in the second time around. Queso gave them a run for their money, but G2 have been oh. the best team in the world this weekend, and they will be the champions. What a comeback. We thought after that game seven, it was gonna be Team Queso all over again. Even when G2 go goes up, and they put case one match point again. It's still itching in the back of your mind. Is it gonna happen again? It didn't seem possible. All signs pointed to Queso. All roads seemed like they were leading to a Team Queso victory. JNAPS and Chicago have been fighting for this moment their entire Rocket League lives. Atomic comes on board and finally the dream has been realized. They've done it. They are the Winter Split Champions! A war performance from Team Queso. What a run through the lower bracket. What a fight they put up against G2 in the Grand Final. It's gonna feel pretty bad right now for these young guns, but they're gonna come back stronger. They've really won the hearts of the entire Rocket League world. Not just with their <laughs> gameplay, but with their confidence, with their humility. I don't know how they can manage to be both these things so much at the same time. Oh, what a performance by Team Queso. Oh. They can go home proud. The Knapsack is back 100%. G2 firing on all <laughs> cylinders in A. Oh, it's wow. G the desk is going to have a field. I, I, I can't <laughs> wait to hear what T-Bates has to say. But we're not going to go to T-Bates yet. Or, you know, we'll, we'll hear what he has to say later. But man, you know, uh, like you were saying, Johnny, this isn't the last time that we're going to see Team Queso. But, G2 are your champions. Let's go to Subi to talk to him. Atomic, JNAPS, Chicago. Boys, I think we've got some gold to put around your necks. YouTube Dater, make some noise for G2 Esports. And there it is, the gold hanging neck around the necks from your winter major champions, G2 Esports.
massive congratulations to all three of you. I mean, this has to feel like a dream realized, especially to JNAPS, but I'm gonna hold you for last. And Atomic, you come in after the fall major, changing teams. I just wanna get one word of what this feels like right now, just one. Unbelievable. It's I can't describe this feeling, it's insane. And we talked about it yesterday, Chicago. From Rival Series, moving on up, all the way to a Winter Major Champion. What does this taste like? What does this feel like? Especially with the G2 Army so strong here at YouTube Theater. As my old friend once said, Rizzo, we going all the way, baby! And I'm gonna slide in the middle here. I'm gonna talk to my good friend here, Jay Naps. Jay Naps, it's been a long road. Since 2017, since G2's had a big win at a LAN. Five years later, you keep the grind up, you keep the play up. How do you stay at such a top level? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but man, someone in the hotel asked me yesterday, what would I do if we lost another grand finals? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. And we don't need to talk about the gameplay. You guys spoke on the field for yourselves, but I gotta wonder, from all four of you, staff you included, congratulations as well. Any final words to this crowd out in Los Angeles, to all the fans watching from home? And I'm gonna start down with Matthew. We love y'all. That's all I gotta say. A uh, Atomic MVP, by the way. We can't do this without any of you. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for being such a great crowd. It's, it's literally unbelievable, and it's every player's dream to play here, so thank you. Get an M Everyone get an MVP chant going for Atomic. And with that, I think it's also a good time to give it up one last time for G2 Esports, your winter major champions. And this has been amazing. I want to give a special thanks to everybody that came out, everybody that has tuned in. It has been a long two and a half years, but thanks for sticking with us. And for one last time, we're going to send it back to the desk from the boys for first touch to give us one last touch. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You don't did it. Are you not happy? Oh, you love me. Once again, you already know the vibes. G2 Army, Chicago, Atomic, oh Jay now stepped up when it mattered most. Are you kidding? It's Wait. only fitting. I was so touched watching Rizzo put a medal around oh Jay Naps' neck. The last time Jay Naps was this Ooh. close, Rizzo was on the team. Similar story in Season 7 with a European team running through the bottom of the bracket, knocking off every single American team. And here, the story changes North America's on top. That's right. Now, N.A. with a win, and this is history in the oh, making here. Man. You thought that, a lot of people thought, okay, maybe Team Case still might come up, step up on top. But like j -Nap said, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Iconic. Listen, you got to give it to the Case of boys, man. From the, all the way to the beginning yeah. of the lower bracket to not to get to this point, they're probably fatigued. They're probably exhausted. They, they're so young. So much potential on this roster. They absolutely balled out in and of itself. And they were, hey, man, they should not be down on themselves in the slightest. Man, they, the, the powerhouse, the powerhouse of vitality is that 
that representation from EU, and now you got the Queso boys, the young guns. They were rookies in this tournament. I love them boys so much, and I said, I'll say it again. If you don't love them, I don't like you, because how can you not love them at this point? They're so confident in the way they play, and they're humble at the same time. They respect every single opponent they play, especially the new champions. Oh my goodness, wait, man. Wait, 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 you already know. I gotta do it one last time. Uh oh. Oh god. Hey, y'all gotta join there me. Or what? Yeah, I mean, you know what? You know what? what? I think yeah, we, gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Oh, y'all ready? Hashtag Base Never Wrong. Base Never Wrong. Let's go, baby. Yo, but Woo. Gibbs also never wrong. He called the bracket reset and everything. Hey, I that man. Six, though. You did, you caught, okay, oh. okay, okay. <laughs> you both were right, you both were right. He, he, hey, he got you there. As he watched over these highlights, man, Atomic really stepped it up in his second set, bro. He started balling out to levels we, we haven't even seen him play at before, in my opinion. Game, six, or game three, though, the bracket reset, yep. I felt like you really could see the fatigue kick in yep. on Queso. There was like one goal that went in, like four mistakes in a row, like easy whiffs. They hadn't been making those the whole time. I do think that lower bracket run got the better of them. Yeah, and uh, Atomic, bro, I can't stress it enough. This kid stepped up when it really mattered, especially in that second series. Atomic was everywhere. And then j Nap sliding oh, in top right, man. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the okay, case okay, boys, hey, it'll be your ma hey, it might Listen. be your major next time. See you in London. They'll be back, man. In They'll London, be back. Be You'll be back. Don't give up on them boys. They're hungry. They'll be back. But for right now, two to lose. <laughs> oh, that's tough, man. Okay. Because now we got we got we got to talk about it. The, the road though, Queso had was was incredible, right? The lower bracket run when all the EU teams got knocked out, they were the ones that were still doing well on top. But of course, this also got, brings us into you know the overall conversation. You know, uh, this is the number one team in Europe, number one seed. Yep. They made it to the grand final. Yep. Uh, NRG as the number one seed in North America, they got out really early out in groups. Mm -hmm. uh, as we can take a look at the groups here, just so you guys can remember the journey that it took to get On to Wednesday. this point. Where teams rose like V1, yeah. Furia, a G2, and SSG. Like all of these teams just coming out and making statements where some of the top dogs going into the event kind of fell short. Man, I feel like V1, it's, it's easy for me to forget how crazy that run was because right. we didn't see them play today. They went right. out yesterday, but they were the story coming into YouTube theater. Right, they are, they are balling from the day one, the moment they were on stream. Com, that's where Com's doing ha, 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 laughing and all that type of stuff, really getting, really, who, who are they playing? Were they playing FaZe? When he was getting to FaZe's head, they started off really hot initially, and also Fury were balling out as well, man. You have so many new storylines. The Rocket League as a whole was really, a, I know this event was a celebration of Rocket League, the first land back with, mm. with crowds, but this is also just a highlight, a pure celebration of how Rocket League is so good, not only in NA and the EU, but yep, also in Sam, also in OC, and if we could that SRG here as well, it would have been a mean as well. Oh, if we had SRG here, it, it might have been a different story. <sighs> Completely. But, oh my goodness, man. Look at that lower bracket run by Team Queso. They fought so hard. They were taking down every single team just Damn. to make it to the finals, man. I love them boys so much. I can't. I'm just like, I'm kind of devastated at the same time <laughs> just for them boys, man. But like G2, amazing, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of really good runs here in this event. I mean, of course, you talk about uh, Version 1's performance, Queso's performance, G2. FaZe had a really good lower bracket yep. run uh, where they took down Endpoint, they took down BDS, and they, again, it looked as if that they, they could have been the other team playing here in the finals, potentially. And then also, you know, SSG. You know, them mm, being able yeah. to make it from upper bracket all the way to the lower bracket, they were so close. So and literally close. on the Pixels. goal line in the lower finals. Like, all of these players coming together, just playing their absolute best Rocket League. I mean, that's what we love to see. At least it was great. fantastic Rocket League. I know the fans love it. I love it. And that's all that we came here today to see. It's just great Rocket League throughout. Right, man. Everybody should be satisfied, man. You have one of the best, one of the best lands ever. I've never been to a land, but I don't know how many people here have been to a land that are st standing outside. But all I'm saying is that this event in and of itself was absolutely incredible from my first time experience. And I mean, like, if this is what Rocket League is really dishing out, then you're missing out. You're right. I think we, we really glowed up over since the last time as well. There's been, like, I, I've been to all the lands prior to this one, mm. and nothing compares to what we experienced mm. here. The, the, the amount of people that came out, the, the, the spectacle, how much there is going on. There's a whole place you can watch Rocket League out here. Oh, yeah. You can go get 
go get food at food yeah. trucks and get merch over there, or you can go in to one of the best esports venues I've ever experienced here. YouTube Theater put us up, put, gave us a great home to host our first family reunion in three years. Yeah, it was incredible being able to be inside YouTube Theater. I mean, the energy there is electric. I, I know you guys can kind of tell I'm kind of losing my voice up here. <laughs> like uh, that, that lower bracket really took a lot out of me. But uh, for for everybody, for the fans, I mean, uh, you know, just for an example, my mom was here. It was her first esports event ever, first Rocket League yeah. event ever, and she was just when she when we were watching outside, she's like, oh yeah, this is kind of like you know how it is at home. But then when she went inside, it was it was crazy. It was uh, it was electric. Yeah, it really was electric. And um, on this broadcast right now, well not right now, oh. a little bit, we will be crowning the RLCS finals MVP. Yeah, come on, come on. I don't know if we can get a zoom in on this on this on this badge here. They'll be they'll be here eventually, and sure enough, it'll be actually incredible. Now on, coming on right now. Oh baby, look at the man it's with the plan. Guy. What up look with you, baby? Him. What up with you? We'll get him. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Let's get him a chair real fast. Oh, there we go. Get him on here. We got Rizzo here, guys. Get him on. Well, well, well. <laughs> Rizzo, talk to us, baby. How you feeling? Oh, I feel so good for the teammates. I'll tell you what, I feel so good for the boys. I've been so happy for them ever since they got Atomic, and I've been telling you ever since that day that they were going to be the number one champion. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> but, 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 but for real, like, it's watching you put the medal on JNAPS's neck after playing alongside him in Season 7, like, what was, was there a redemption there for you? No, oh no, that's all them. Uh, that, 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 that wasn't anything to do with me, that's all them, that's all, that, you know, that's their trophy, their achievement. Uh, I'm so happy for them. Um, you know, I was happy I got to do the medal just so I could say I'm so proud of them and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it was just a super um, happy moment for me, just to watch them win. Oh my God, he, about, he sounds like he's about to cry. Uh, <laughs> I, I was about to over there, but I'm good. No, I held it together. I played it cool. I might cry. Like, <laughs> I was sitting backstage with Rizzo, yeah. and I'm like, we're watching the games, and every time they scored, and we, we actually went out to the to the floor, and when they uh, scored, we started jumping. I'm like, and then you see the crowd is just so explosive in that theater. It should make me so happy that we Rizzo was able to go here. put a medal over we'll his brothers. Right, Wait, what happened? What? Right over there. What? Oh, you see him? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, well, yeah, let's get him on the desk. If you guys see oh. G2. Look at Oh, they're all right there, yeah. yeah oh, God. Oh, yeah, they're all right there. Oh, hey, yo, come and get a little bit of 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 a little bit Hey, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Let's go, now. Let's go, Reed. What's up, baby? What up? Hey, now, hey, now, now, listen. I can't hold this. My hands are shaking. Your hands are shaking. Oh, gosh. <laughs> adrenaline still pumping? A little bit. Bring it closer to your, closer to your mouth, bro. All right, gotcha. Now All you right, sound good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, now talk to us, man. What, what about that run was really exciting. How's it feel? Uh, it hasn't sunk in yet, honestly. I'm still kind of just going through it, but I think tonight, you know, the next little bit of time off, it's going to sink in. Finally winning that first land. It's something I've been chasing literally since I played this game, and it's just unbelievable. But we had to make it content with that first series, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if y'all want to talk about what, what happened, yeah. what happened a little bit? Yeah. What, that entire first series? No, no just the last moment. Just the last six uh, seconds. Just a little bit of miscommunication, <laughs> miscommunication? that's it, really. But, uh, yeah, we can forget that ever happened. <laughs> was, was that a hard bounce back, uh, like, like, between the series? Like, that being the goal that decided series one? Like, how did, how did you guys rally together as a team to, like, kind of forget that you were so close and get set for the second series? Uh, we just went back to the practice room and just had a talk. Like, we all just knew it was a whole reset. It was a blank slate going into the next yeah. series. So we talked things through, knew we were really, we like, the nerves were hitting in that first series. So. We just played how we've been scrimming, and that's how we came out in the second series, and it worked. Oh, man, oh, man. That's, this man right here was balling out all week. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's man. Atomic MVP, though. Oh, oh it's Atomic, atomic MVP. MVP. Atomic MVP. Well, listen, Bay's got an MVP medal right there for you. All no right. way. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Atomic, come over here. Come over here. Hey. Massimo, come I think over we'll here. make it official. Oh. Come over here. Let's make this official. Come over here. Everybody, give it up. For your fall major MVP, Atomic Winter Major. Oh, Winter Major, my bad. Winter Major MVP. <laughs> Atomic, baby. Hey, man, it's yours. It's all yours, baby. It's all yours. 
you, thank you. Now, now talk to me, man. Hey, coming from Indy, being on G2, you know, when you first major, you balled out the whole entire time, too. What was the experience like the whole from from Wednesday to now, having these two behind you, having Coach Safi, Popovich in your back right corner, always rooting you on. Talk to me a little bit. Well, on Envy, we there was a lot of like you know just attitude issues. It, it would be hard to like regain after a series, a bad performance, anything like that. And mm -hmm. even though I love those guys, but like now with these guys, we really can talk through anything. And the second we got here on Wednesday, we'd go into practice and actually have meaningful meaningful practice. Like oh. We'd uh, talk about how to beat certain teams, stuff like that. And uh, I think I played terribly that first best of seven. But uh, oh, you stepped it up in that second one, eh? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we regained and we, we said we were winning this no matter what. So I got a really specific moment in my mind. It was game five. Y'all down 1-0. Atomic started pre-jumping past us. Atomic started pre-jumping past us. He dropped it backwards. But I think to, I think, nap, I think naps maybe. Uh, but he dropped down to you and then you banged it up. And then Atomic pre-jumped that. Hit, what was that, material on the back wall? And then it dropped right back down. What, like, was that just like uh, y'all just like decided to go all in and just say whatever? We got to do something to mix it up, or what happened? That's all him. I don't even know what went through my head. I just, <laughs> I just jumped back to back as fast as I could, and I got the dunk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just like you got to talk to me about like kind of the communication because even though we, you know we had some. Obviously, we're not going to talk about the one part. But for I, I interviewed you, Chicago, during the group stage, and we talked about comms and stuff between uh, the team and how you guys are, like, active and calling people out. When you have a crowd that's, like, as loud as this one roaring at you, how – is it hard for you guys to kind of keep composure? Or are you guys just trying to be even louder than them in the comms? What are the comms like? I think SSG was honestly kind of hard because I think the crowd was definitely, I don't know in favor, but they're allowed for them. So it was tough. But I think we're so good about being locked in in series and we're always talking stuff over that I think we didn't really get distracted at all. And we always had one goal and that was just to help each other play better and make the game as easy as possible for each other. And that's just what talking does and we're really good at it. And it just makes the game so much easier. Oh man. Uh oh, oh man. wait. And we got Who one last this? final oh. G2 lover coming oh, on. Boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Big man himself, man. How proud are you of your of your baby boy and also your baby boy's team? Well, as a father and uh, in this for this esport was kinda when it first started five years ago, mm -hmm. I wasn't too receptive. Mm. But I've been to twelve lands. And this is as good as watching any live sport. That's right. And my son and the rest of the crew here in Rizzo, I'm so proud of all these guys. And uh, I don't know what else to say. It's a happy day for me. And I know for Jake, it's been a long time. Hey, if, a if, long time coming. If there are any parents watching who are considering letting their kids try this sort of thing, trying to go the pro route, what would you say to them? I think it is any parent. Support your children, whatever they want to do, no mm. matter what it is. Mm. Support them and let them live their dreams because mm. this was Jake's dream and he's living his dream. <laughs> oh, baby. Ooh, that, I got that's chills, real. bro. I got that's chills. That's real. that's real talk right there. That's real, man. Hey, having that familiar support to behind you when you're grinding all the hours <laughs> and everything else in between. <laughs> all the way, baby. All, all the way, way, baby. baby. And right, lastly, Safi, man, you can't just stand there. Gonna, you, you, hey, you behind us. You, 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 you know, you got to say a couple on. words, What's man. Up? How proud are you of yeah. your team? Everything else you brought to the team since you've been on, come on, talk to the people. Give nah, them that coach's perspective. Nah, there's no words to describe how oh, proud, I, proud I am of them. Like, you know, they, they, I officially became contracted with G2 back in September, and uh -huh. it's been a blast since. This is there like the three best players to work with in the game, honestly. In the game, ooh. Amen. It is. <laughs> uh, talk, talk to me about though about that transition between the two. We heard the player's perspective. Yep. You know that, that that sort of moment happens where where you know you're gonna have to deal with the mental. That's your job to help keep them grounded. What was that like for you? You know we go through so many reps in practice. Like we're one of the hardest practicing teams. Um, so it was kind of built in, instilled in them already. We. There's not much more to be said. They they know how to reset themselves because we do this every day. We do this in scrims. We do it six days of the week. So mm. it was natural. Six days of the week, boys. That's a grind. Hey, professionals. Yes, sir. I, I really got nothing to say to y'all, but but congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys, man. Like <laughs> just seeing you guys on stage flourish. There's really nothing. Listen, man. It speaks for yourself. Y'all gameplay speak for yourselves. I'm so proud of you guys. Truly. How y'all celebrating? You. What's the celebration like tonight? 
We don't even know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we know that we won yet. <laughs> right, y'all got any last words, man, before we let y'all go and just brothers to live in the moment. Uh, shout out to Atomic for MVP. Shout out to JNAPS for holding it down. Shout out to Sathu. Shout out to everyone who supports. I hope to see you guys at the next one. All right. Next one. Give it up Everybody for give it up for G2, please. Man, this act's absolutely incredible. If you think about, you know, we haven't had a moment like this in two and a half years, and so much has changed from the last time we've seen all like all these people, like even even like with, with you, for example, Raul. Like I believe, like last last World Championship we had, last land with the crowd, you were playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, you know, you're here with, you get to experience this all from a different perspective. Talk to me about like what that's like for you. It's just so, it's so electrifying just knowing that people come here just to watch players perform and play the game that they love at such a high level. And they're so passionate about it. Like me as a player, when I was here, I was I was out in the crowd. Like when I got knocked out, I was out in the crowd just screaming with everybody, jumping and, and having a good time. And then now I'm like, still, I still want to do that. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't want to like, <laughs> I had to come back up here and I'm like, oh, I, I can't like watch that. But like just seeing them on the TV is, it's incredible, man. I'm, I'm just so speechless. The whole day has just been so, I'm, I'm actually just so speechless right now, like honestly. It's, it's crazy. And since we're speaking about the crowd, can we please do it? Can we please do a wrap around of how many people are out here standing right now? Nobody left. Nobody. They just moved, nobody they just moved, nobody they just moved outside. Look Everybody, get loud. We got the family get here. The, the family's here. The yeah. family is all here, baby. This has been a, an incredible event, event in Los Angeles, man. And I, I am just.
Are we back? Oh. I think we're oh, back. back. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Baby. We're back. Yeah, we okay. Back. Let's close it out properly this time. Let's That's right. Let's close it out properly. <laughs> of course, you don't want to go down the line, get some final thoughts for you guys before we say goodbye to the winter major. Oh, yep. man. I, I just want to say thank you for letting me come on first touch. This is, this is <laughs> wonderful to get to sit on this side of the desk and just relax, let Daz do all the hard work here. Uh, <laughs> there's a way that the ticket sales, when you see, like, oh, we sold out the venue, it doesn't become real until you're here. And, like, like genuinely the day before, I'm like, there's not going to be anyone in the stands. Like, I know the 5,000 tickets got sold, but I don't believe there's going to be anyone here. And then watching people come in, watching the lines form of people wanting pictures, is so special is so it, it genuinely is an indescribable feeling um, that was so special for me today to see all of you show up the getting to announce worlds literally in my backyard is a genuinely emotional thing you guys talking about uh, talking about you know parents being here and seeing them you were talking about your mom coming out and seeing this event like my whole family's gonna be able to be there it's so special so I, that, that was probably was the most special thing to me other than the gameplay and G2 winning and, and you know all getting to see the fans here so that was it. right my my best, my uh, main moment for this whole entire LAN is, back to the, is my first ever LAN. And I have never gotten the chance to really experience Rocket League live to this extent. To see this many people out in the crowd and th this amount of supporters taking Twitch chat in terms of actual people and they're out here <laughs> here to support Rocket League is absolutely insane. Seeing how crazily good everybody is at Rocket League now these days is also something of pure, pure and true testament to the players. Every single time we hit a, we think we hit a ceiling, if somebody makes something mm -hmm. new, somebody else adds a whole different level to Rocket League. And that's something that we can we will always have to hold dear to our hearts. And I just wanted to say thank you for uh, to Onyx and everybody having me on this event. This is crazy. And hopefully we can make this thing way better than Tier 1 Esports. We're, we're well on our way to being the best esport there there is out there. Yeah, and back to what Wave said with like the tickets selling out and stuff. Um, even though the tickets sold out and like I had a number in my head, it's uh, pretty surreal to actually see everybody act uh, actually here. First time in person in uh, two and a half years, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy that I, I got to meet so many people. I got to see, you know, all my friends, all my play all, all the all my players, all the players again, um, all the talent, you know, you guys. I'm just appreciative to be here. Yeah, I just appreciate every everything about this event. Psyonix letting me be on the desk, giving me an opportunity to perform. My mom's watching, so yeah. love you, mom. Uh, the players coming out and performing, having spectacular a, a spectacular show for the audience, the fans. This this is. One of the greatest experiences I've ever been a part of, and to share it with everybody in the crowd is, is fantastic, man. So uh, I know the players, they enjoy all the memories that you guys bring them as well, and meeting all of my personal fans, that's been like one of the greatest moments for me. And yeah, I, I can't wait for the next land in landing. <laughs> shout out to Bento for the merch as well. Yeah, shout out merch shout out to Bento .gg. Yeah. Is it merch.bento.gg, I think correct? it's merch.bento.gg. So make sure you get some of that merch online if you haven't had a chance to and if your size is gone because uh, that <laughs> merch box sold out quick, <laughs> let's be honest. But, yes, this was truly something that was spectacular, absolutely amazing. Uh, this is, like, uh, the first Touch Boys, my first live event with the crowd. And seeing the, the energy that the crowd brought was was phenomenal. You guys here are all amazing. Seeing uh, the, the Rocket League family, so to speak, being brought back together, seeing all these people that we talk to online every day is, is so special to us. And, and for, for me personally, uh, being able to just kind of be in that YouTube theater and be on this desk with, uh, you know, my friends, my family, uh, having my family watch and just hearing you guys come alive was something that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. So I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody. Thank you to Zionics for all the support. Thank you to all the fans for all the support. We couldn't have done this without you. And that is going to be it for us. Thank you so much, guys. This is the Rocket League Championship Series with the Major. G2! Congrats, G2! On behalf of the desk, production and staff, everyone behind the scenes, you guys are awesome. We'll see you in London. Or yeah. The yeah, spring split. Yeah. The spring split. We'll see you for the spring split. We'll see you in London. Listen, we got to go. <laughs> Toodaloo! Toodaloo! Toodaloo!
any games on your phone? This might not be your car. And this might not be your engine. Maybe this isn't your morning routine. And maybe these aren't your coworkers. Perhaps these aren't your standard driving conditions. Far from it. But this is your oil, which means you're one of us, doesn't it? For serious engines on and off the track, upgrade to Mobile One. Tippy driver.